should you use your arts immediately to deal serious damage, or save them for when you need bonuses like that HP boost? Consider your arts tactics carefully. Or it can just land on your head and shatter, yet heal you anyway like a badass so you don't need to go pick it up. That's the best of all. Uh, we can pay Herkim here, 15G, for the docking fees. Do you need to do this? No, but who knows? Maybe the chivalry will come back to you someday. We'll enjoy our stay on Goldma Bay. <laughs> I'm sorry, I shouldn't be allowed to talk with that kind of accent. Uh, let's talk to a few people here. Sacher. The one that he was talking to there, as well as this one we're talking to here, is a Nopon. See what that arrow is pointing to right now? That's the compass. The marker on the compass indicates the direction that Rex should be heading in. Huh, <laughs> the direction? Uh, yeah. uh, the digits above the marker on the compass show the distance to your destinations. Temper of Chairman, famously short, not to disturb lightly. I will be stepping very carefully in my lead boots that I danced on a metallic roof with and said they couldn't hear me. <clears throat> Rex, was it? I implore you to excuse my lady's discourtesy. Dromark, what have I told you about speaking for me? Shut Drop your... it, Nia. Though I do see your point. And They're so cool! I want them with me! I want my own cat! And my own gentleman league, White Tiger, and my own Josh Jepson! I want them. Uh, details of job are just as Bana explained. We... On the way back, there sure are a lot of people to talk to. I don't think I should be wasting time right now. You're a waste of time! That's exactly what Rex just said to you in no uncertain terms. Hello there, friend Rex. The really proprietor of Whiteside Salvaging at your service. No need for introductions with me, Rurui. I'm thinking about going to check on some cylinders in a bit. Well, I'm programming, really get into it, trying to type a cylinder, having fun, and having time for everyone to test it out. Really? You'd let me? Rex is up and coming Star Wars Soldier World if Rex and Prue could be easy for Rui to sell. It's not every day that you get a chance to test out a brand new product. I'd be glad to help. Then it's settled. Come see the Rui and Rui Dex soon again. Rui Declaration. Gotcha. Who wouldn't understand, Rui? What do you take me for? Okay, time to take Here we got down. our first regular enemy, the Man Crabble. This here is a man's crabble. You don't met, we're not playing around with the little crust tips anymore. So attacking is kind of slow. I was gushing about the visual so much I forgot to talk to you. It was fantastic. Also here, good friend present of three normal cylinder. In front of one of the cylinders, please move myself in a time. We will do. I guess I got a bit distracted. What was I meant to be doing again? <laughs> His name's Aft. That means backside. That big, it can hold just one handy item at a time. So what should you put in your pouch? Well, usually the sort of everyday items you'll find at lifestyle shops. Yes, you can have all sorts of effects by smelling the cake you've stuck in your fanny pack. There are 12 different types of lifestyle shops, so be sure to check each one out. <laughs> I started to go around and talk to some people to see if there was anything good, and there certainly was. If we go back and thank you, friends. Oh, that remind me. You probably find Li Muli watching salvaging. He always lose track of time while doing that. I've already found Li Muli. I like talking to him. I have an eye for, um, low quality Nopon when I see them. Oh boy, and I talk to you. Uh, maybe not the best thing to say to somebody of a different species. Down there. Oh, is something wrong? While Li Muli stands around dreaming of Cinnapon rolls, precious treasure gets stolen by Sly Crabble. Very, very important pendant from Mama Pon. Li Muli must get pendant back. Ah, Li Muli have good idea. You just want to eat your Cinnapon roll and not have me staring at you, judging you while you are sitting there not going to your job, don't you? Oh, and of course you can't go get it yourself. Oh, swimming practice first thing in the morning. Oh, and if you went swimming right now, you'd get stomach cramps with a Cinnapon roll. There's no doing this but I'm having no luck so far, and it's starting to feel a bit dire. 
Goon at your service. You're saying you take the job? Thanks a bunch, pal. You're one in a million. The cargo's in Goldmouth Return Port. It's pretty large, so you can't miss it. It'd be great if you could chase off the thieving Trent Crabbles. Thanks in advance. Leave it to me. I just now got that that's a pun of escargo. I like it. Ask if the cargo is illegal. Ah, no, nothing like that. I don't have the stomach for crime. From there, it's the exact same conversation. Like I said, this first one's very minor. And then for the rest of the money, I guess we'll get rid of this agility uh, up right here at 700 gold. Accessories tend to be a really good source of selling, actually. And we'll buy the fishy, fishy deeds. I can own this shop and turn you into a place worth a damn. Actually, no, I can't. Owning a shop gives its owner various passive benefits over time. That is everything that I wanted to do in the Argentum Trade Guild, so, uh, oh boy, man, uh... You might want to also look out for those ropes. Don't want to sprain your ankle, buddy. Get yourself rested and ready to face the trials ahead. That's the salvager way. Don't you mean Rexit and ready? No? Okay, that's what you did me. I'm just really making this guy ashamed of me when he believes in me so strongly. <laughs> it's what I do whenever people think highly of me. I can't have that. Welcome back to more Xenoblade Chronicles 2! Last time a seedy individual offered us a job promising lots of money with no strings attached. Happens. They're with us and we can finally have cool people traveling alongside us! You know, if you look at it even halfway glancing, you can see exactly where the Tetsuya Nomura begins and ends. Rex is about doing high damage, wanting to keep aggro off of him. Oh, treasure trove. Wow! Uh, swimming in it, rolling in it, and various other forms of bathing. This song that plays aboard the ancient ship is one of the more remote tracks in the OST, and it's one of the more underrated tracks to me where it's just very atmospheric. I can get a lot of work done to it. Kind of one of those lo-fi beatsy kind of songs, if that's what the youngins are calling it nowadays. Yeah, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not old yet. I still got some kicks in me. I think. Uh, we'll go ahead and do a little bit of cheap damage right there. Got a big boy, the Megalo Aligo! Uh, uh, go is right. <laughs> Launching us into the air there. Once on our side, and we'll just do a quick anchor shot right there. Hyra has the exact same arts as Rex's broadsword. After all, she is a broadsword. <laughs> Still. Glad you're okay, Grunts. Oh, shit. We can't stand around all day. We have to find Mia. Mia? You mean that driver and her blade from before? Yeah. They kind of saved our lives. I do hope they're all right. Grumps, do you remember anything? I remember crashing through many trees before landing here. They probably fell off then. Hmm. That's not a whole lot to go on. Perhaps we would have some luck following the trail of broken trees. Good thinking, Pyra. Let's go. By the way, Rex, is that a core crystal I see shining on your chest? Just what happened to you? I'll tell you later. Right now, we need to find Nia. Oh, -ho! now this makes a nice change. That was such a good mislead. Or at least it would have been if they didn't spoil it in the Nintendo Direct two months before the game released. I have such strong emotions about that because I love that scene. It's such a fun way to learn about the life cycle of certain titans. You get some humor in there. There's the genuine emotion where you get to see how much they care about each other and it's really sweet. And it's such a good ruse because usually the mentor grandpa character never lives halfway through any story. And here the twist is that he's reborn and there's a slight role reversal going on. That's clever. I like that. And yet they completely spoiled it where they're like, you're going to be traveling the world on this giant titan that's also your granddad. And then he's going to turn into the small form and travel the world with you whenever you get onto titan. Uh, sorry, I just don't like that. Anyway, collection points. You collect items from them. Fallen tree. I call upon the power of fire. Uh, damn, the true power of the Aegis at work, the enemy of all wood. As you can see, you use Pyrus Fire Mastery to burn it up and get it out of your way. His arts, and they take a long, long time to charge up. 
and I'm not even able to get off a single art before the enemy is dead. That's just how slow Dromark's arts recharges are. I'll be fine. Offense is the best defense, right? Uh, sorry, didn't mean to offend your style of fighting, Nia. Here the Titans are alive, and a lot of the activity on them has to do with their biological functions. And while I respect this world, I'm sending this tree to hell. Not entirely because I'm mad, but oh no, like I said, this can take a few tries. Waited for him to take off. There we go. Oh no. Oh boy. Uh, uh what, what is he? Uh, is it just a thing that something has to glitch out once per video for me? Because that looks really stupid. <laughs> I had a similar thing happen to me in my first playthrough with a different enemy, though. But that's kind of funny that such a dangerous enemy is just defying the laws of physics. It is powerful, after all. Anyway, young Ferris looks See, like free EXP. I guess, really Aww. I guess he chewed up the sofa today because his mom didn't come over to help him out at all. Just sitting there, looking around, doesn't really have a care in the world. You know what we do to terrible parents? Clock by 21%. That could be good on Nia, actually, because that means more hitting break chances. Are you fucking serious? Draws. Like your name. It's, it's very fun to say. I'm gonna buy a wood grain Alphorn. Let's show them a thing or three. Right. It's time Let's for me go. to tell you about memes. I mean, cancel attacks. If you execute an art at the precise moment that an auto attack connects, a ring of light will appear around you. We've been through this already. Welcome back to more Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Last time, uh, she was finding it very difficult to walk a few inches right there, so she just used the, her ultimate power. Uh, last time, we saw our first low battery warning, and now we're seeing the one for the other side of the Joy-Con. No. We made it to Toragoth, explored the city a fair amount, saw all that we could see in the limited scope of the place without setting off the Ardanian Empire. Right before we did that anyway, and Nia was promptly captured. This time, I'm changing my controllers. So, I just kind of wanted to give some thoughts on that while we're running around town a little bit. Have you heard anything about a girl called Nia who was captured by the Ardanians recently? Forget about that. Did you know this? Apparently, where, whenever a blade is born, it has to be registered with the Praetorium of Indol. Wow, that's really interesting. Yeah, so I bet that guy who just got her to be a driver will have to go there sooner or later. When I grow up, I want to be a driver and visit Indol too. How funny. Uh, I would know nothing about that. Uh, I mean, I would know lots about that. Yes, uh, registered driver uh, is my middle name. Yeah. Go over this way. Finally, this place is uh, no longer blocked. I see. So this gizmo here makes ox cores usable. You catch on fast. That's right. This machine takes collectibles and raw ox cores and refines them into something useful. Here's one you can have a go with. I've been saving it up for this very occasion. Where are you keeping this? Oh, we're not gonna find out. Rex Rex, best not think about where he stash it. <laughs> Tora, you and I are on the same page. Tora's right about that. It's not much good without collectibles, though, here. <laughs> Did he just admit that he uh, has a lot stashed away there? Uh, you're good to go, Rex. Refining. Got it. Around town and learned that Nia and Dromark are due to be executed in just three days. Uh, apparently, Rex also stepped in something, and that's of great concern to him right now. And we also learned of Tora's plans to build an artificial blade so that he too can become a driver, helping us on this mission. This time, we set out in search of the parts to finish the artificial blade. With such biological yeah. functions as keeping so, the hat on. Shall we? We'll head over this way to the store that Tora told us about and get started. Casa. <sighs> Is your last name Blanca? There, I said it. I'll buy three normal cylinders and I guess one silver. Sylvander? Huh? Huh? Well, no, I don't I don't feel like that was a stretch actually. I'm gonna give myself that one. I don't give myself points that often I'll have, you know. But Padrag Youch! That's gonna leave a bruise. This is a powerful thirst. So I'm getting a drink. Rushed off your feet, take a moment to relax and enjoy the ambiance here at Cafe Savvy. It's a bit dusty, but it should work just fine. Thanks for all your help. Everything should be fine now. Eh, Dusty, it was free. Just like my life is now. Because I'm dead. 
in, you know, in the ground. Explaining jokes. I want to talk to you, because I want to... Uh... Now, wakey, wakey! Tora's very own blade! Oh, Poppy! <laughs> Poppy? Can you be of service, Master? Oh, 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 wait a minute! Oh, forget you see that! Tora must change the settings! <clears throat> the settings? Uh, this time should be okay! Second time go best! Power on! Master Pawn? I... I did it! Taurus Masterpiece! World's first artificial blade! Poppy! Whoa! Incredible! That is really quite something. Tora did good, huh? You impressed? Tora is a very big success? Absolutely! You're amazing, Tora. Though, I was pretty surprised before, when she was all... You know. Forget about it. That's not Tora's fault. Th that was, um... Grampy Pon. Grampy Pon Susu made settings. <laughs> yes, definitely Grampy Pon's fault. Are you sure, Tora? Yes, Grampy Pon. <clears throat> yes. Meh, meh. Well, let's not dwell on that. Rex, let's go rescue Nia and Drolark. No time to lose. Anyway, my name Poppy. Poppy try hard to make Master Pond proud. Boy, it sure is nice of Tora to give so many free clothes to his friends. A whole bunch of ether crystals, 202. We got every single ether crystal in the level, getting some more bonus. And for our treasure, oh, 300 more ether crystals and some parts, which happen to be, uh, that's my name. Yep, you can even choose what element Poppy is within certain limitations. She can't truly be any element, but hey, nobody's perfect. Oh, who am I kidding? Of course she is but there are some spoilers in these folders. Don't open them unnecessarily. Now that there's no limits to our pockets, let's go over these things. For a tank. Special enhancing ram. In order to make any use of this at all, we not only need parts, but also to open up the slots to actually stick them in. I guess it's what you call a ramification. Her specials are pretty unremarkable. Same on that. I don't know about you guys. Movement heal, aggro boost, indoor attack up three. That's better than the one we can buy. Oh yeah, come here, Poppy. Let me hug you and shove things into you. Never mind that. What's far more interesting is the fact that I was about to go into how enemies just give you points and there's no bonus from killing every enemy. On the upper level at the Rumble Tum Canteen, there's the juicy salmon. If Tora buried in these, he could die happy. Tora's favorite item. And now for the Coupe de Gracie. We're gonna buy three roly poly keep on rolling maracas. Even with all these multipliers, they are still inferior to the whisper quarter, the most expensive item in this store. But I have my reasons for going with the roly poly maracas, even if it's not immediately obvious. We'll be seeing that later. Wait, 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 wait is that the same grandma walking by? Oh my god! 
when my twin sister was a whole six inches shorter than me and about half of the weight. Oh, ho, ho. we went to market together. Oh. This is so amusing. Matt, she has such a shorter stride from her legs that she's falling behind. <laughs> That's really funny. So that it has come time at long last to find out who our first rare blade is going to be. This is an exciting moment every playthrough. No one knows what it is. This ability to skip the awakening and go straight to the screen where you see what you got, also not in the game at launch. I had to sit through this 30 second cutscene every single time, and you know what? So that I can have some fun reactions for you guys, I do it again, too! <laughs> I just think it'd be more fun that way if I could react to seeing the blade in the cutscene instead of just a menu sprite. Oh, we got a common under your nose. Don't worry, I'll tell you exactly when those moments arise. As a side note, because let's face it, that's what common blades are. Common blades are given completely random names, body types, genders, weapon types, elements, and even randomized skills. My Jonathan might not resemble your Jonathan in any way. That sounds worse than it did in my head. They also have no defined favorite items, instead having that randomized too. We won't be doing any actual fighting today, and I don't want to go into a zombie quite yet, but I've seen some people say that it really sucks, that it's luck-based, how good the characters you get are, and we're going to put these blades to the test and see how they do in some actual fighting, because what are some blades without some fighting? See you guys then. Ha, huh, his name is You Lose. Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Last time... We met Poppy and learned all there was to learn about her little, uh, uh... No matter what word I put there, it's going to sound creepy, but little inner workings, I guess? Yeah, I didn't really say face on that one. We learned everything there was related to her, instead of just bashing open the Tiger Tiger machine with a sledgehammer and getting all the parts out of it that way to have an ultimately powerful blade. But I guess we can't desecrate Grampy Pond Susu's memory. Oh well. This time, we've built up our numbers. We are now a group of five. We are no longer just a group of two anymore. We are able to stand up into the entire Idanian Empire. Nia's due to be executed in three days. Sounds like a perfect opportunity to go do some side quests, right? No? Sounds like an awkward time to go do side quests? Well, you see, the problem with that is they said that we have three days until she's executed, not one. What is inside box? Happy power. Or treats or socks. Well, hopefully that cheered you up a little bit. Well, uh, Rex liked the anniversary present more than Pyra did. Just wanted to show that Rex liked art because we were a little behind on seeing that. Glynn! Glynn, Glynn, Glynn! Glynn, Glynn, Glynn! I've reminded you of a commercial that has been in your subconscious for 10 years. Trust me, you remember it. Well, what's up? Got a bit of a, bit, bit of a job for me, have you? Hey, Tora, you turned out to be a pretty good inventor after all. Guess you just had to find your wheelhouse! <laughs> I thought of that one just now, and it was just aching to get out of my bones. <laughs> anyway, uh, up here. I wanted to walk out here manually because there's this strange creature over here. If we walk behind it, the game doesn't know where we are. See how the music changed to the field on the upper side of Gormot, even though we're in Torigoth? And then we walk back, and it fades out. I'm not going to say literally unplayable, but literally unplayable. <laughs> it's just one of those fun little things that I noticed after playing this for far too long and I didn't want to have that knowledge go to waste, and now it didn't. Oh, just notice this detail. Those flotation devices that salvagers use for really big objects. You can actually see them. Whoa, uh, that's not all that's for sale in this salvager shop. <laughs> I mean, he is a salvager after all. It makes sense. Oh, uh, psychedelic boy over there. I'm not gonna mess with you. No, uh, come out, come out. I learned in school that the more cool looking a toad is, the more you want to stay away from it. Gonna give me a little sumpkin sumpkin, huh? And arrive. Zeno's dead bull. <laughs> Man, we're getting to meet Zeno himself? What Hope he doesn't want his blade back. First up, at the top of Torigoth Watchtower, I was hoping you'd seen something, but you seem awfully, uh, seductive with your clipboard so the thing is B 
Be careful not to kill this thing. It's going to have a quest marker above its head as you keep feeding it. And if you do that, you can permanently screw yourself out of something nice. So just be warned, don't do it. It can be so tempting whenever you see this icon above someone's head that just gives you that bad tick that you got going on that you have to do to complete everything. But resist, resist with all you can. It would also be pretty sad if the army permanently died. Tora has to explain for me. Hum, hum, hum. Also, that was seriously it. Boy, we sure put the pedal to the metal. I bet he is already thoroughly sick of hearing that joke from literally everyone and he's only five years old. What? You cracked the case? You'll pick some for me? Well, three of them should be enough to keep me afloat. Thanks a bunch. Boy can't swim. <laughs> so many of these quest titles are great. That's pretty much a requirement to making an uh, RPG in the present day at this point. Uh, I actually, that, that is actually a criteria that I look for in considering something a good game are the quest names come clever. Out, come out. MMOs particularly thrive on this. Perfect. Killed every enemy, got every treasure chest, picked up all wrenches, took no damage, got every ether crystal, lay it on me. Lay that perfect bonus on the skin of my face. Oh, it wasn't actually higher than my previous score. Well, the achievement's still kind of impressive, isn't it? Tucker himself has arrived on the scene. Didn't think I'd see you here, buddy. You seem pretty tuckered out. So, how's it going? Any one of good leads? Steady drill can go away. And Rex, you lucky devil, Nia tossed her bunny choker to you just before she got taken away by the cops. That's lucky because I thought we would open up a few core crystals. Nice, Poppy. Poppy Artificial Blade. This is no problem. Poppy could lift Gonzalez if necessary. Rex, my boy. Of course she was gonna be a little bit top heavy. Just look at her. The metallic armor ain't light. Now, you might have heard what Poppy said right there and wondering who the f is Gonzalez. What have we here? It's an enemy type that is a series staple. It's one of those little things that I can see a new player maybe not getting. We're gonna stutter step right away, get this going. You are weak to fire. Sounds like a perfect opportunity to just cancel right into that. Our X art is free at the beginning of a fight. There's no reason not to switch in the one that you want to use to begin a fight with. It's completely free, just takes a few seconds of your time, and we might as well just open with a nice back attack on him. Look! Whoa! Pyra's auto attack! Claw hammer! Yo! Bro, are you telling me that oh, the battle system is so slow and boring and all this stuff? Man, you don't got a leg to stand on now! I'm here showing you the speed strats! Go away, man! I, I do not care for your face at all! And I couldn't even see it! I'm judging a book by its cover right here! And what are you gonna do about it? You're dead! No, sorry! You're done! <laughs> sorry, had to use the proper Ardanian dialect here. Didn't mean to be offensive when killing you. Well, we'll go over this way. Think about it next time, Zerda. People might look at you funny, though, so watch out. And death by facial. Let's go! Since that's not... The mess hall. That... Olno's mess hall? More like... Let's show him a thing oh no, there. mess hall! Oh man, that did a lot! Uh, by pressing ZL there, I was able to switch blades on the fly. Uh, I, I can't kill a fellow side sleeper. Side sleeping is the optimal way to sleep. It has the least amount of downsides for all the ways that you can sleep. Oh no, there he goes, calling for help. Uh, he's getting them out of bed. Uh, sticky situation is right, Poppy. Oh good, he didn't wake up the side sleeper. I didn't have to kill him. I must protect the future of sleeping healthy. Our kind cannot die out. Looks like you got Nia back safe and sound. Now you got three members in your party. I should explain the roles and about roles and classes. Blades are born with a role. Attackers, a tuk. Healers, plur. And tanks, tunk. For example, Pyra is an attacker, Dromark is a healer. 
Hey everybody, it's Chuck -a Conroy. Welcome back to more Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Last time, we rescued the lovely Nia and Dapper Dromark from the clutches of the Ardanians in the Titan battleship. And we, uh... Sorry guys, didn't mean to run you guys over with a tiger. <laughs> like a bunch of bowling pins, no less. And we did learned all sorts of new things about Nia and Dromark themselves as well, equipping them for the fight ahead. This time, we make our daring escape as we prepare to face off against our greatest adversary. Aggro and be attacked by a driver, and that can realistically go an entire playthrough without ever coming to pass. One of the most useless skills ever. Uh, what, what, what? what? He, he ran in here to go get help and we already killed them, and he hid behind the door. <laughs> Poor man. I actually feel kind of sorry for him. What is he actually saying in that voice clip? I want to know. To me, it sounds like something, something f you up, and I know it's not that because it would probably raise the age rating of this game. You only get so many of those before you go up from a T rating to an M rating, so they can't give it to a regular enemy as something that they can repeatedly say in a battle like that. I swear I have good reason to my swears. They aren't just happening for the sake of happening. Really not feeling these slow arts. Sorry, Nia. Boy, Dromark sure is undromarkable. But seriously, what is this guy doing? I thought that these were phones for a second and then I zoomed in and they're just lamps and what is he just like, ah, oh, you scraps of paper are the only ones who understand me. You see, Dougal got real mad and he sent me to my room. Back in battle command, uh, yeah, we'll just let him be off in his own little world. He can turn around in a few hours and find out that all of his friends are dead. No need to ruin his bliss right this second. Oh, one of these guys! We fought you on the, uh, on the, uh, ship or Pyro was being held! Let's this go. was a dreadful idea. Oops, that wasn't supposed to happen. This was the trap! They knew that a- They knew that Rex could never resist an honest-to-goodness salvage point that they'd never accessed before! Now, we're going to Bower Lounge, not Bower Lounge, Bower Lounge. I did not have that name right, so thanks to those who corrected me on it. My sheltered Americanness so, has been showing with my pronunciations, but- not to fear, I'm not one of the 90% of my country that has never left it. I've actually been to other countries before. Hurry scurry. My how convenient it is that we've just gained the ability to pass time by resting in an inn. Koidwig Inn. I'll have you know this place isn't a short rest or even a long rest, but all rest. I slept like a baby. Go check out the inside of the inn no. by having wind mastery and leaping, which Poppy's got us covered for. Xenoblade 1 Ice Physics! Plop. Whoa! Uh, quite a patch of land. But you should absolutely go and grab this because it's one of the best treasure troves available for a long, long time. Super Strength level 2, Nop on Wisdom level 2, we meet both requirements. Break that barrel! Or cask, as they say in Europe, Xenoland. Uh, give me a common core crystal and wood chip. Who knew that those horribly unsafe playgrounds of my childhood were full of items this powerful? Seriously. Give that to Pyra if you can, or any good attacker. Yo. Huh. Zaya! That's what it says. My brother. He knows about our plan, so he should be happy to help. I'll try to keep Norman stable, but please hurry. Sorry to put you out like this. Rex, shall we get to work on this right away? With you by my side, Pyra, I'm up to any challenge. Going to Elysium and realizing our dream of stopping any potential coming wars is pretty important, but this is true love. True love is more important than all of the wars and Ardanian atrocities in history combined. Love is the answer to all the questions on your math test. Why even save the world if it doesn't have love in it? Whoa! Uh, <laughs> What, is she like, oh my god, I was gonna jump around in his face and, what is like, Nia like farting in his face so hard that she's propelling herself upward for a few seconds and then repeating it on an endless loop? <laughs> oh my god, oh, no. okay, good, I can get out of this. Wow, uh, I don't think he's, I can't help but feel my negotiation skills made things worse. And in our final common core crystal, Look like a dog? Sorry, I called you a bitch. I went... 
It was really just a convenient thing that I could pin Awakening Core Crystals on. But in truth, I just wanted to. Back up top, that's where we were! Uh, good thing your eyeballs are on the sides of your head so you have really bad vision in front of you? <laughs> that worked out quite well. Tyrkin wouldn't be a good usage of our new blades, but hopefully we'll encounter a new, gooder situation where we can use our blades for something that shows their capabilities, be it field skills or fighting. That's really all you people do, isn't it? Sorry, Pyra. I swear I value you. Time for some treasure hunting. Ba 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 ba. Onwards. It's like one of those Rugrats title cards where it's like ba ba do 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 do. Not me. something I Thank thought I would ever reference in a Xenoblade video. I love the smell of salvage in the evening as much as the next guy, but we've been outside of Uncle Lumon's house for a day and a half, and he's probably starting to wonder what all those weird noises that come up twice a day are. You're all mine. Calm your mind. Does nobody have lockpicking yet? It's been a long time coming. Treasure acquired. It has been a long time coming. You've only known us five minutes, and apparently this brought Rex so much trouble that he told you all about the long wait for this treasure trove. What I've thought about every single day and seen in my nightmares. Titan! Ugh. I don't get my hunter's chemistry if I don't run up there and bop him. What do I have for range? I'm so sorry to um, steal your thunder, Korra, but uh, I think I need a stronger blade for this and one that has a bit of range on her opening attack. I'm counting on you. And met Van Dam, a man who runs a firm here in the village of Garfont. This time, we're gonna get to know the mercenaries that live around here! Uh... Well, that was close. Wish I knew about that spoiler-free way to look at that before. Hey you, Pikachu. Never imagined that the Aegis's troop would be a bunch of kids. Don't take it the wrong way, I'm just surprised. He must have had it real tough. Our boss is really concerned about you lot. Don't you worry, there ain't a person here who thinks badly of you. You can rest easy here in Garfont, take some time to recuperate. Aww. I still don't feel bad for making fun of your name so much. What an annoying old guy. Where do you think Vandom went? I guess we just explore the village and hope we run into him. Good idea. It's always best to get your lay of, get the lay of the land when you arrive at a new place, and when you're painting along with Bob Ross. Besides, didn't he say we, we should get ready for something? the spell so shall we whoa this nighttime weather is about as lucky as it gets <laughs> freaked out so much that i got a tickle in my throat that caused me to start coughing oh man it's so beautiful this is the inn uh, we weren't able to stay in here until we got the formal invite if it was me i'd probably stay in bed some more but you're the boss Mmm, nice catnap. Professional YouTubers, we are all Korra. With them yet. Wow, world has many amazing places. Oh, I thought you were gonna trigger a cutscene, so I was just gonna keep walking though, but then I just smacked into the wall behind you because I was too busy staring at the tree back there. You understand, right? Y'all do it every day. Rock mate, you're up! My asthma's died down. <laughs> yep, nothing to it. Let's roll. Hey guys, where did the Titan tell its mom its gas was coming from? My ass, Ma! <laughs> Been saving that one for years. I don't know if I want to admit that. Uh, moving on to, uh, prettier topics. I mean that with every fiber of my being that you are prettier than that, Van Dam. I want to check out these Volves. Uh, I don't want to pause and show the chart right now, but Dromark has a skill on his level 2 affinity that requires taking out some Volves in Uriah. And they just happen to be right here on the way. And there's the Blant attacking me anyway. See what I told you? Man, and I was going to be all like, huh, Rip Volf. Rip Volf is right when I'm done with you. And then that didn't happen. 
I've been caught off guard by every fight so far. Next, I'd like to go into launch. Uh, oh, uh, Tora's using a pandemic. That's water and, uh, earth. And if we could use rock special, the pandemic turns into a final disaster. <laughs> this land must be sloped in just the right way to make that keep happening, because it did it again when I finished it off. That was the first battle that felt like it went on for quite a while. It was... I'll use it up and I'll stutter step if I have to. <laughs> Looks like one of you has inflicted break! See that gauge arrow it's pointing at? This is the driver combo gauge, and it will appear whenever someone inflicts break on an enemy. Use an art that has a topple effect before the gauge runs out, and you'll have an opportunity to inflict major damage. This is what we call a driver combo. Driver combo has to, can be extended through four stages in total. Break, topple, launch, smash. You'll find Rex and his friends have a variety of arts that can be integrated into a driver combo, so try to find the best ways to link them all together. For now, though, why don't you take advantage of Nia's break art and topple that Arden with your anchors? Gee, I would if I wasn't dead. <laughs> what even is this fight? Get pre 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 okay, good. Right back in time. Anchor shot, go. You got it after seeing it once. Not bad, kid. Hey. <laughs> Listen up, kid. I love these characters so, so much. They just feel so alive to me. Also, the word sus apparently existed before Among Us. <laughs> Taught me something too, Van Damme, not just the group either. Wanna get up on this rock? Thank you. Bring it on. Mordo Blanche, more like, see it a Mordo Blanche. It's all I had, and woohoo, here we go, down the rapids. This would be so terrifying to do in real life. Especially having lead boots that would weigh you down in the water, though. But Rex has got some strong ass legs on him. Yes. Cora. Nice. Rock. You rock the house. Go. BB. Good. Because we smashed that orb and hit that timing, our specials are now up to level two, and we get another round. Uh, that was a B. All ether crystals. See, I can win, I just have to play on easy. None of this thing I want to be admitting to. Ah! Not quite good enough to deserve me taking credit for it. Telepathy 3, or as I like to call it, Telepathy 3, I think uh, raises the chances of blade arts triggering. Indeed it is. Block rate up by 10%. She would get 3.5% out of that. Decimals do exist in those percentage rates, by the way. It's just that you can't see them in-game because it rounds. All these stupid, clean, pretty user interfaces that withhold information from people who actually know how to use a computer. Ugh. But I can never get through even half of the level with that. I've also heard some people saying they didn't know that you could attack the enemies in Tiger Tiger. I don't know how people thought that, but for those of you that played through the whole game thinking that, I salute you. I claim the score in the name of my people! I heard Garrus wants to thank you. You should talk to him. He's right here, you know. I'm back! Thank goodness everyone was okay. I'm so relieved. Next time, we'll make sure they're accompanied by an adult. We wouldn't let you know. We should let- Oh, we should let you know! <laughs> I was unintentionally making a pun in my own head and confusing myself! That's my shtick! It's no problem at all. Oh, I nearly forgot. Please take this. It's nothing special, just a little something to say thanks. Thanks. And four vegetables. Hey, thanks a bunch. We'll end on the molten salsa to turn him into fried chicken. And because of his arts recharge. Hey. More, more the latter than the first. Hi there. After that stuff happened, we decided not to let the kids go out and play without a grown up on hand. That makes sense. The character that I believe was added at a later time, this is one of those free updates that they supported the game with. Battle Observer, just sitting on this rock. Speak to me whenever you defeat a new unique monster and I'll record the deed. I'm sorry, you have big round glasses and you're wearing blue, so I can only picture you like Simon from the Chipmunks. I'm awful. Uh, he keeps track of your best times against every unique monster in the world. I wanted to head over this way, because right at the end, yes, a well-hidden treasure trove of some great importance. There's a common core- uh, What?! What?! No! I am giving up my life for that cash! Gimme! Yeah! Worth it! Worth it! Even though I can't take it with me. What a rip 
bar. Let's learn from that, eh? Like a phoenix from the ashes. <sighs> if a smaller enemy is a higher level than you, you can probably take it. Just keep that in mind. It can be a good thing to be aware of. Now, I haven't done this yet, but oh, come on! Right when I was about to, you fart me through the air. <laughs> That's impressive. Uh, I was gonna say, I wasn't really using Vandom's skill that I was praising so much. Let's do that now. Cancel a driver art into another driver art. I guess not. Percival is a personal favorite of mine, and I'm very excited that we're getting to see him today. Uh, you can come with me straight away. What is it with Rex and getting dark element? That's kind of interesting. Back. Wow. Tardy Gate. Ha. Huh. Because it took us so long to get through it, right? That's what it was. They thought of that when they were naming it all that time ago. It's all a great big pun conspiracy. Up there looks like a settlement. We finally fought our way through all these Ignas. I'm not gonna play as you. Thanks for fr to friends for saving Dororo from that horrible fate. That's totally fine. But nasty Ignas make off with Dororo's cargo of 500 ruby magosteens doing your squats in front of the camera. Uh, but Dororo should not have complained. Important thing is being alive. As long as Dororo alive can always start over and find new merchandise. This is partly fault of Dororo anyway. Tanini. Got a panini? Hi there. Hello, Lolo. Uh, rock? Rock would get increased luck there. Rock. Don't know why I sounded like you there. There's a bubble in my throat and it just happened to come out like that. Guardian signs. Hey everybody, it's Chucka Conroy. Welcome back to more Xenoblade Chronicles 2. It Tora, anytime. No, 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 no escape route. Okay, good, topple, 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 go, 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 yes! Raining money over here. 103 gold from that coin. Be on the lookout for these enemies. It's an enemy type that I never personally fought on my own time because they weren't really needed for quests, so I never noticed them. They were just off in the background not bothering anybody, so. I'm not some deranged madman. I don't kill super cute things unless I know there's money involved. An ox core, an arts aggro boost, not really great. I'm just gonna run away from this battle and not even try. Soul sucker got up to level two in the time that I spent running like a coward. It was my own soul that I was sucking on. Yes. She's also getting Mike wazowski very badly by that menu. Executioner! That's one way to stop him from calling for help! Uh, I didn't come up with the name Stat Stick, it's just something that I've heard uh, speedrunners of the game use. Since I don't want to deprive you of my real reactions, here's what that was like. Finally, he does. No! Ah! We lost the upper hand! Uh, please don't have a lot of range on your walking! I'm actually probably walking back into the area that you patrol, so that's not a good idea! Oh god, he's coming up, 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 he's coming up! No! Dang it, he just, he just started ignoring me too! Please let this be enough. Please let this be enough. Oh god, no! Oh! Ah, 11,000 oh, yeah. damage! It's fine, we'll get him yet. Retreat can be noble. I just got told. I going that way, okay? I'm not gonna be able to get that treasure chest, but I'm gonna try! They put a little gold star on his grave that says you tried. What were we supposed to be doing again? Oh yeah, going to the Argentum Trade Guild. Now we carry on our way. Up ahead, it's the Buns! We need to kill them. Korra wants butted enemies in Uriah, and you know what that means? We gotta switch around our party. Because in this house, Korazami is cannon! Because she uses a cannon too! Oh, it works on so many levels! Azami! Because we got non-linearity here, we can slip behind this rock. Funny stone highway. Oh! <laughs> Look at that stone! Thinking it could stick it that far up out of the ground! What a joker! <laughs> uh, Zyke Anzel Ardens. On the lookout for those water hills. We'll do a special even if it's not a part of a combo. We just don't have good blades that comboed into one another, so I might as well just use the specials if I got them. Gaia Crash, sure. Neil will be able to finish this off with a lightning quake. First time seeing that one. 
Eh, she's on Korra. There's not going to be a break because she cares about blade combos a lot more. Whoa! Uh, there's children here, guys? What are you doing? That was so violent. How is this wooden table still even here? I know I'm thinking way too logistically, though, but just with how insanely destructive these attacks look, it just makes you think sometimes. So nice, she said it twice. That was a pretty weak-looking special uh, in this chain attack. And then... Dust him to death! He'll never get it out of his socks! Last time, we finished our journey through the Urian's stomach and made it to Fonsa Mima, the capital at the back of the Urian. At the back of the Titan. This time, hope you picked up on Van Damme's body language of looking off in the direction of our objective at the beginning of this because that's the narrative that I'm pushing. We're going off to go see him because he wants to see him real bad. Ah, hoping to perform at this theater one day, Poppy. Getting in some practice? Well, I'd like to direct your attention to the view count below this right now. And then I'd like you to divide the like-dislike ratio into that to see how many people like that performance. There's your motivation booster. Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy! And now, I say it's high time that we go around and we see the city. Chimps Churros! Ooh, I love me some Chimps Churros along with my Charleston Chews. These items are both the same price. Oh, who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? I didn't think you laid down. Now nah, he's a cat. Well, of course he did. Hey, everybody, it's Chugger Conroy. Oh, hey, it's Mr. Titan. Ardanian Fighter is the name of it. That's what it was referring to. Monono was not here on the first visit. Mo no, 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 he wasn't. Hey, how have you been, stranger? Doing good? Yeah, I bet. Well, as for me, I've been Cora. They don't need to hear your life story. We don't want to hear what they have to say. Hello, no. At last. <laughs> As we start off, though, today, we are now able to equip our third blade at long last. Sorry, Tora, you don't count. A reminder that we don't need, uh, Hamlish. Something wrong. Yeah, his name. I believe you and Zuo are waiting to, wanting to speak with you. Of course, I already know what it's about and what it means for us all. You'll probably want to come and speak to me shortly. I have something prepared especially for you. I guess we have no choice but to talk to you! Ah, Rex, uh, good to see you. That looked kind of weird. What was that? <gasps> uh, what? Who? Ah! <laughs> yes! <laughs> I'm Ursula. Pleasure! To the wheel! Right, Barry? <laughs> she is so precious, she might even get the cutest plant award for me. If not her, then cross set, but we don't need to have these waifu wars right now. <laughs> How fitting that this happened in the episode that I'm going over the Merc group! <laughs> Those of you that have played this before know exactly what I am talking about. Very ingrained in your skulls, I'm sure. How about you go walk the streets and listen to people's troubles? A good driver doesn't just wait for work to come to him, you know. He finds what needs doing for himself. Though I suppose you know that already. Sorry to be presumptuous. What about you? Hey, boss. Are you taking on missions for the Merc group? While moping around the village... Nah, we don't mope. There was a barrel here that Poppy can break open. That's got a common core crystal, yet another one, a ton of money, and jamming three. It ain't stealing if you inherited the town. Up on this cliff overlooking everything. Uh, oh, Jelved. Uh, that's the boy that we helped out a long time ago. My parents are gone too, I'd, but I'd never considered harboring a grudge. I mean, revenge doesn't really solve anything, and it's not like he can bring them back. Oh well. Life here is fun enough for me. No point in making a fuss, really. Aw. 
I'm just saying awe to everything. I'm sorry. It's just, you're all so cute and I love you and I just want to squish you while shoving my map in your faces. This is our first heart to heart with just a regular rare blade. Every single blade has at least one heart to heart. It's incredible. Also, Nia just offed herself. Doesn't like these sappy moments, okay? The only exception is Azami, because of course she cares more than your average blade. Do you play any instruments? Tora Bet Ursula can play every instrument. Um, I'm not very good, but I can play a few. More than one? Wow! Which is best instrument? Maybe the organ? I also quite like the lute. Actually, Tora can play Whisper Corder. Not on children forced to play from age of about five years. Oh, I'd love to hear you play sometime. Oh, Tora and Ursula should make duet. I'd like that. Actually, Poppy also play can blow mean trumpet. Fan face lungs capable of incredible sustain. That's amazing. Is it just me, or has she forgotten I'm even here? But she seems to be having a great time. Maybe one day she'll be able to have fun talking about music with the whole gang. So I guess Poppy has a really strong fan base. That's where your mind went to when you heard that. That unlocks a new skill for Ursula. Like I said, we'll be going over her in greater detail another time. Flexing that best block rate in the game. Also, I'm gonna ruin Electra for you. You know she has one ox core slot? And you see what an ox core is shaped like? It's that parting around her belly button. That's her ox core slot. Bored, bored, bored. I'm so bored. I want to do stuff too. Well, you should have thought of that when you were born such a bad blood. No, I can't say that to her face. She's so good. The that is a complete rundown of the Merc mission system and everything we can do in Garfont Village. So off to Fonsa Mima, the Imperial capital, or Imperial, uh, it's not really an empire. The kingdom capital, they call it. I, after all, I'm making my home in Uriah now. I better be able to pass the immigration exam. We're gonna head up this way as our next destination, uh, past the nipples, is uh, on the other side of, the, of uh, Fonsa Mima. It's where the ferry that'll take us back to Argentum is. We could always skip travel there. What, and ruin the plot? First off, I want to show you the most fun thing to do in Uriah. Those of you that say that all you do is walk in Uriah, I don't think anybody actually says that, but in case you do, look at this. Whoa! All in one piece. I didn't think I was gonna make that jump. That was cool. Uh, I didn't really intend for that to happen. I thought I was just gonna smack into the dirt and die, but I mean, I guess while we're here, I might as well ride it all the way because it's like the funnest thing to do ever. Look at this! Fonsa Mima waters going down underneath the stomach. That's uh, the small intestine, isn't it? Uh, woohoo! Uh, that was kind of a killjoy. Um, right on, Rex. Go do your thing. On it. Please don't do anything reckless. Don't you mean don't do anything Rexless? Because, you know, if he goes through it and doesn't come back out, we'll, we'll be Rexless. Okay. Uh, that is a feature of the DLC expansion pass. Hello, friend. Tolulu think employers spending more and more uh, time shut inside. If Tolulu not here, Tolulu expect the pro- uh, He probably- probably starved to death, but I didn't think you were, uh, huh. Oh, talking about the employer is he. I was like, wow, uh, good for you, but I, I didn't know that. Uh, Tolulu not saying word. Tolulu, I swear, a non-disclosure agreement not to give out secrets. About them NDAs. They're terrifying, I tell ya. They're terrifying. There is a side quest over there that we could grab, but I'll warn you, it ain't worth it. Wow, you guys again. Really taught me a lesson back there. I lost because I wasn't able to fully make use of my ox cores. I could have equipped something with fire damage reduction to weaken the Aegis' attacks. Or I could have used a jamming effect to dodge ranged attacks. If I had done something like that, I would have won. That's not to say I'm gonna try it, but believe me, it's true. 
This is the uh, no mark driver that we lost to. That's what I'm calling your clone of Dromark. I hope you like it. I would just go hang out at the port whenever I wanted to relax. It was. I'm wanting to say you actually don't have a deed for me right now. When that happens, we cheat. Yum Yum's Golden Gun, the Millenarian Titan, Adventures of Myram, and no, you don't. Never happened. I'm sorry for cheating. It's just, it's not my fault our pouch items are so bad and not worth the money. It pains me to think of how many people go through this entire adventure thinking that pouch items suck because the first one they give you sucks and they never think to try out the good ones. Uh, bro bro, I want to talk to Yo-Yo. Is something wrong? Yeah, his dancing kind of worried me too. Oh man, as I was going around looking for those missions, it's Harka, Mr. I can't do credit himself. See, you remember it so strongly, don't you? You know the Ardanians are ne next most common race in Argentum after the Nopon, right? There are quite a few people like me who were born in Moradain but choose to live here instead. Main reason is that more is Moradain's Titan isn't an easy place to live. The ground is barren and not many crops grow there. Some choose to move to Gormat too, but I went to for Argentum since there are more working opportunities. Though I guess the big reason is that I failed to get in the Ardanian army. I'm sorry, Scottish people. You don't all sound like that to me. I promise. I have it in my notes to grab Salvaging Wisdom 1, and I don't know why I wrote this down. A perfectly executed dive doesn't equal results. Salvager, leave luck to heaven! Leave luck to heaven is the literal translation of what Nintendo means. Here I thought it was just gonna be a useless tutorial where I was gonna be like, ha ha, uh, salvaging wisdom. Press A when it says to press A. Press B when it says to press B, and <gasps> press X when it says to press X. That's what I was expecting, but no, that was actually pretty cool. I, for once, actually approve of a tutorial. Heck, I'd even go so far as to say that I was expecting you to say, what happens when it says to press Y? It's a secret. By Salvaging Wisdom 2. Might go for free. Meh meh. How many you say coming on board? Six. Maybe more. And how many of them salvagers? Eh, I don't know. I could maybe take my clothes off and shove Pyra into them. Uh, no. Uh, which mean how many non-salvagers? Quite a lot. Then should pay 3,000 G. Murmur sorry. Be big hearted, but have a limit to kindness. If we don't pay this, we can't progress. You're going salvaging, buddy, to pay for all your non salvager friends if you don't have the money. This very remote conversation only happens at this one very specific time. Let's head on over to Murmur and board the ship. That isn't how I walked up. No. 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 What have you lost now? Rock's core crystal. It's not here. You mean the little blighter? After him, at once! Titan's foot! Little bastard, you get back here right now! Do not keep me from awakening Rock's core crystal! I'll jump off the whole goddamn trade oh. guild if I have to! Oh. We're gonna go back into Uman's workshop and see that he's nowhere to be found. These kids waltzed in and just took over his house. Maybe he was counting on that boat to save his business and because we destroyed it and didn't tell him where we were going, he went in a downward spiral and is drinking away his sorrows and is on the verge of jumping off the bridge. Nah. Once again, wow, I'm really jealous. Those only came out just recently. Meh. <laughs> no, uh, no, I, I pressed that. Well, that's what I get for uh, bringing back that old tired thing. Really? I can have it? Wow, thanks! Dromark! That's no way to treat a lady! I came in here to switch around our skills and whatnot, and then I see this atrocious display. And Barry's even holding her in place and making her take it, ugh. Them darn furry animals. They're all in cahoots, I tell ya. <laughs> More like kaputs, am I right? No. Uh, we need to... <laughs> That was so lame even for me, oh my god. I wanted to go in here and uh, see what we could learn. Anyway. This actually, what is it with our cats spazzing out? Holy crap. 
Dromark, you're better than this. What are you doing? Even Tora. I'm not calling you an animal, bud. Get over here. Jeez. Okay. I was going to say that I'll refine an HP attack boost too as well. The HP attack boost would be a good effect on Ursula, considering every time we switch over to her, we're getting insta-healed. No matter what she does when attacking, we'll probably get this, as long as we're not almost dead. Actually, no, Percival. You know what you can wear? You can wear the massive melee Mithra. Go for it. 7% critical rate. <laughs> Man, everyone's gonna be sweating in this thing before Mithra even gets a chance to wear it. Serves her right. Hunter's Chemistry 2, you can go on Electra. With all that done, that went faster than I expected. Now we set sail off to the land of bad guys. Uh, maybe don't say that too loudly. Welcome to the Empire of Morardane. <laughs> Sorry, it does things to me. Finally, we made it. Having to leave my friends behind is bad, but having to leave my favorite foods behind could be even worse. Yeah, I know. I heard when a country's business is booming, they trade more with other places and you can get imported goods. So, we just have to buy lots of stuff and make the business in and all do great. Yeah, you too can support an entire economy by yourself. Hey, it's what the delusional rich think of the poor when they say it's our responsibility to keep them in business. Timel. Timel? Timel? Hey. I know that that was not the most popular of decisions that I made, though, but it, it worked out okay. Oh. You might actually die before you get a chance to see this. I'm so sorry you will never have the privilege of living to see this level 4 special. Let's go for it. Yes. Let's finish it here and now. Well, we made all sorts of progress, not just in the story sense, but we got a lot stronger in many different ways. We made it to Morardane, we met some of the locals, we found out we're going to be stuck here for a little while. Enemy territory. And uh, we met a new blade to... Fine, see if I turn to you for protection in this harsh wilderness. Next time on Xenoblade Chronicles 2. I Next time on Xenoblade Chronicles 2, we're. Aha! I can't do it. We're going to make our way to the Ardanian capital. See you guys then. Danian ports are all the same. This looks like it'll be something good. What? Master Pun, it seemed that Ask Rex about art of being driver not bear fruit. After all, Rex is a rookie too. Tora is disappoint. I really thought you were thinking of being a salvager, Tora. Meh, it's fine. Tora, ask Nia. Uh, hang on, Tora. Let me, let me try again. There's your reaction image. Use it well. Oh, you that old Mui Mui guy! Of course, Tora, remember. Mui Mui should have said to start with. Mui Mui did say. Oh, right. Mui Mui not very interesting, so Tora forgot he exists. Oh! Tora? That's not very nice. No, no, I do not blame Tora. He'd been living on his own since getting to Toragoth for as long as he could remember. There we got HP attack boost. I uh, hope you don't mind me robbing your back room, but Nia, get off the furnace. That's very dangerous. Get down from there. No, Nia, off the counter. Off the counter. Okay, jeez. Uh, <sighs> gonna get away from it as gonna get away with it as long as you can before I go over there and actually stop you. I missed and and a dent a del a del no music. What do you have against Adele, huh? Uh, I want to buy the. Rock on! <laughs> That's what we did. We put the rock on. And before we got the rarest blade, before even getting a earth, common earth blade. Correct me, I... Hey, you. I have a different kind of joke for you today, okay? 
Why do Orions speak in Australian accents? Because your whale is down under the cloud sea. Nice going! <laughs> he really liked my new kind of joke. Uh, you're, you're too kind. Most Starmine Squad, move out! Me? The leader? I won't let you down! Just remember to have fun! Oh, she will. She always does. That's what I love about her. All right, well, we've raisin the- Raisin? Uh, <laughs> we've, uh, dried out some fruits to, uh, raise the Merc group rank, or something of that nature. Even I confuse myself. And we've made it to Alba Kavanich, the- And indeed, I didn't even know if that's the right inflection for where this name is from. I probably better stop. Different peoples coming together to share the bonds of nationalism. Oh. Perhaps you are just what I need. Nia, Poppy very interested to hear details of this. Yeah, me too. I think it is kind of overreacted when people act like this is a huge inconvenience. It's not really. Sarasa was the problem. Little did I know the country that spawned my waifu would be my undoing. Percy, good- My troubles, not what I wanted out of the big chest, but I will happily take it. Perfect there, and 16, 69,337 points. That's like 69 eat. Like Leet and 69 put together. 69 Leet. That's it. It's gonna be that. I recognize that silhouette, and we had more than 50 pity points. Yep! Wait, no, you're not her! I'm Agate. Excuse me! I didn't have 50 pity points! Is pure and my will unbreakable. I thought I had fitty pity. I didn't have fitty pity. Well, that's awkward. I think Great Axe is our Nia's worst weapon type. <laughs> It'll be a while before we get to you, honey. I'm very sorry. Uh, Earth okay, so we need both keen eyes, strength. but we need six Earth Mastery. Agate doesn't have Earth Mastery. That means that we have to do this solely on Rex. And he can only go up to level two. So we could do everything except get the treasure in the end. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Oh well. Alright, so at least we know where the treasure is for later. We'll come back for it another time. But at least we've gotten to see this full story. The real treasure was the two friends we made along the way. Yes! Callus Squar. Just do what we always do. Let's do our best. Hope so Callus he doesn't feel any pain as I go up here and punch his lights out. Whoa, he's actually kind of cute for a freaky beak monster. Topple. Oh come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No, we're not gonna get launch in time. I don't have it set to my default art. No. It's okay though. We'll do it soon. Uh, Tora, you do the opening special. Somewhere around here, collection point. I want to make sure I get all of them because ten of them is an awful lot that we need. Entomology. You don't even have a nose, Finch. Did you forget that too? Melosian honey, Melosian honey, Melosian honey. Seven in one collection point! Finch, look at you actually mattering for something for once in your life. Other than, you know, being cute and charming and having a really good design and having cool goggles and having funny voice lines and happening to play off of Nia comedically very well, making this her a good driver for you in one sense, sense even if you're not really good on anybody, so I would say that probably makes her your best driver. And then, Melosian Honey. That's all ten of them. Already done. Of course, I've dealt with Mui Mui. I think I can handle one Mui just fine. My da salvaged that for me. It's important to me. Oh, salvage goods, eh? Where did you salvage it from? The Titan's asshole! There's this salvage spot in, in the relay base. What? From inside the base? Why is he waving his arms like, what? From inside the base? Well, that means it's our Danian property, so it's mine! Nia getting an idea level up from those Merc missions. 
Garagorm's Arch continues to be a useful place to go, and a beautiful one at that. Who wouldn't want to go to this place as often as we have ever since we discovered it? Those birds are looking rather radioactive in the sky, but I can let it pass because the view is just be that beautiful. What's a little bit of environmental pollution if it makes things more beautiful? Just look at Noki Bay. Is it down there, perhaps? I thought it was up here. Yeah, it is down there. <clears throat> I think. Uh, no, it's up. It's time once again for everyone's favorite game. Guess the layer it's on. Ew, you shat, Otto. Meh, meh, what you said, you heard me. Yeah, you ever heard that one before? I bet you have. A lot of times in elementary school. So here's the thing. No penny, no pawn. I just gave so many of you war flashbacks with that pronunciation. Do we already have the item that we need? Our gentle noodle soup with Torregoth flair. What could taste be like? Shototo has never eaten Torregoth food, so difficult to imagine. So hungry. No, we don't. Thank you so much. Please take care. New Merc mission unlocked. Sorry, New Merc mission acquired. You gotta sound official when you're referring to this. Fela. Oh, you must be the ones Mui mentioned. Uh, you looking to join the Militia Corps, are you? No, meh. I mean, we probably should. They're fixing all the problems that we caused. Uh, I mean, the secret's out now. I don't know see why we can't mention that around everyone now that the military knows. You just wanted to help out? Well, that's a shame. <laughs> wow! You just wanted to help? Well, that's a shame. <laughs> I ordered a load of stuff, but it hasn't arrived yet. I was at the Nopon camp in the nether parts of Gormalt when I ordered it. Oh, so the Titan's asshole is a location. I don't get it. All the other stuff I ordered from them came when they said it would. Maybe something's up. Maybe with a few tasty treats. That might balance out the price issue. And that's another problem all sorted out. Thank you so much. You really helped me out. I'll be sure to tell Mui how helpful you were. And that is every single problem pl problem. Uh, insensitive Japanese joke here. Oh, Finch, I understand you. Whenever you got just that crink in your spine and it won't quite go away, but you keep stretching your back anyway because you just got to keep trying to see if you can make it happen. I relate to you right now. Hey, everybody, it's Chucka Conroy. Welcome back to more Xenoblade Chronicles 2. <sighs> it reminded me of that feeling, and I, I don't like that, but I, I guess I feel a little bit better now that I've shared it. <laughs> Create a new Merc group today. Excellent. I have established my team, the Contrarians. Now, what adventures does the world have in store for us? Just remember to our you people are the scourge of the internet. Nothing's allowed to just be okay anymore. Nothing's allowed to just be pretty good. Everything either has to be the greatest thing of all time, or it has to be the most awful overrated garbage that has disgraced the world more than anything else. Nothing's allowed to just be okay anymore with you people. Nothing's allowed to just be good. It's all about the clicks for you asses. No. Sorry, just have strong feelings about this. Ruins of Fountain Park, we're going. Uh, Percival, you might want to look out behind it. Oh God! Oh no! Oh! Uh, wait! Get back here with my blade! What are you doing? No! Get back here! Is it? Is he going for a ride? Okay, no, he just. Okay, good. He, he, man, being able to recover from any in in injury sure has its advantages. Hey, everybody! It's Chugger Conroy. Welcome back to more Xenoblade Chronicles Two. Actually, you know, you got an affinity max attack effect as well. You're wearing massive melee Mithra, you can take the Affinity Max Attack 3. 40% more damage, stacking with that 70% already, and you have increased critical damage. You're a machine, and not just because you got that metallic sheen. Just remember to have fun. And it'll be a premiere for you too. Our next stop is this super cool ladder that looks really cool during the day as well. Wow, that gate on the way out of the Titan. Um. I don't want to ruin it though, but I'm gonna say that that gate is canonically the Titan's butthole as we're right near the uh, tail, and that's a hole that you used to get out. It makes sense! I'm sorry, but it does! Wind mastery and leaping at long last! We can see what's up here by getting up on top of this build. Oh no, no, it's a chain letter! Spike defense, not useful. Besides, that's the opposite of the orb that we're gonna be hitting! Boom, 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 bowie! Tora, you're gonna smash that orb? 
Sorry, Wolfric didn't mean to steal your thunder and all. Uh, sure. We're able to get started on this by going to Palala at the Reiterate Bookstore. He is now selling Tome of Moritha number two. I hate reading. No, he doesn't. He loves reading. Precisely getting these Rhine entails, entails, going to Drillbore Bridge in the stomach. Nomad Rhinon! Hope you evolve into a Rhinerier. I like your attitude. Explain. Meh, meh, meh. So Lala is Sunny Pond of Foodie Maker, Songy Singer for Lala. I like that title. Makeup, making up false stories, very bad. So Lala is Red Blooded Nopon of Kingdom of Uriah. Not greedy, stingy Nopon from Argentum. Hmm, this is awkward. What should we do? Nia, you get the bag and I'll push. Nopon adorable and famous for fluff, for fluff fluff, fetch good price on black market. Meh, meh, meh. Help, kidnap, help! Meh, meh! You're cornered. This is like an 80 foot drop for someone as short as you. Meh, meh! Go away, meh! Leave Nopon to Poppy. Drat. That's what we needed those skills for. Meh, so Lala was only swimming in Cloud Sea. No, no, won't go with you. Maybe even try to comfort a little. But only going because of famous food and singing, really. Other stuff, just extra. Alba Trojan's here. That Don't let him smoke. in. Wait, no, no, do it. All right. Where nice. are we headed next? <laughs> oh, my God. I didn't know she said that. It was a roaring success. Just don't let him in over her own team. Oh, my God. Alba Trojan's here. Don't let him in. Oh, wait. Do it. Do it. That's like something I would say when I was four. God. <laughs> I can't stop laughing. I'll save you well with this. <laughs> I hate you, Finch. <laughs> Nia got a stronger sense of justice from letting them in. <laughs> Salala. Oh yeah, wasn't there an explosion or something that we had to deal with? We now have Mithra as our default blade. Well now, it seems Pyro will be taking a much deserved break for the next while and a half. Really? I thought she'd be taking a much needed topple. Uh, so now's your chance to work more closely with Mithra. Mithra! Let's get into this right away. She is her own independent blade who don't need no stinking Pyra. She starts with some pretty good stats. The Mithra, when she's wearing this ox cord, changes her appear- <laughs> She was shy and ran away! <laughs> oh, she's around the corner! Wait, where did she go? Wait, Adenine's going off to console her! Where- Oh, hi. <laughs> okay, that was really funny. Uh, shy as she is, Mithra has just changed her appearance. This is to match her appearance in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, as that game had an E10 Plus rating, and they couldn't include her the way that she was and keep the rating the same. Unless they wanted to get a T rating just like this game. Now, I've seen a lot of people go like, oh, it's censorship, and they shouldn't have included her at all if she couldn't have been exactly as she was, and they're messing with the artistic integrity, and, uh, and I'm just like, bro, don't even. They made her hotter. Seriously, she looks so much better like this. I prefer this appearance. And this is going to be what we're going to be using a lot of the time because the effect of it is so nice to have. The enemy's element is now fire. Eureka! I'm Rika. Everyone, come join the Breeze Shooters! It just kind of added to my personal annoyance. Uh, Mithra, we're gonna have you unleash your power, or get blocked by the res driver. He's a pretty high resolution driver. 720p is alright, I guess. Uh, we'll go for this. We'll open up with your level 1 special. Pow! You're not the right person for this fight. Now you will die. Enemy forces the eliminated. Yeah. Damage minimal. Sorry about the awkward cut in. I thought it was only right that we do this fight as Tora, as he has the most personal stakes in it. Sorry, Mithra, you're gonna have to wait a little bit longer before we really truly go over what makes you a great blade. But trust me, there's a lot to do. God, if she, it was. Oh no, it's a dog. <laughs> I was gonna say, I hope it's not a she, because then they'd be like, huh, locks. You want to have a key put in you, is what the high school kids would say. Oh my god! 
Sure, we'll just fight. I can do this alone. <laughs> Thanks, Mithra, you're helping. Oh, really? But that's a story for another time. What do you say, guys? I can't deny I'd rather avoid making an enemy of them. Yeah, that boy. I might bear witness to something quite extraordinary. No, no, that's fine. Nobody got hurt in the end. I'm Except for those dozen soldiers you killed because they told you to go to bed. This thing's face is horrifying. He's like smiling with his creepy wide-eyed look. Just look at him! Yeah, and his face is like made of wood or something! Reminds me of that time when like the Tombola man on Neopets had his mask taken off and he had this horrifying wooden face underneath. Why not? Give me level 2 of Foresight, level 3 of Aqua Wave. Uh, I just paused during a battle because I think that must have been frame perfect or something. Wow. <laughs> I can hear the battle music in the pause menu. With this power, I shall protect you. I've still yet to go over her battle skills. It's coming. It's coming. Just takes the right fight for it. Drop. If we'll demand three years supply of tasty sausage. Don't get too carried away with yourself there. With that much tasty sausage, Master Pawn not need to work for rest of life. The rest of his life with a three year supply? Anyway, if we head to this palace, uh, the guard should get us in touch with Morag. Poppy, let's march. There we go, a little bit of a rocky start, but you're getting the hang of it. This is a meme in the making. Or should I say a don't forget meme? Hey everybody, it's Chuggacon. Oh, they turned away from me when I said- <laughs> Ahem, I said- Wow, no sense of humor, these military types. Welcome back to more Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Last time we- Oh yeah. You might be able to tell which nuke skeeter swallowed the documents. With that thing in its stomach, it might be feeling a wee bit crabbit. Ah, but uh, you might have to be watching for a pretty long time. Hard to stomach. Get it? The steel box is hard and it went to stomach. Yeah, it works on so many levels. Two of them. Up on top, there's a ladder that's too long for some reason clipping through the bottom of that. Are they even trying? <laughs> I unironically love that literally unplayable thing where sometimes it's serious and sometimes it's a joke and it's just kind of oh, fun. Yeah. Uh, especially when there's older games and people are posting glitches in re-releases of them being like, oh, come on, like, seriously, this is such a bad remake. And I'm like, bro, this happened in the original version. I even have footage of it on my channel. <laughs> uh, is there... Ah! Great axes have great access to driver combos. They give Nia a topple art, which is the only one that she gets from any weapon type. Uh, we're just gonna go look around, lock from the other side, okay. Had a feeling that was coming up. Speedrunner! Yep, this is what they look like. Here we see a speedrunner in its natural environment. A basement. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Alright, let's go. Uh, those pink chunks of whatever flying up. No, 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 what are you doing? No, uh, that's... That's what speedrunners do. They use cheap tactics when they otherwise wouldn't have been able to win. Uh, he uh, called for help of enemies right there. It's kind of lame. So three and two. Okay, Rex, you're awakening a blade. You need one common fire blade to do this part, and thus you're- Wait, Vess's core crystal's ready to be awakened? Really? I don't remember seeing the notification for that. If it popped up earlier, I am so sorry that I missed it. And I'm sure you were shouting at me a lot for that, but wow, um, if you're anything like me, you were quite invested to see where that was going. We're gonna skip. Access gate, it is locked, everything is locked in this old place. I guess they didn't want anybody looting the place after they left, but little did they know, we could just melt the doors and we don't do this on every door for some reason. Oh, whoa, these two guys are going at it here on this cliff side. That's kind of dangerous. Uh, the one on the left chickened out. He's the loser by de facto according to the laws of nature. Just do what we always do. Tora and Can I get a level 4 special off of these guys? That I don't know. Oh! Got kicked in the face! What is it with Nia getting smacked so hard she goes flying? Yes! Barely did it! Barely! 
barely did it. Had to fight all four of them, but we did it. Cross shot two. Driver can shatter any will. How about this? A scout. Am I bad? I'm bad. Masterful. Oh, you bad, all right. We just decimated the entire ecosystem around this watering hole so that we could bathe our sweaty feet in it. Oh my gosh, that was really good. That's Agate's level four special, Invincible Moldavite. It's, we went quite far out of our way. This is where we gotta go. I wanna head down all the way here because at the bottom of the Ruined Laborer's Bridge, ya mama. Hey. Meh, meh, meh. Nice people up here out of nowhere. Lila has gotten a level two upgrade, which just means that she's grown two levels. She is otherwise the exact same boss. Banna and Mui Mui are up there doing something or another. I'm not really sure what they're up to, and I don't know if I really want to know. They kind of look like they're just kind of getting down with them bad selves. <laughs> they're, no, they actually, they are dancing. I can respect someone who dances to this music. The blade kind of cheers on the driver and sends their energy to them. That's kind of how that goes. Nia, you go for a volcano, please. For one, I have Percival out because a primary enemy type that we're going to be seeing a lot of, as you see in that window over there, are Tyrkins. They actually count as humanoids. Virtually any sentient enemy that makes a tribe. Uh, hi. Uh, sorry to walk in on this awkward family moment. Uh... Let's just walk out, pretend that didn't happen, that I didn't jump off of the edge there and land almost on top of you, because you're so squishy. Uh, Percy! Finn might not be the best of the blade combo roots, usually just giving knockback and blowdown, maybe a tiny amount of damage over time, but not anything special. But where does food go after we consume it? Another mystery waiting to be solved. Says the girl who has an alternate dimension for a small intestine. Aquatic Hunter 3, Arts Aggro Boost 4, Arts Heal 2, Avengers, assemble! There's three of them. Back attack four. Two plus three. Who cares about spike defense four? Swift evasion three. Swift strike three. Telepathy three, or as I like to call it, telepathy three. Water defense up two. Or three. I can't even get the number right anymore. That's everything that you unlock from that new technical manual. Now let's outfit her. In the way of pouch items, we're coming up on this one being over right now. She likes... Poppy love this scent. Sorry, loves that scent. She's also... Meh, meh, meh. Poppy's heart full. A traitor. And her favorite item can be purchased from the dessert shop in Alba Cavanage. Bought ten of these, because why would I not if Taurus finally got a plate that loves dessert? Master Pond know Poppy very well. And how does he know you so well? Data mine. And hey, look what I found. Yeah, some wicked bulge you got going before, on. But I imagine we'll be back. Okay, focusing your efforts and keeping the aggro on the tank, as well as keeping your battery life high. That's embarrassing in a big moment like this. Ah, uh, actual justification for them to go to the new location of this chapter. And not just going somewhere because it's cool and because they need you to visit more Ardain for plot reasons, even though the characters don't have much justification for going. And not only that, but also exploring the thin ice that we've been with the Empire for so long with Nia and Morag. I like that. The part of me complaining is over. It's all water or clouds under the bridge now. Let's go into our menu right away while the song plays out. Hey, let's get that going. Burn wanted posters had it seems some wanted posters for rebel groups have been burned. <laughs> it's obvious who is responsible. I'm not admitting to anything. Uh, we'll we'll get this HP attack boost. But the route's full of ver of things not meant for your eyes. If I were you, I'd take the oral cloud way instead. Ew. Yeah, we don't get a say in the matter. We're either doing oral or getting lewd. Affinity Max Barrier, yes! Oh, I gotta refine that next time we get to a town! I'm, happy to I'm gonna go for Manum Juice Delivery next, as that has Night Vision 2 on it. That's a pretty good ox core for uh, enemies with high evasion. Uh, we're delivering it to the Village of Palm. <laughs> good thing it's not Pomegranate Juice. I'm sure they're sick of hearing that one. Good job. Cheers, Let this be a lesson to you. you. did good. No way! I got a glass awesome. chip out of this guy. Yeah. By the way, Nia, Nia, 
I gave you enough videos to figure that one out for yourself, dude. Come on. Yeah, Rex has been doing great, except for being a zombie now. <laughs> also, with all those kids standing together and just looking at them as a group, could you tell which one of them is the main character of an RPG? <laughs> It was just, it was so funny how remarkably unremarkable all these children managed to look at the same time. Auntie Corinne's over the moon, you brought back your bride-to-be. Ooh, she's so pretty. Ah, I'm so jelly. Things we've gotten from salvaging. Uh, we'll trade in our Angel Engine. Unfortunately, not Angel Engine X. I guess they just like things laid back out here in the countryside. Sell that for a little bit of money. Development level one! So happy to know that my hometown didn't even care for me before right now until I gave them some money. We've got a great lineup for you here. Only the best cylinders for my top customer, Rex, eh? I like how he's just sitting on the ground and you know, just musing about all this when he's supposed to be on the job. I'll take 10 of these. I've needed them for a long time. I don't do conversation enders, my man. You know, the conversation You're enders, mine. they're just thought up by the system. I'm not all about that life, man. I'm a salvager. A cheer treat? Uh, potion. Anchor shot. Ha! Sword back. Rolling stun. What a sad canonical way for Rex to die. He comes home. Everyone's happy to see it's him. Fine. He gets we'll to see get essentially yet. his mom again, you and then just push yourself too hard. You know, she's like, "Oh, I'm so happy to meet the girl that you've brought home," and <laughs> he just dies in her backyard to some boss. <sighs> There's alternate timelines for everything. At the textile shop, I'm gonna buy a silken stool. Ew. Mm, better it comes out silky smooth than uh, rough, I guess. Uh, ah, that breeze reminds me of a time I was uh, riding on the back of a Zerda. Let's hear the details. Uh, it was a while back now. The old fellow asked if I'd go on a long haul journey with him. I'd never been outside the village before, so it was quite the journey of discovery, seeing all those islands. He asked if I wanted to keep on with it, but it turned out I got seasick easily, so I let a certain someone take over. Eh, who was that person who took over? Who got to ride in Deserta all of his days, huh? Who was it, huh? Who was Yeah, I gotta know this. You, you gonna say their name? You, you gonna look up and, and smile right into their face right now? I am very vain. Uh, we'll go over to uh, Dromark. You're up next. No Nia around here. She off sulking somewhere like the sun dare she is. You know me, I'm all up to hip on all these Japanese terms. I'm a 100% grade A otaku. This is a wonderful place, ideal for resting one's bones after the strains of battle. Uh, this is bad. Uh, get up, please. That might have actually been a bad idea. Nope, it was. This kicks your ass! These guys are in their, like, level 40, roughly? Like, there were high 30s, there were three of them at once. Fighting groups is brutal. This was the fault of negligence. It will not happen again. The plan needed some polishing. Yeah, guys, this won't happen again, because I ain't using you. <laughs> I surrender! Hats off to you! That was a fine show of skill! But boy, am I stoked after that! How about another round? Just kidding. Hmm, yes, I see. Very well. Come my on. eyes and focus are so keen, you're not- it's not even funny! I stare through you with my focus! Even after we dragged you into the brawl, you're still showing us compassion. Nice! You were light chip! You're a light chip? Just sounds like urine when I say that. Probably not that. But a lot of things in the world have stupid names. I mean, just look at me. <laughs> What a battle, I have no regrets. If Van Damme were here today, he'd be so proud of you. I actually like my first name, I more so mean my screen name being a name I've had since I was eight years old. <laughs> you win, fair and square. No wonder Van Damme had his eye on you. Let's see if I can light a fire under their butts. No problem. That common blade into some kinky stuff. You are next to me and I'm next to you. <laughs> Greetings, <laughs> like Morag is ashamed of me. Glad to see you, uh, that the Mercs finally acknowledge you as our boss. That a lot of us are raring to go now. Hmm, more efficient. Sounds more like plain selfishness if you ask me. Best of luck to both of you. Sniff out the spy. Claim your right to a team of unity. Still better than 98% of my lyrics. I'm improving. Me first. Pyra! Kick their arse! Get him, Nia. Here I come. 
I'll become an honorary European one day. It's the goal of every Xenoblade fan! I see what I did. I said fan really loudly when I was using a wind art. We'll have some cooked Vana for dinner. Oh, yes! Delicious. Spike defense. I like the visual pun. The drop kick get me from the back. Morag, get that aggro back right effing now! Yeah! Slashes, slashes anus into a million pieces and launch him through the air by doing it. Fire? You're fired! Magnificent. Shut it, old man. You're already in it up, up to your neck. Who are you, people? They don't. They don't belong around here. Way too squeaky clean for that. My lord is like family to me. He is caring, kind, all around wonderful person. There's just one problem. He's still green when it comes to... Why is Rex dancing with his life? Uh, he's still green when it comes... Why is he still green when it comes to battle and fears the sight of blood? Kindness can be seen as a weakness. That's why I... Why do you have to ruin everything? Jeez. Okay. That sounds kind of wrong. It makes it sound like the... In the main plaza, Gagachi. Aren't you Naruto's teacher or something? <laughs> yes, sir. Look at that, right on cue. Luna Theo, like Theo, but on the moon. Lone Shark, huh? No clue. But there's definitely dudes here that you shouldn't tangle with. I would be interested to hear the details. Pyro will have to notice me now. Senpai. The wardens. Let's head out. Good luck! I can see it all now. I'm your gondola repairman. <laughs> A reasonable result. Percy! But you're not exactly the hugging type, I bet, but it's okay. Your flames don't hurt somebody you love no, when they hug you, right? Or is that Ponyta? Chill out, Percy. You do not call him Percy! Only I call him Percy! I didn't even know that you called him Percy! I didn't remember that! This guy is just annoying me on every possible level. This is what's going to happen if you keep meddling with our work. Got it? You'd best keep it in mind, Percival the pacifist. See you in ten minutes. <laughs> what? When I was trying to set up a cool kind of avant-garde shot or whatever of the city, I... <laughs> Why is Rex gyrating every time I want to do something cool? Uh, <laughs> uh, Rex, you do realize Pyra's watching. <laughs> His head! Oh. I was trying to do another one of these time lapses to show time passing and it just ended up funny. <laughs> Please assemble in front of Den of Papunin on salvage deck at dead of night. Oi, bloody lobster, governor! One of those late night objectives is signified by the stars on the change time screen. And I know how to make an entrance no assassin will ever expect! Crap, I missed it by a little bit. Wait, Brobro still has the thing above his head. Gravity break! Sounds like a PlayStation game. Oh, there's Gravity Rush. It's I've heard that game is very good. I've never actually played it. I'm one of the uh, four people in the United States that owns a PlayStation Vita. I gotta tell you, there was a momentous occasion I was a part of a few years back that I don't really think got noticed. Uh, Proton John brought down his Vita one time when he visited me, which meant that two of the four people in North America who own a PlayStation Vita were in the same room with each other at the same time with their systems. I don't think that'll ever happen again. I ain't ragging on it. I think it's a good piece of hardware. It's just a really... I don't want to get into the semantics of my Vita apologetics routine. We're good. Uh, gimme. That's right. No reward is necessary. Percy, 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 don't speak for all of us. Speak for yourself, mate. Hey, Percival, wait, man. It feel it like Percival not even listen when we talk about importance of teamwork. Tora and friends follow Percival. Papoonin, keep up good work. Bye bye then. I'm going ah, what a beautiful day. Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Last time, 
We got to know old Percy a lot better. Oh, look at you being all bashful, not letting me look you in the eye. I relate to you. I, my parents used to always say, look me in the eye, so I know that you're not lying, and I couldn't look them in the eye because I was really socially awkward, and they would always get, I'd always get in trouble for things I didn't do, and I think my cousins actually knew that they could do that, so they'd always frame me for things, but... My tragic backstory aside, this time, there are lots of different things that we could do. This guy, tome itself quite heavy though, so maybe useful as doorstop. Starting bit at 1G. 2G. 3G. 10G. Whoa, we're skipping ahead in wireless technology a lot here. Oh, I'm not a fan of knop on auctions. They're always so lazily paced. If you need any tips about makeup, just ask. Whoa, you're using this here? How daring! I love it. <laughs> I know, right? It's not even like after Labor Day yet. That lasts for three hours and 12 minutes. Its effect isn't even good though, so I don't care. Bridget, you and me together. Guard the night. Hey everybody, it's Chunka Conroy. Welcome back to more Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Last time, we got to know each other quite well actually, including up here on top of Hard Hay Palace. This time, we're gonna go investigate rumors of some bandits back in Torogoth. Let's leap into the night. Uh, oh, uh, that's death. <laughs> she already laid down in midair in preparation to die. We were At least she's a uh, classy about it. You know what, actually, Next I've been meaning to jump off a cliff as Morag, and I mean every word of that. Listen to how this babe can yell. That's a work of art. Next time. Uh, all right. Well, uh, relishing in death aside, uh, we want to go check out the informant as they have a rumor here. Oh, green. I get it now. So emeralds are green. <laughs> you dunderhead. Yeah, you hear that? He sounds really unsure of himself. Like, oh, green. Uh, yes, of course. It's possible that he is, and he really did nothing wrong. It was all Morag and... <laughs> when we went to see the guy, there was another guy, and he was like, hey, do this other job. So then we did, but when we got back, he was like, it's free, right? And we were like, nah. And he was like, you better report in then. <laughs> I had no control over that. I was going to make some kind of quip of a ha. I'm sure talking was very difficult for... I've never heard that clip before. That's amazing. What we need to do is go to Valdorm's Mound in Morardane during this Merc mission. I remember that on first playthrough, I thought that this meant uh, you just didn't know how long it was going to be and you had to wait around. So I left the game running for hours, kept going doing other things. I'd even leave the game running when I wasn't playing. And it was driving me nuts that it had been eight hours and yet it still wasn't done. Wondering what the hell I was doing wrong. Turns out, no. Gotta read the quest objective. Turns out, no, I'm just bad at reading. That's the source of a lot of my problems in video games and life in general, now that I think about it. Another thing that went wrong for me uh, when I was practicing for this, uh, let's see. Um, when I had to wait 20 minutes for that last Merc mission, the previous one where we had to spread the false rumor, it was really late at night, but I wanted to finish this quest before bed so I'd made meaningful progress for the day, and I looked at that timer and I went, ugh, I wanna go to bed, I guess I just gotta buy some Google Play credits to get this done, and then I realized, oh wait, I'm not playing a mobile game. Some gamers might show that as a sign of a larger problem that this game's mechanics remind me of a mobile game, but I thought it was really funny that I made that mistake just subconsciously without even thinking about it. Uh, so, we have to go out this way. Oh, this isn't where we have to go at all. Midoral Bridge. Young Midoral, you too can become a hero. Going down. Hop onto this ledge. Ooh, that's quite a fall. Hopefully your kneecaps can <sighs> shatter into a million pieces. We were careless before. I we die in such silly ways for what kind of heroes we are. Uh, we'll go down here. Anything to soften the blow a little bit. Can I land on that beam? <sighs> yes. And then can I fall from this height? <sighs> well, either way, cutscene activated.
And a silver, too. A sylvander? Huh? Huh? You should name your products that. It would catch on a lot quicker, trust me. Morag would not say this. Snares one for more Ardain, but you know. This very lucky meeting, Pilolo so happy could cry. Oh, Pilolo should clarify details. Person fine, uh, person friend should look for is teacher called Guzdin. Teacher went to, uh, first to village of Garfont mercenaries, but it seemed like never reached village. Tora get it, he dead. Pilolo help, hope friend can find teacher. And hope teacher not hurt or anything. The Titan Scholar. Cool name at least. This quest is such a troll. She's a pop star! Poppy! What in all rest Grandpa Pon Susu do? Some kind of new paint job? Poppy always fight by Master Pon's side. Touching words move heart of Tora. As long as Tora have Poppy, Tora not need stupid Poppy Buster. Would you like me to crush him for you, ma'am? Tora misspoke! Puppy Buster is great to seven matches! Please do not crush! Peekaboo! Peekaboo! I see you! Oh, 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 no, I saw you for a second! You don't try to play funny with me! Hey, everybody! It's Chugga Conroy! Welcome back to more Xenoblade Chronicles 2! Last time! Okay! Cutscene over! Someone was paid to storyboard that, and someone was paid to animate it! I'm sorry, I know it's not a lot to go on, but I appreciate your continued help, friend. Back at the capital, ah, uh, Ryan and Arian and Arian, Nan, whichever you prefer, I don't know what you like to be called. Nobody really gave me a straight answer on how that name is actually pronounced. I'm very disappointed in you people. Oh my God, yes, we get it. You're all farmers. Bum, ba -dum, bum, 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 bum. Specialist field. All that? My thirst for knowledge is endless. Bridget got mineralogy level two. Get it? Crossfire. She uses two fire weapons. So you'll join me. Oh, this is perfect. All right, I'll get straight back to surveillance duty. Off we go to the Great Blowhole. All's fair in love and innuendos. <laughs> This is, oh, well, I, I do want to set this as my active quest. That was a Freudian slip. Sorry. Too bad you don't know much about botany, only a little. What's come up? Come on, come to me. <sighs> I know so much about plants, looking at these flowers is going to make them explode. These are poisonous, aren't they? Thanazalia. It's already running. We must find the one responsible and get them to stop it at once. The Gormati man is close, on the far side of this floor. Then we'd better move. We'll get there as fast as possible. Doesn't matter if we get a little hurt along the way. I hope. Oh, oh whoa, that's over a thousand damage in one sec. Yeah, I suck. Oh. Let's try jumping down onto solid ground first. Wait, seriously, the objective is above this thing. Why is it up here? Well, it's more like where we can't complete this quest. Where I want to be is just not in this factory. You know what happened? Yeah, that's where we gotta go. You wanna know what really happened? Some developer guy looked at the old factory and said, you know, this place wasn't shitty enough. You know what we have? You know what we should do? We should make this place have a side quest in it where you have to find four Nopon that are lost in it. And oh yeah, we're not gonna tell you where any of them are on the map. The player just has to wander through this place for another whole hour without any sort of help from us to find where they gotta go. And you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna charge them money for it and they'll pay it. Isn't that nice? I do not like this place. I'm sorry. I just, I can't stand this place. And it gets even worse, okay? You know, I, I now that we, now that we finished exploring the Ardanian Titan, I think I can say this. I don't like kind of saying my opinions on things before we experience them, because I kind of don't want to taint your perception of it. I don't want to color that. Is it in here we have to go in? Yes, okay. I think, maybe. Climb up. 
I've played this how many times and even I don't Nira Nira This secret base. Nira Nira, I use this place often. Really? An agent of Special Distribution Audit Bureau have been seeking evidence of Banna's misdeeds for past several years. The thought artificial blade case would be final nail in coffin for our chairman, but he slip away again, and we still not manage to arrest him. Biggest priority is to find place of hiding. Mind if I mug you first? Mithra just loves seeing a full open chests with her on them. One of these days, I'm gonna swing that open, and it's gonna comedically launch your face back into that wall. Just you wait. So, I could rush through this and make some bank knop on in the process, and actually, I was living. Really? That was poorly judged. Again? Shut up, Mithra. Mithra I'll just. Mithra, really calms Mithra, your spirit. Fan skink. More like fan stinks, am I right? No, no, I can't say that. She's a fine character, I just wish that she was established better ahead of time and wasn't just somebody who kinda came out of nowhere. Pew pew, there you, there pew are. That was terrible even for me. Meh meh, this place, smell of this place too much even for pew pew! As would transpire, even pew pew have limitations and now pew pew cannot move! Please, friends, help extract Pew Pew from most sticky of situations. Okay, all right, sure. Uh, next time on Xenoblade Chronicles 2. It's Ursula, run for your life! See you guys then! It might not have the necessary blades to do one of the Merc missions that would give you more stamps, so I can't really say definitively how many you need. But, to max- to get level 4 of everything, you're- Hey Siri, stop the music. Hey Siri, stop the music! Somehow in that sentence I triggered Siri and now it's playing some rap song. <laughs> Sorry, that was that was that was really bad. <laughs> anyway, uh, well, I needed to be cheered up there. Okay, so Mary eat more than fair share, but no time for grumble. We buy and come back until friends return. T taps keep waiting. Uh, keep want uh, waiting. Audience entertained with gift of gab. He's gonna be covered in tomatoes next time we see him, isn't he? Ursula is a blade that changed a lot throughout development. Special concert finally got four thousand fan. Give thanking concert for big number. Requires Ursula as leader. Dodged a bullet. I wouldn't be able to do this with all if I didn't have cross set in the party. Cross set and Vess are my only fortitudes besides Ursula. Thank goodness both are guaranteed in at least some form. When you've had to look at you for this long. 85 soul stamps. Is that enough? Have I sacrificed enough of my blood and soul for this? No. All right, I'll go get the knife. Let's do some more. I am here. And I am alive. And completing this side quest can be yours for the low, low price of 99 It's 4.14 in the morning between all of the menus, the cutscenes, checking in with tippy tappies, and the waiting. All the waiting. This took me one minute shy of 23 hours. Hi! Oh, where, where are so like. <sighs> Wait, now there's new mer. These better not be. Oh, now you unlock the new concerts, you son of a bitch! Are you- is this a joke? You're giving me new concerts! Now that they aren't useful to me anymore. I could've used these hours ago. I didn't get a new concert when I was at 4500! Did you forget about that? Timmy Tappy! Ursula, get out here! I won't let you down. I hope, at least. Do you want to tell her or should I? 
At least for fighting. I don't even remember what blades I was working on anymore. <laughs> uh, Rex, you can take. Percy? Back to battle. No, Percy already did his quest. Uh, a zomb no, you did yours. Electra? It to him. I think Rex could actually use another blade now. 5,000 fans, bitches! Good news, friends. Empire issue permit for concert. Considering audience numbers and stage design, size of this concert is unprecedented. World record! Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Last time. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Ursula can't hurt you anymore. This time, we end up back in Garfont Village because ever since the incident. Oh no, she's here! What are you doing here? I took you out of the party and you're here to intercept me of what I'm doing today! If it means I don't have to fight anyone, I guess I'm okay with just staying here. My vision got so zeroed in on you, I didn't even remember what I was going to do here at the beginning of this. <laughs> okay, so first off, I want to point out that we have a common blade here in the doorway. I actually forgot this could happen. She's always got something really cool happening. Uh, sorry, I wasn't paying attention to what you were saying. You there! Oh, now she's dancing on top of a stool. Right then, shall we start the in we'll start the interview, shall we? All set? I'm ready! Okay, I'm calling in candidate number one. And for the curious type, if you were to hack the game and look and see what Rock's gender is defined as, because, well, it's gotta be defined as something, right? The game's gotta be using something to see that he doesn't register. Rock's official gender is the number four. Joke's on you, people who said there's only two genders. I believe that's what they call a checkmate. <laughs> anyway, that's just some fun. This time, we're back at Argentum, and we're going to be working on another blade. But first, let's go to our Merc group and see some of the new things that we have unlocked. One of our new Merc missions is Deck Duty. Wouldn't that make it a poop deck? Uh, we get HP. You want to know how I know any of this? Well, I talked to a speedrunner. Who looked at the data mine? Uh, Kirby! Uh, Kirby has been on my lap this entire video, and I guess the way I shouted scared him, and he dragged my headphones away with him. <laughs> I got him back, don't worry. You're not even under G for 10 of them. Wolfric, smash your prices! Only gives five points per item. By comparison, the grilled anchor tail giving three is much better. That's all done. No more will fit. It's kind of creepy that it talked to us. I was trying for a while, but I think I'm just going to have to say that I don't think it's going to get any better. Because, I mean, it blends. It's hiding. Scottish words are hiding in plain sight. I'll, I'll see a guy whose name is Jim, and I'll be like, oh, hey, yeah, that's Jim. And then I'll get tons of comments being like, actually, it's a Scottish word, and it's pronounced Blargan Shama Blingen. I'm sorry, I'm just not gonna be able to detect it, so I'm probably going to be pronouncing a few names wrong from here on out. But the good news is, the Green Greens is what I was told to call it by many Scottish people, I thank you of that. Uh, that shop offers some very cheap items that can be used to fill this in, uh, well, on the cheap. Fida, uh, or Odifa, Passion Fruit Shake, and the Fizzy Lassie! I like my Lassie's Fizzy, aye! The most affordable no. options for this are at 12 Brother Sister Pond here in Argentum. Could this be any easier? Left behind clue. Very well. Of an age long gone. What's this? A Gaggle Quadwing feather. Must have been a Gaggle Quadwing that attacked the old man then. But well, where might it have gone? Gotta be kind to the environment. Screw you, nature. That was forestry and what? Oh gosh, I gotta Very sit through this. We have to pass four checks. Ugh. So I asked around for what happened, and I have been misunderstanding this node on the affinity chart for three playthroughs now. I thought it meant deal a critical hit and do that much damage. No, it means do 20,000 critical hits. I guess I won't be needing this joke I was going to include. I was robbed! Somebody call my attorney! Orifice. Uh, no, no. Morag? No, Morag? <laughs> More rag, more like no rag. 
Yeah, I don't, I don't even like that one. Uh, lewd Cloudway Fonset. All right, we're getting lewd here. In its orifice. Well, we're gonna slide down whatever's coming out of that orifice and get onto that ramp and come on, man! This is my favorite part of anything. Whenever you give me any kind of ramp physics in an RPG and I gotta jump off of it, it feels kind of out of place, sure, though, but that's what makes it so fun and special. We gotta go up top. Maybe we can topple you now. Stop dancing all around. Fight me like a bird. A bird man, like Harvey Birdman, attorney at law. Red collar. Let me do it. Roger. Free dumplings all around. Free rice balls from the tyranny of being called dumplings! Uh, yeah, it's a little bit weird, but I don't think we've- Yeah, I don't think we've actually seen that Mark Group form before. Was that- Hang on. Oh! Yes! Call me Gorg. It is a great honor to have met you. the whole of my power to you. What is my luck? I've got so many rare blades to talk about. Oh, no. Gorg. Oh, man. I've been needing a good great axe on Rex for a long time now, and I just did that on a whim. Yes, you can come with us. Heck yeah. Ipley? <laughs> Ipley's believe it or not. I see you have blades with you, then I have something to ask of you. All out! Is what I thought Ganondorf was saying in melee. How about 100G forcefully? I don't climb all of the stairs, I cheat by not climbing five of them. Evening is upon us. It no, seems. what are you? Ah. Have to stay cautious. Snot nosed kids having bedtimes. How dare they rise up against your parents and protest bedtime? Am I right? May we ask you about something? Bequa. Can I talk to you from a style in place? Can I do it? Can I do it? Uh, I'm so glad I'm using my time wisely in this situation. Yeah, look at me. I feel like I'm floating off of the ground. <laughs> Ouch, look at his shins. Oof. Oh. What, you want to know about Malika? She joined the choir of Indal recently, you know. She was the only one in this camp who passed the edition. I like how Tora and Poppy are playing around in the water during this, and I thought I was the most out of touch with this. It's really uh, prestigious to be in the choir. Only the very best singers are allowed to join. Funky Dory, that was pretty serious stuff. I mean, she tried to assassinate! Wow! Oh, do you do? Anyone else? Bravery level seven. Truth level three. Oh man, anyone else? Oh, Gorg! Man, all right, I was gorging myself on this power. Look at this, how close is Mithra? Oh, she's still a ways away. Yeah, she joined pretty late compared to the others. Though not later, oh, Bridget of the Love Source, that's why. Don't worry, I'll protect you from the scary dark. Looks like it's about time for us to check into our rooms. Welcome to the circle of Wow, pretty impressive. Ah, I didn't have more to say than that. Lame. <laughs> I get way too into doing that stupid joke. Underrise. Great creation cloister. In, I wonder what is to become of my place within the Senate. Your ass getting voted out? Uh-huh, uh-huh. And we skip travel to get away. We've been running around this plaza so much, let's just go. Zeke is a party member, Zeke is a party member, Zeke is a party member! Some of you probably saw this coming, but it doesn't make it any less exciting to have the greatest party member of all on our side, Turners! Launching straight to the top of the cliff. And please, put a stop to our army's titan weapon. 
We could do that. We absolutely could. Or we could do a complete right turn. It's not as drastic as a left turn, you see. And show that at the end of this, there is a salvage point at Battle Scar Cove. We're doing it. in more locations it does equal experience points at inns. That can be very good. Hector and Amalvis have new things. Now that the tension is released. Thank you, Hector. To reach Elysium. I think you'll find I make a fantastic ally. Mm, luck of Zeke not so great. Bet we shipwrecked by tomorrow. Oh! <laughs> Cheeky furball. We're all gonna die. Hey, Zeke. Enjoy my last moments here. You can be shockingly sentimental sometimes. I know, shocking, isn't it? Shut up, you two. I thought you'd be the type to like puns. I guess it's more Morag's thing. Think about it. She would totally crack puns when you least expect it in a completely deadpan tone. Gonna take some t some Indoline presents for the folk you haven't seen in a while? Ha! As if my old man would want any of that. Come on, let's start walking to Goetuous Port. But we can go do this really quick. We won't be here for long. There's only one I want to do, and it's not you. It's back this way. Mololo, Mololo, lo, lo. Oh, friends, listen to Mololo. Mololo have a little problem right now. Maybe friends can help. Is no problem really. Just Theodoro. So you are a load of help. I accomplished so much by talking to you, I have now drooled all over my hand. Thank you. That's <laughs> eh, my own damn fault. I can't really do that. Oh, okay, we got another one. Sorry, you can't really talk right now. Maybe when my guard says over, and I'll make you safer than most nations, but I can't wipe out crying entirely. And that, my friend, is why men like me have to give careful lives every hour of the day. So yeah, don't distract me, okay? Yes, sir. Oh, man, I don't want to make you mad. Evail, you again. What's up? For some reason, I can't forget the sight of Lady Hans' eyes as she gave the hand to tell the whole Oh, this is sad. She looks so strangely melancholy. I can't imagine what must have been going through her mind. That's what he sounds like underneath the veil. Oh, our innkeeper of sorts has this. Something new to say. Who's staying in here and is it me? Nadio. Nadio? So here's the thing, yeah? Research? You're not going under the security of Indel? Oh, God, then. I'll tell you what I want to know. Just don't answer me in the article, okay? There are 23 guards here at that. Is that what you were after? No? I'm going to go up to that guard station, so please don't tell anyone you saw me here. I'm having way too much fun with these guys. We're back! Welcome back, friends. 23 guards in Sanctum at night. Thanks much for valuable info. My dear Malolo, you wouldn't happen to be plotting anything unsavory again now, would you? What was that? What was that? What was that? I saw something. Oh my god! Oh no, it's you! My name is Godfrey. The hammer of justice backs a mean punch. Oh, I fooled you, didn't I? I thought I really had it too. <laughs> I actually thought I got it. I saw blue and white. And yeah, and the silhouette kind of looked like. Oh my god! What is my luck? That's two rare blades in a row, and I'm not even using legendary cores. I was mistaken a little bit earlier saying that I had seven to go. I actually had eight to go, but now it's seven. One core crystal later. 
down with blades. We'll never have true peace until we rid the world of blades completely. Ripple? Ah, oh, with clothes like that, you're a real fudge ripple, I see. The goddess of the Praetorium is dead, I hear. That's what they get for dealing in blades and sending them out into more Ardan Nuraya. Imagine the VIPs will be preparing their own food. I'd quite like to see more Ag and Bridget try cooking for a banquet. Hellfire! <laughs> uh, me too, Pyro. Wow, you're talking about the important things. And someone was saying they'd seen lots of weird ingredients being carried inside, right? Indeed they were. Suspicious box carried inside too. Could the strong flavored ingredients be to hide the taste of the poison? Banana, my man, I like the way that you say Giga Rosa, and sometimes that's all you need to not completely detest a human being or naponic being. Giga Rosa is wearing a diaper under that skirt. It ruined my life, now it has to ruin yours too. Now that we got that out of the way. Uh, I gotta finish with QT. Well, all the better so I can hit my QTEs. <laughs> Death by pun and a pouch expansion kit, yes! <laughs> See ya, Banna. I wish I could say it was nice knowing you, but it wasn't. Bought at Cafe Lutino in the Indoline Praetorium. This is my favorite drink. How did you know? Data mine! Oh yeah, Zeke's got a pouch expansion kit. Now we have it on all five drivers. Pretty huge. Desta Plains. Looks awfully destitute, wouldn't you say? I just got one for everything. I just, I got it, man. It's part of the job description. Got a million of them. Uh, this Heather, Heather Darner, okay. A Musa. It's like some kind of dance that like, I don't know, it's like we're gonna do the Hamusa. Sorry, just that, that's, that's a really funny name. I'm sorry. There's several quests around here. Um, this is not always. I hope you will not detect me because this is oh no 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 you get away from me you get away from me right now maybe this was too dangerous for Nobot my stubby little legs cannot help me run fast enough we can apologize nice if I recall correctly I I R C the sequel to the internet chat client of yester decade yes you can run up just barely before he pops out of the water yes and get it in just the nick of time. Looks like we've been rumbled! A Bebelk Squood! You're a Cood now? You're a Squood now? Oh no, this is bad! This knockback ain't gonna help anything! That Genesis twang ain't going to do anything against this guy! Okay, uh, I'm gonna go for the Cyclone! Where are you? Okay, okay, okay. This is like that meme of Bart Simpson saying the thing that he didn't do his homework. It it's that meme. Zeke wasn't even involved in the fight anymore. That was really funny. Okay. <laughs> You're really feeling it. He also said the thing. He's doing it on multiple fronts. It's great. Cloud breath. Okay. These higher level enemies really aren't all that bad. Famous last words. Uh, I can do Earth. Element and just discrediting it like that. They're in. Ah! You're a fan of ice, ain't you, big boy? No, 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 no. Get away, get away, get away, get away, get away, get away, get away. I'm so sorry. I know you're Ursula's biggest fan in more senses than one. How can I say such a thing about this girl? I know. I can still. This is really what arguing about I anime apologize. girls on the internet is like. <laughs> if you'll ever leave me alone. Man, for a big guy, you can really charge. Should I take away your credit cards? I thought that was the funniest joke ever when I was a little kid. Oh God, level 90. Um, This is gonna take some S tier sneakity sneak sneaking somewhere around here. Oh God, where is it? I'm so nervous, that thing's a unique monster. What's your name? Grievous Clive. Ah! Oh, piss off, mate. You guys just clean up here. Ouch, he farted me to death. Wow, the sunsets around here are gorgeous and I wouldn't have seen this. It's like my death had meaning. Yeah, Brogan Ferris, I saw it. Don't tell me I didn't see it, I know I saw it. There it is, among these volves, it blends in pretty well in the shade. I would dare say it's Brogan. My flame has been stoked. From the hunt, lots of new skills manifested. Level three for Praxis. I knew there. Make sure to use it sometime. Praxis makes perfect. This will make life easier. All the hard work's paid off. 
You can count on me. More resource to allocate. Affirmative, Mom. Poppy's your mom? To the sale price, so the difference in price gets tinier and tinier, making this more viable as the stars go up. This is really overpowered, or dare I say, cheap. <laughs> got a lot of new Merc missions for the Argentum Trade Guild there, and that's mainly what I, well, oh, I got two new. Okay, well, still, it is a really good trick. You're amazing, Boreas. Oh, bother, 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 where did it go off to? Um, is it the statue you're looking for? Rest in peace, Winnie the Pooh's home run derby. The, the statue! Incredible, you found it! Thank you so much! The Argentum Trade Guild is powered by one knop on in a hamster wheel. <laughs> and they keep this fact from the general public by putting a hardcore lock in front of it. <laughs> Top class humor. <laughs> That's amazing, it goes up to the engine room and everything. And the last thing we're doing in the Trade Guild, that has nothing to do with the Trade Guild itself, what a high honor. Might as well see, uh, 60, 63. Zeke, you're a higher level, Nintendo 64. Oh. Crap, we can only play Clay Fighter with a level like that. Finish leveling up, I don't want to take advantage of any of this. Hey man, auto is auto backwards. Ever hear that one before? You're here to rescue me. Oh, thank the architect. It's not safe here. We should head back to Sate's Lumber Company immediately. We'll talk later. Maybe that's why. That's related to using meat items. Guys, I had exactly enough. <laughs> yes. That took maybe 10 minutes tops once I actually went to the right place. My mastery increases. Soon bill for food exceed finances, uh, Uman means. Soon reach appropriate weight to sink nicely into Cloud Sea. It fine, Uman already put Tora's name on tap. <laughs> Uman all set to convert body into biomass. Uh, what? <laughs> Is Wolfric putting Tora out of his misery so he doesn't have to deal with the crushing debt? <laughs> Let Tora explain. Friends completed whole. Worry not, the situation has been taken care of. Oh, ho, 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 this, this might, this feel like reason for Uman to keep living. Meh. Burp. My apologies. Excitement make Uman bilious. You don't have already. They needed to be more distorted than that. Thankfully, I didn't get spoiled, but I knew some people that did. And we have a heart to heart. Ooh, this is the mail changing room. I can just walk and ah! Oh my gosh, she looks terrified of me being in here. I'm so sorry. Wait, Yum Yum the Burg? What? Wait, I didn't know you were here. What? Hmm, I've been thinking about what theme we should have for our next eating contest. If we truly want to express our love for all things Nopod, perhaps the next challenge should be pollen orbs. Hmm, this is awkward. What should we do? I did not expect this when I woke up today. Hey, Morag, how about next time you put on a skirt and some heels? How about you die in a fire, Zeke? Oh! Morag! Everyone thinking that you look like a dude today! Don't let anyone- I mean, you- There's nothing wrong with looking like a dude, though, but Morag, you're beautiful! You wash my back, I wash yours. Sora happy to wash everyone's backs! Eight on the special recharge, and I really, really want special recharge on her in particular. That's all the setup we're getting. I tried to be nimble as we make our way over to Misheva Harbor. And we're you. And we're you. Now just go. That must be the phonics village that Mix told us about. There's nothing else I'd, that here I'd say fits the match of the script. <laughs> what are we waiting for then? Let's go ask that phonics for any relevant information. All right, so we got to track down yet another phonics colony. I guess you could say we're hooked on phonics. 
Oh, I wait years to say these things as I'm doing my research in the wee hours of the night. Maybe that's why I make so many jokes like that. I'm just I'm so mentally unstable from staying up late and researching these things so thoroughly. And, you know, they catch me at a vulnerable, vulnerable position and they just take over my mind. I could have sworn. Cobalt the Ills are found over by the Tardy Gates. True to its name, it took a while to be useful for something. <laughs> okay, okay, maybe I'll have to lay it off a little bit. Or at least lay it off with the things that aren't directly related to phonics. You gotta theme your puns. Uh. Hey man, what's your favorite type of ballpoint pen? Bix! But would you mind having a chat? Yeah, I gotta say, not having that many cutscenes, the side quest isn't very animated. <laughs> Uh, I'll, I'll run out. I'll run out soon. I'll run out soon. Don't worry though. I'm suffering with you every time I make one. A little bit of me dies inside as well. I am. It's it's like one of those uh one of those uh, HP cutting mechanics in a video game. You see. In my experience. Rix. Rex, is this your awkward cousin or something? That's all Did I got for this one. I'm sorry. Yo, man, the trippy catfish is south of the Ardanian garrison. You'd think it'd be in the poison water, and that would be like the, why the catfish would be so trippy, because it was living in toxins its whole life, and it's just playing with his mind. But no, nah, man, over by the Cloud Sea is where you gotta go. Pretty strong enemies around here. We might get a chance to see Nim's other specials yet. A soggy. Fitting, my luck feels soggy, and I don't even know what that means. One more for the road. As special envoys of the Praetorium, we move on to Tantal. See you guys then. The Eye of Shining Justice is throbbing! Hey everybody, it's Woo! Cool Duo Pose! That's my new name now, apparently. I can't change it now. Welcome back to more Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Binges. I don't know the word, but uh, the things that are waving in the wind and just look so much cooler when they are. Do, 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 ra, 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 do, ra, ra, do, ra, ra, hear the news. Friends wanting to go to Tantal. I feel like I made a joke like this in Xenoblade 1. Let's go! Well, of course, Pyra's got a lot of backbone. She needs it to hold up the. Zekanator is going to guide your low lives through Tantal today, as it is his hometown, and he is the one who is guiding us. As we get started and go out into Tantal. Uh, we're gonna step on this. Your looks, no, frick, no. Oh, uh, the motion blur is real, yo. Oof. Did that only do four thousand damage. We were careless before. Credible. Poppy aspires to Perun's example. It's what comes naturally for a blade. You'll be just as good, Poppy, if not better. Just stick with it. Poppy, do not aspire to be like Perun. Whatever you do, I cannot stand not having this overpowered blade pants in my party. So yeah, she. Oh, I'm one shy. I thought that was six. Praxis has learned a lot of new skills, though. It was a snap. A cold snap, would you say? Now, with a uh, Pyra having that whole infrared radiation thing, I have a story about that. Uh, there was one Runaway Guys live stream that I was on at one point. And we were playing a home game of Jeopardy, and they were talking about how heat is transferred, and the correct answer was what is radiation. And I didn't answer that because I thought it was a joke answer. The home game is multiple choice. And I was making fun of that answer, being like, haha, yeah, right, radiation. And then it turned out to be correct, and John chewed me out because he was like, Emil, it's called the sun. <laughs> And I didn't know that. And then the very next day, as I was playing through this game, I got to that scene and it was the first time I had confirmation of that being true. I was so furious. I'm sorry, I learned all of my scientific facts from Xenoblade. And I was one day away from getting that far into the material, okay? Ah, uh, just such a memorable part of the game for me for all the wrong reasons. At least the approach is Ooh, uh, oh god, I, I did those workouts the other day, not making this up for a silly intro. I actually did those works the other day, and my legs are so sore now that I decided to do this to kind of let the characters do the walking on screen for me because it hurts to stand up or walk on the stairs. 
Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more Xenoblade Chronicles 2. So you can do the trick if you want to get that. You have a gold cylinder. What are you complaining about? Your cylinders are awesome. Not that you'd ever get to use them around here. The cutest, they just the Armu who loved. I want to read the Armu who loved. It's no one's favorite item. I want to find out if it has a sad ending or not. No items here right now are the favorites of anyone. It's a sh This is how I put my hands on my hips. If I had one. Hey everybody, it's Chucka Conroy. I'm sure I'll do it as soon as I stop talking and after I've complained about it because it really just seems like all you have to do is complain about things in video games and they go, you're what? What the you attack me for both? No, no, you're dying for that. That is shit. I wasn't worried because I didn't think he could attack me. No, cause he's off screen. Oh, we got one of the, I think that's a Surprond down there. F yeah, bitches! Ah! I can't believe it! That was my third attempt! Ah! I, my vision is blurring and I'm lightheaded now and it feels so good! Oh, <laughs> oh my god! And the kicker! I was playing on normal! I misclicked and I considered sabotaging the run! Oh, never give in! Play everything to the end! Booyah! Oh no, I, did, uh, I didn't mean to type an A, I was trying to type a B because I was gonna be all boo for booyah, but. Um. Well, it starts with A that's cool. AG's the atomic symbol for silver, I guess. Ether R&D Revolution! His ancestors had a book on Poppy just sitting here in their archives. Oh my god, it makes sense why he had the reaction he did. They had a book on Poppy in their archives. His ancestors were weeaboos! I'd be horrified myself. Oh, nothing. My cuteness can soothe even the savage beast. Nia collecting all them balls. He's a boy, actually. Uh, we'll go over you later, but wow! Uh, not what I was expecting to happen. I'll use another legendary core with five of these bravery boosters. I just want to make sure that we don't have full boosters at any time and... I have that face too whenever Zeke shows up. Do any of you say that Rex is not a relatable protagonist? I believe that's what they call a checkmate. Next time on Xenoblade Chronicles 2, we rescue the Aegis. See you guys then. Pretty sure that this means Zeke likes us so much that he's killing his own nanny for this or something. He must have known these guards personally, at least some of them that have been working here at the palace for at least 10 years. Electra, that was very nice, Zappy Zappy. Want me to try it on you, Tora? No response. She stopped his heart beating. And already, Harusa has gotten that skill. It took even less time than I thought. That's- I did it! And it's all thanks to you! Uh-huh. All manner of issues. Theoswar rear gate. If we switch things over to daytime, because of what's going on- ah! Oh man, I skipped to a time outside of the three hours! Now we're all dead! Man, I really liked this country! Let's just I wipe that away. Power. Now there's all the time in the world to play in the snow. Can't worry about dying if we're already dead. But, no, 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 no. Yeah, nice give me four common core crystals, Great a rare, uh, evasion focus. I guess that could be kind of good. No! I felt it. I felt it in my bones all the way to the bone chilling uh, reality of my doom. Oof. Uh. I just had a frightful dream. We gotta pay attention. In short, Godfrey is god awful. <laughs> He's about as strong as she's ever gonna get. I can't lose to Pyra. 
You sure are losing to Pyra, only just now getting level two of Fire Mastery, and you're supposed to be the Empire's strongest blade? Ha ha ha! Okay, I won't be that obnoxious. I like you, Bridget. I really do. I don't mean to belittle you or anything, but that's still pretty funny. This sounds fun! One Mississippi! One Mississippi! Up. One Mississippi two! One Mississippi two mi- one Mississippi- ah! Don't get distracted. I can't help it, man. I just, whenever I see ice, I gotta make my own fun with it. It's always got such a weird properties, no matter what you're playing. You can always do some crazy crap with it. I just, I want to do the stuff whenever I see it. I can't help it. Anyway, ice is terrible. Uh, yeah. Well, that's a dead end here. Uh, I'll go down once again. Huh. You saw it in the background. You oh. were looking forward to it. You were upset every time I walked past it. I'll tell you, I was just upset along with you that we couldn't do this right yet. Ha <laughs> Cowabunga! Look at this! Yeah, grabbed onto it. <laughs> that is the best thing in the game right there. Best thing in any video game. I don't care what you say. That right there is the peak of video games. Going off. Uh, a rampy ice slide, speeding up to a million miles an hour with impossible physics, and then grabbing onto some ivy on the other end like you wouldn't break your fingers. Rex has got some manly hands in those gloves. They just can't show them to you because uh, they'd have to raise the age rating of this game for graphic violence. Done. Oh my god! <laughs> I died on the slide! This was the fault of negligence. It will not happen again. The plan needed some punishing. Oh. oh, Rock opens his wings on the slide. That's cool. To save us both some time. Oh my god, he cut off his leg! Watch where you're swinging that axe, man! Okay, good. He grew it back. Blades can recover from any injury. We got the hot lore going on in this fight. Yeah, Morag is in disbelief. She went, what? And him getting his leg back. It's another ice slide! Oh, no, 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 no. I meant. Fine. Yeah, no kid on the playground wants to take the walk of shame back up the slide because they went down it wrong the first time and they have to do it over. Who goes down a slide wrong? That's like the backstory to some unhinged mass murderer. It's an ice slide! Perimeter. Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Tell me every detail. Before we go out, there's a few things here in town that we can take care of. Uh, for one, we've solved Canadia's troubles! Oh my, you really did defeat them all. I knew to turn uh, turning to you was the right decision. And that's another problem sorted out. Yes, now my concoction should be ready, complete in no time. Yes, finally. <laughs> Something wrong. Oh, I've been waiting for this moment for so long. You have no idea the struggles I've been through. But now my life's work is complete. I will finally be united with my darling. The flames of passion I have harbored so long will finally be rewarded. Um. This gets the same thing across without making her less likely to tell us what it is. Very well, as for all your help, I will tell you its name. The concoction I have been researching is a powerful brew that will fill any who drink it with a pure romantic passion. I call it the love potion. And I will be the first to use it to claim my beloved's heart. I really couldn't have done it without you, you know? Here's your reward as promised. I hope you're pleased with yourselves. Thank you again, my cupids of love. I'll let you know once all my dreams come true. <laughs> I knew Canadia wasn't to be trusted and this explains why they're all so nice to each other. They force each other with science. Cheer treat. Uh, you'll need to get traverse the Great Pillar Passage. I realize that we are in no position to ask anything of you in that. It's just how he looks like to me. <laughs> what, were you sitting on his lap like he's Santa Claus? Did you want an Inspector Gadget doll? What were you doing, Mithra? To keep running off like that.
Because, Nia, it's personal. That Gogol is throwing rocks at us. He's attacking us with Wolfric's own people. Because he's Earth Element, you see. Oh no! I'm out of. Oh, I'm out of Narzapair jelly now. What do I got instead? Oh, hey, it's Canadia. <sighs> You're tired of this joke, hey? Something bothering, friend? Oh, I didn't see you there. Listen, would you entertain me for a moment? Yes, yes. Thank. Open a chest, it might turn out great. But until then, it's just a crate. That's rule four of the salvager's code. Ha <laughs> ha! Rex, comparing Elysium to dirty old sea junk. One man's dirty old sea junk is another man's Elysium, or whatever they say. Grad Gogol's right on ahead between us and our target. So Whoa! Akos, I gotta say it, you are such, such a smarmy ass. You are the meanest son of a bitch this side of Torna, and I hate to admit how hot you are. I don't even swing that way. And like, I can see it. I'm sorry, but he is, and just, I hate to admit that so much. It makes him so much worse, and you just want to smack him so much harder for it. Thanks to GN for literally doing a smack with your blade right as soon as the same. Uh, Wolfric, how about you get an attack in? You're like just because it's good to have around. I associate it with Torah a lot. This looks kind of nice. Heh, <laughs> kind of nice. Well, my what can loosely be described as humor aside. Uh, we're now gonna get into what the new arts cards and abilities and all that stuff is. If Zenobia's Enemy 4 is now available, the Black Market has a charming swimsuit available. I don't know if I want to know what that looks like if it's from the Black Market. But, uh, you can send away some blades on this and that's a decent accessory. Or depending on your views, it might be an indecent accessory. I withdraw. Do that again. Wait, who was doing what? Uh. Hmm. Gyrating to generate heat. That explains why you're a fire element. My name is Harold. I pray you can contain my power. Dragon Girls with Tentacles, what will Japan think of next? She's an electrical element, just like- <sighs> Meh meh. Mm. Tora dreamed about tasty sausage the size of Poppy. Master Pond can take Dream of Poppy and stick it where sun doesn't shine. Hey guys, watch this. The Trojans here! Don't let him in! No, 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 do! I am so happy that I have learned the joy that is Finch. Oh my god! I just wanted to show that Banna's bedroom is right here. Nira Nira's got a quest for us, and believe me, I would love to hear his buttery smooth voice as much as the next person, but I couldn't resist doing that because welcome back to more Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Today, our focus is going to be indeed to do here in the Argentum Trade Guild with her, and uh, so we shall. First, I'm gonna fall. I didn't fall, I just forgot how to stand on a pipe. It's Finch after all. <laughs> this rather devious merc mission, Lom Lom. <laughs> oh, hey, you're, um, Donny Blodson. No, 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 uh, Diddy Bladson. Uh, Denny Blimstaff? Well, good to see you. <laughs> I know, that had to have sent an atrocious through that mask. Who can not without doing something? 
And I does not even want to think about custom repairs for that. We can help you out if you've a mind to let us handle it. I'm so grateful! Please hold your friend! Uh, I think the inside of that mask is rather spitty. Uh, just a hunch. Look at... Get a load of that scenery! Never seen that before. Oh? Hey, can't you see that killer view, bro, Mark? Yeah! What? Finch said the thing! Forget it already. Forget? Forget what? <laughs> when we were in Banna's bedroom, we picked up some cash, and I can think of no worse punishment for the hairy ass than taking Benna's money and donating it to an orphanage! <laughs> He's gotta be turning in his grave right now! Uh, wait, wait, a treasure trove? Excuse me, a treasure trove? Uh, what was sitting in Goldmouth Warehouse this entire time, and I didn't claim it. Hey, Bulldog! You can't Tom or me. Doesn't work as well as I thought it did. Also, sorry you had to hear that. And what was Banna hoping to bond with? If he could ever become one of those rare Nopon drivers. We saved you from a lifetime of some bratty child wanting to ride you, Muchika. Has indoor attack up. And I have to admit, I really like the word anal. I use it a lot. It's just fun. <laughs> I'm mad enough to admit it. I like anal. No! 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 No need to concern yourself with the man who just said the words. <laughs> Hold on a minute. I need to take a breath. I think we've all learned a valuable lesson today. If you have memory problems, birds will want to make a- Banna had a legendary core crystal, a sapphire, and a bunch of money behind his bed. I know what I'm doing. Giving that money to an orphanage too! <laughs> you thought I was done giving your money away to orphanages, but no! And if I must, I will see which blade Banna was really hoping to awaken as that common core crystal was just a decoy because I didn't see the real treasure behind there. Oh, Pleased to meet you. With Rock's help, we're able to pick this lock, or as I call it, rock picking. We get two rare core crystals and a movement heal three. Hey, no extreme pop off at playing the level this time. Seriously? They're the back! When we went to see the guy, there was another guy, and he was like, Hey, do this other job. So then we did, but when we got back, he was like, It's free, right? And we were like, nah. And he was like, Poppy, initiate rest mode! <laughs> Toro wants to go to sleep before this is over. My energy is flowing. And here I was gonna skip what they said. You <laughs> come out because Poppy Buster is quite literally dead. Uh, tentacle Storm, there it is. That was the art I was afraid of. Is it blowing down? Yes! We fit together great. I have a new favorite art! It just made more I go, what? 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 <laughs> that was so good. <laughs> Come on, Morag! Mori! I'm trying to like call you something that sounds cute, that shortens your name, and is like a nickname, but I'm not really coming up with much. I think I better just put all in the head. Okay, level four special. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Yes! We'll drag you into the ground! I just love the way she says ground! <laughs> Let's give him hell! Shouldn't it be Slay Lances? I'm just saying, don't you know what your own weapon is called? Pause. You see before you a sparkling child. Ow! Hey everybody, it's Chucka Conroy! That's everything in the province of the Gormachi. Next we move on to Raya, Garfont Village, a place that we haven't seen in all too long. I'm ready to go home. Hey, you Pikachu! Hello, friend. The Garfont mercenary's reputation is building up nicely. 
can't stand waiting around with and uh, be do and doing nothing when I could be helping people. You can understand that, Shirley. Don't call me Shirley. I feel like that should be easier uh, with uh, 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 deeds that give you a greater movement speed. Bix! Son of a Bix. Huh. Honey, did you lock us out of our house again? Shut up. Huh. He is yes! Could you hand over the jeweled signet you stole? I don't think so. Way to be subtle. Where Percival? The way is clear. MVP of this fight? You should finish it. Begin. He got Executor in the middle of the chain attack. That's why he went down so fast. In a world where everyone wears fanny packs. Just gotta get a close up of it there. I look forward to hearing of your further exploits in the future. We're here. Hey, hey, Hamlish, Hamlish. Did you hear what we did? It works on multiple levels. He looks so exhausted at this point. I made fun of Hamlish's name a lot too. Welcome back. Stu, last time we finished things up with the Garfont Mercenaries, making it the first aspect of the game that we have 100%ed. So that means we're almost done, right? <laughs> this time, I less and less the hard drive space to dedicate to anything else. I wouldn't want to go any other way. Fabulously fierce hat. Hey, Logan, is your mom's name Gurren? Tora back. Second decade with a San Salmon collection. If there's no trouble. These guys are also funny because they made this many pod drag clones because the first one was so successful. I fear my country lacks a sense of discretion. So, the fourth and sixth decades are the only ones capable of doing their jobs, huh? Oh! I thought Tora was the master of sick burns and screw the haters. This is amazing. Not at all. We'll have it done in a flash. He's contemplating why EGs are only in Arizona, and then it makes sense. This place is Arizona. Hey everybody, it's Chucker Conroy. Welcome back to more Xenoblade Chronicles 2. We've been Won't be so easily felled. You're really gonna go with that, all right? You're following like a certain driver I know in Torgoth. Brianak use. Use is gonna lose. <laughs> There's nothing to this. They're so pathetic. This quest has actually been available for a while. Oh, you bring shame to that uniform that you wear. You reject recolor of Padrag. You do not deserve to wear the same clothing that this great man does. The party that I got here organized. I have Morag serving as more of an attacker. I hope Pyra's okay wherever she is. I got an invitation to join Snap! Hey, this doesn't look like Lefthyrian Archipelago. Looks like I lied to you and it's another side quest, but nope, actually no. I have a good reason this time. We'll get to that after I finish saying, hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Hey Max, you think you were gonna steal my money and become Maximilian, huh? Sup, got something to send? No, got something to say. I haven't seen this city quite like this in a while. I've missed it. I haven't stopped and smelled the rose. We're always out on the clume farm or something, but it's such a marvel to see the city all working. And then there's you. What can I do for you? Another After a delivery, are you? Did you catch that was a pun? Uh -huh. pipes place. Or warehouse at old factory site. He better not be in the old factory if he makes me set one more foot in that old factory. I will make his entire body roll because his entire body is round and not just his head. Oh, it's a, he didn't mean the old factory. He meant the old industrial district. How dare you get that detail wrong, sir. You gave me war flashbacks to being in that stupid factory. 
And having to talk about Petroka while being in there at the same time, it was doubly terrible. It was a hard thing to do, man. I can't say too many bad things about Xenoblade. It, it hurts. It hurts. It hurts. Ah! Speaking of hurting! No! Oh, God. Thank God we had a cutscene activate. This is... Doesn't look like that Nopon boss is here. I'm mashing the plus button. Give me the menu. Thank you. To go here easily, skip travel to Ruin Laborer's Bridge. Let us proceed. From there, it's just a straight drop down to your doom. Uh, oh, oh, what? The thing collapsed when I hit it! <laughs> here I thought I was safe by landing on that, and then no! <laughs> <laughs> that is the most slapstick way to die that has happened yet. And my corpse got launched on the left! <laughs> oh, it is even funnier the second time! Called Sholto. He can answer questions about monies. Boy, I guess Kabubu wanted us to get boo boos. Are you okay? Help me! Shoo shoo! What do you think I was protecting? You mean it's... Follow me. We have to go... up there. Suddenly now, everything makes sense. Adam... was that old man who put his wife in a dog collar! It all comes together! This is it. And you want to know what else? Just look at the map. Ah! It's worse than I thought! It's Final Fantasy 13! I've been waiting years to make that joke. <laughs> Let's get started! Let's save Pyra! If she's not already dead from all of our side questing. Eh, Rex is still standing. She's probably fine. A soggy! I'm so sorry that you are so soggy. First of all, you jump down into this beautiful water, and it's poison! It's poison! Why is everything so beautiful toxic? It's like tanning beds and Noki Bay. It's such a beautiful location. This looks more juicy than real water. It, it looks so nice. I just want to go swimming in it, and no, it doesn't let you. Oh, don't care about it. For now, Meet my friend and my favorite unique monster name, Vile Howard! <laughs> I love this thing's name so much! It's just funny to me. Vile Howard! I don't know why, the first time I saw it, I busted out laughing. Maybe it's just the name Howard's associated with some kind of bad things because of Howard Stern or something. I don't really know why, but I've always laughed at this name and found it so funny. I need to move around my elements with Tora badly. Let's do that really quick. I think that this story, if I had to call it anything, I'd call it a very good portrayal of just what friendship is. And I appreciate that so much because you have to understand, I grew up in the 90s. Back then, every single kids show on TV, you know, they would, ah! Why, well, yes, they were that terrible. Okay, that was, that was awfully funny. Rex? We've come a long way. I think it's time for a break. What? But... Hold your horses. There's a long way to go yet. Oh. Hey, you two in here. Come rest your head on my lap if you like. Why don't you rest your head in your ass? Oh! On. Launch! Launch! I have to smash again! I'm just... I have no one to blame it myself. I keep waiting just barely too long. Oh, God. And... Where are you? Why do you guys never want to do anything right? If I could say anything to my younger self when he was in school... Oh, my God, yes! Nuclear blast! Nuclear blast! Go, 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 go! I can switch over to the Smash anytime too! Two orbs for you, bitch! What? 
below us, that could be quite helpful. Can I make that over there? I want to try to leap it with my stubby little legs. I totally can, but I can't survive the fall. Or was I just not? No, I wasn't full health. We were careless before. Next time, don't get distracted. I'm sorry, Bridget. The thing was shiny. I get very distracted by those things. What if I just... Corbin, just smack me in the back of the head? What gifts? What, you think I'm not suffering enough and I need to buck up my ideals? Hey, everybody, it's Chucka Conroy, still in one piece. Welcome back to more Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Moo! Moo! Moo is without wind and without light. That's deep, yo. Still not gonna use you, though. In this spot, there's no music playing when I awaken blades. I'll fight by your side until my very soul withers. That's nice, but there's no music, dude. I'm not gonna awaken the rare yet. I wanna wait till I got some more boosters for those. I'm with you. I've seen that look in your eyes before. Nia, I love you too. Ah! Huh? I love you and all you guys. Ah! Case. There could just be more to it. So, there's now a heart-to-heart -heart up there, and there's also one inside the Vault of Heroes. You guys pulled off one climb down there, you can whip up another one, right? We aren't gonna be getting on the road today, but we are gonna be unwinding with a few heart-to-hearts. Everyone we'll just go. Show your positions. We commence the plan. Let's begin. The plan! I much prefer the flan, but I'll take the flan! Think you're up to it? Sora! I will prove myself. Alright, buckle up, boys and girls. Things about to get lewd in here as we go into the opening on the bottom of this time. I will dig deep and I will pull out anything worthwhile as things jiggle around inside this jellyfish. What else do you think I was talking about? There's our target, and not a moment before the demonetization. Hello! No, no, no! Keep talking! No, 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 say no, no, no! Very busy! Why friends keep talking? No, no, no! Need to, ex to excavate all ruins and whole area to find Titan weapons, like Scary Aishma. Probably take over 100 years to excavate all ruins, so no, no, no! Cannot be wasting any more moments. Now, friends, please leave no, no, no alone to excavating. No, 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 should stop. No, 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 nobody stop. No, no, no. Even Mama Pond never stop. No, no, no. Even Brother Pond never stop. No, no, no. And stranger, strangers can definitely not stop. No. Wait, Brother Pond? No, no, no. Remember something about Brother Pond. Brother Pond, Sister Pond, 12. Ah! No, no, no. Not come here to Deferenti ever excavating. Come to find tasty, tasty ingredients for juice. No, no, no! Work hard to make a tasty new juice for 12 Brother Sister Pond drinks place in Argenta. No, no, no! How could no, no, no get so distracted by silly, distracting ruins? No, no, no! Is worth worst of all Brother Sister Pond. No time to waste. No, no, no! Must find death, mu death mushroom quick, quick, and take back to Argenta. Thanks, friends, for stopping. No, no, no! Evening is well, that was an event. Evening. My vocal Fatigue. cords are going to be recovering from that one for the next week. Whenever Nia switches back, she only has Dromark engaged by default. Ha! Ah, his name is Spoot! <laughs> Spoot Driver! <laughs> I've only ever heard the word Spoot if it even is a word on the Angry Beavers, but it just sounds hilarious. Spoot! <laughs> it's like Spoot! <laughs> Actually, four years old. Spoot driver. Yeah, this is going way better. We really should have been taking these guys out. They even had Percy in the mix if he could have taken out the spoot driver and raised his attack. Oh, God. Okay, I deserve this. I wholeheartedly agree. Uh, 
Nia, use Vest's special. If we can get the chain attack thing up, we got two orbs. What? And here comes the smash. He's enraged. Oh, we got healed. Good. All right. Things are working. Kind of. Stop dying all the time. Have you guys ever heard that being alive is good? Because I'll tell you that it is. You have a lot worth. Oh my god. What is this force launch crap? I need you alive, Nia. Come on. Good start! Old Spoonie was able to get us some nice uh, fusion combo buffs. Nice! Come on! Oh, Ursula's not in reach. Oh, God. Korra and Dromark have terrible specials! Dromark. Oh, he lived. He freaking lived. Smack him upside the gung! Guz! No! What? What? Are you freaking real? you a proper next time, I swear. We return. Be wary not to push God, I say the epic no 18 times, then I'm freaking out like this. It really is a classic Chugga Conroy video. Nia, the time has come for you to become heavily armed. Call on me anytime. Jim Goods. Fixing Obby Buster now goes smooth. Affirmative, Mom. Oh my god, Here's what? The update installed. I thought Puppy Alpha! What? The QT operating at maximum capacity. This Good is work, the first Poppy. time I've ever had my first S-Rank Blade not be Poppy Alpha, and it's another form of Poppy! <laughs> Nop on Doll, Arms Attachment, only raising the attack power of QT. Shield Attachment uh, works for Poppy Alpha. Charming Swimsuit. <laughs> oh god, I just caught that it's called Kinker Accessories, and they sell swimsuits and loincloths. Increases the damage dealt while Blade is the opposite gender by 50%. This It's just a bad luck of the draw that resulted in this accessory not being as good as it could have been. Darkness envelops the world in its Stygian embrace. I advise you to stay alert. Downright poetry there, Zeke. I had no idea you were such a way with words. Hey, need to talk! This angers Wolfric! Healing the party in at least some uh, meaningful way uh. while having pretty good damage for a healing blade. And we're gonna have to wait on seeing your other specials, because we want to switch Dromark into the party! He's the one who wants to take out Machine Gun Julio. Can I just say, speaking as a Mexican myself, Machine Gun Julio sounds like some kind of drug lord? Oh no, 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 come back, come back! I didn't mean it, I didn't mean it, no! You're very beautiful and majestic, Julio! I like that name, in fact. God, I ratted him out like that, no wonder he flew the coop. Getting a hell of a lot stronger in the process! Now, up. Uh, <laughs> ah, he stubbed his fingers. And now, just on the other side You're of the ridge, mine. Malice awaits us. We get a nop on to blue from this treasure trove, as well as some money. Something like that, anyway. So you're Pithra, Myra? It doesn't matter. Pyra, Mithra, they're both me. Call me whichever. Okay, sure. Coffee with milk is right. Because she's bitter, but also sweet. This is a branching story path. We press onward. We have our next destination. Malicious Dimitri. I could come make on, a lot of very on. spoiler jokes about Fire mm -hmm. Emblem, and I'm not going to do that. No. Besides, we already have our Fire Emblem sword fighter in this game. Her name's Mithra. <laughs> so as we go onward, as Mithra and Bridget working together is such a good combo, and Bridget is bad when you keep switching off of her, and Rex is going to want to switch to Mithra to topple. Skyward done. Why here? Not again, Rex. <laughs> Not again. You already died once. Don't you remember, Rex? That was really good. <laughs> That is such a Mithra thing to say. 
I don't think I've ever heard that line. If I did, it was in the cacophony, and I never could hear it over that. Doable. The Aegis is the aforementioned 100% critical hit rate for the whole party, and buffs the entire party's evasion and accuracy rates by 50%. This effectively means that she has four skills because Mithras Foresight stays active regardless of which blade it started at. I guess that's why they call it Foresight. The skill also reduces enemy resistance to break, topple, launch, and smash by 50%. Guy crash break? Not quite, but it's dead anyway. Tora, you start us off with heat. Wow, how did... He was all the way over there fighting this thing all on his lonesome poor guy. I feel sorry for you, Tora. Topola! Sure, chain attack. <laughs> Zeke was about to launch and he didn't get to quite do it because I interrupted him. I guess he could say I stole his thunder! <laughs> 100,000 damage from that topple. That's incredible. Wow, that was really good. So yeah, I don't recommend Bridget on Rex. I think Dromark is at least not as bad as he is on Nia. <laughs> And I think the best thing about Pandoria is now we can throw her in the garbage. They were really made for the drivers they were born with. You know, it's kind of nice to travel with such a big group of friends. Yeah, but sometimes it's nice to travel like this for a while, huh? Sometimes it's nice to travel through a post-apocalyptic nuclear wasteland? Pandoria, what sort of kinks are you into? Oh my. Here it is! Robolab Qu Club Quarterly. I was like, Robobolab? Rebobolub? <laughs> what were you doing in Morith? <laughs> this was in the legendary Corcos we found just chilling in a trash heap down here. <laughs> all right, all right, we gotta talk. We gotta talk. We really, really gotta talk about her. So Dahlia is a character that bothers an awful lot of people. And I have to say, there's no getting around this. I'm gonna have to talk about it no matter what. Just gonna have to get it out there. I have to agree. She's awfully painful to look at. I mean, just look at her feet! Those things are horrifying! Those aren't shoes! Those spikes are coming out of the heel bone! Oh my god! Chances of getting the Golden Cog is at Battlescar Cove, where we first arrived in Temperantia on first visit. Rex Rex, you're up. Up. Time for some treasure hunting. I'll be okay to wait. Good luck with charging, everyone. How do you stop a Poppy from charging? Take away her credit cards. I thought that was the funniest joke ever when I was a little kid, minus the Poppy part. Oh, God! This only gives me 1%! Ah. I don't know what this E-Pack he was talking about was, but the 50 volt battery is the item that he really means that you'll be getting from Merc Missions. This is a key item. No, no, no. Tadazo cannot allow Tora to get ahead so easy. Someday Tadazo outdo Tora again. We'll create new miniature modes smaller than smallest ant. But if it's smaller than the smallest ant, you wouldn't be able to gawk at the- Hair! Her hair is so soft and shiny and beautiful! So! That is, uh, no. Poppy, you get out here and take a bow. This has been way too long in the making for us to not do this. Mithra, I challenge you to a dance-off! <laughs> She's just staring. <laughs> this is actually better than if she had any kind of retort at all. <laughs> that is great. Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy! Next up, we're gonna be going over Poppy Cutie Pie in greater detail. Now, I wanna let you know that there is so much to talk about when it comes to her that we won't be able to get through all of it right away. <laughs> uh, Mithra dusting herself off before she starts dancing with her bad self. Anyway, um, yeah. I'll be hitting most of the big bullet points today, and we are gonna be heading off and doing a quest as we show her off in battle. Increases auto attack damage, not good. Sunlight Eye, three and four. Titan Hunter 1 and 2, new effect. Vendetta 3, unlocked it before Bayonetta 3. And even Vendetta 4. Water Absorb, Wind Absorb, 
which makes sense to give her a strike mod so that she's raising the attack power of Cutie Pie. And now, the piece de resistance. My friends, we have seen a character who can see the future at will and shoot lasers from space. We have seen a character who can make anything they dream a reality for 60 seconds at a time with the only condition being that her and her friends are happy. We have seen a character who can control elementary particles and move at the speed of light. And we have seen a character who can take all of those abilities and make them not work by waving a wand. But none of them are Poppy Cutie Pie. So what makes her so good? Oh, I don't know, six ox core slots? She can have three blade arts, and there is no restrictions on what she can equip. All the other poppy forms, they had certain things like, oh, you can't have this part in combination with this, or there are certain elements Alpha can be that QT can't. Nope. She can equip everything in any combination at all. Your imagination is the limit with her. Poor Nia, she's been reduced to a stat stick. <laughs> also, she's getting Mike Wazowski right now. Either that or she's wearing the coolest shades ever. Kicking it back over to QT, she likes. Poppy wants to eat this with Master Pond sometime. Even Poppy can smell such delicious scent. So she still likes stable foods from when she was a kid. She also still likes textiles from when she was a teenager. Dolphin carrot, okay, I like that item name. Temimi! Hi there. Let Tora explain. Wait a minute. Temimi, just remember why Temimi came here in first place. Temimi come to Moradain in search of tasty, tasty, juicy ingredients for juice. But Tamimi lose all money betting on Chuby Tubes and World Aid! Tamimi landed bigger, dead bigger than big! Tyr can offer to help Tamimi, so Tamimi end up living a lazy life here while food and clothes and bed provided. But that's not right at all! Tamimi must grab bread of ingredients from World Aid and take back to the response in our kingdom! Thank you for talking to Tamimi! Maybe Tamimi's other brother, sister, response, and sister bonds in trouble too! They are searching for ingredients as well. If friends meet them sometime, say hello to like to Tamimi. Bye bye, friends. That was very insightful. We got a treasure trove right here. He's in some forward to it. Got four of these left, so uh, let's uh, let's up this. Mithra can uh, join in the fun too. Having this makes me real happy. Rex is an excellent source of love because he likes drinks as his favorite type and he gets a slight bonus in the trust department from it and he can equip any blade. Nothing funny about that. You do a stone? Oh my God, I'm gonna get to do the thing! Yeah! What? One driver combo, booyah! Rock in the house! Get it, because we beat him with a rock. And we also had stone on him as the effect when he died. It works on so many levels! But my field skills don't. Grant me strength. This, you bring it up out of the earth. But I not see them lately, though. Is a bit lonely without them. Wait, the kids have gone missing? Lots of us? That's terrible! It's weird though, our kingdom's so full of people! You think you're getting kidnapped and you're gonna leave what you known as right away! At any rate, let me know if there's anything I can do to help! How was it? Did you pick up any good leads? Perun, you get out here with your break art, let's do it! I don't care if Tora's got a better one, you're gonna break this guy's kneecaps into next week! Or something along those lines. Doesn't really make a lot of sense. It's been a while since we've seen Perun, I just. Silence will not do you any good now. Where were you taking them? Morardane. Naf said. Uh, uh. We were told to bring children from nations around the world. But I suppose everything will be all right now. Thank you so much. Zohawk Driver, you don't count as a boss, so you know what that means. Come on, Percy, you can do it. I believe in you. You can slit his throat in midair while diving off of a waterfall. Or something! Special time! They knew. They absolutely knew how much people would detest this place. 
There's no other reason they wouldn't allow you to skip travel right now and make you run around and find all the kids one by one. No. Vend? Uh, they were hoping to stick him in a vending machine to make fun of his name in the most insulting way possible. The plot all makes sense. Speaking of somebody with a name that got made fun of when I was a kid, I cannot imagine something more evil. At least we know that we can do this. But yes, here we are. Bram's driver. Bram's... Bram's, is your last name Toker? Just making fun of everyone's names today. It's like retribution for all the times I had to put up with it growing up. Emily, your table is ready. Go! Oh, we're gonna get a chain attack, aren't we? Yeah, we are. Oh. He burped on him and he instantly died. <laughs> he got an insta kill from burping on him. What have we here? Flora heals an That was really good. I don't think I've ever seen that happen before. I'm crying. He instantly died from being burped on. What a fitting way for a bad guy to die. This guy's so cool beating up those bad guys like it's nothing. Yeah, like it was nothing. I belched on him and he died. I want to be just like you guys when I grow up. Do you think the artificial blades this guy's talking about are really cool fighting too? So I think it's less than the kidnapped children, right? Let's turn back and be for it. Okay. God, now I'm going to try to make that happen every single time I'm in a stupid fight. I just know it. Getting rid of the nasty bugs while leaving the fish unharmed? Well, I'm not really used to that kind that kind of delicate control. I might end up giving the fish a nasty shock as well. Don't be like that, give it a try at least. We're having fish tonight! <laughs> she needs Mastery of Thunder to be at least level two for this. I know how to lightning. Save the fish, save the fish, save the fish. We can do this. I can't tell you how long on my first playthrough, I just want you to help me test the insulating armor I'm working on. No need to hold anything back, just give it a full on blast and we'll see how well it holds up. Well, if that's all, I guess I can give it a shot. Heh, <laughs> nice pun. Wait, I have to aim it at you? Well, yes, there's not much point otherwise. Don't worry, I'm quite confident in this armor's insulating ability. <laughs> Looks like there's still plenty of work to be done on this armor. Thank goodness you're alive. No need to feel down, my girl. That's a wonderful power you have. One day, I swear I'll build an armor that can block it out completely. I hope you'll help me test it out again once that day comes. Okay. If I really go all out of them, though, we would probably be all back to square one. Controlling lightning got a little easy. It's too late for Doctor. Sulala heart already stopped beating. Good friend used lightning power to start a heart of Sulala again. What? It's no time for hesitate. Every second life of Sulala's is slip away. Bah! Ouch. Uh, what a sad way to go, not having enough field skills. Looks like I just don't have the power to do this. I'm so sorry. It's okay, Electro. You won't have to deal with the childhood trauma of knowing that you caused a death at your age. You just have to try. And I think we'll almost get it from the next love source and then the uh, few pouch items could cap it us off. Fun. Good thing I have all these dumplings burning a hole in my pocket. <laughs> and they said no good would ever come from filling up Vess's affinity chart. Well, joke's on you. I'm completing Electra's affinity chart with it. I for all those of you who care about doing that, we sure showed them. From up there, um. Rex, get up, get up, get up, get up, move, 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 move! Go, 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 go! I don't even care about that! Ah! I went into a nose dive! <laughs> into the water! I love all the slapstick ways to die that we've had so far, they've been great. Can Oh, don't worry, Nia. Rex isn't far. He's pretty nearby. <laughs> hey, everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Florin, your item is on the other end of the perfume department. Dorcia! Sounds like a bad guy from Kirby. Hey, you. Me? All these people are getting fooled and thinking that Florin's a girl, but it's their own fault. It's what happens when you don't pay attention to puns. 
beguiling charms? What'd you think of that one, Florin? 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 Are you gonna do anything? No, I guess you can't really. Oh no, you can't idle animation here. I was about to say, no, you're technically moving though, but no, Cutie Pie did one. Emperor Nile is something new to say. We're gonna talk to Cameron. Ants. It's, oh, and this came back. I checked to see how much time was left on it, and I happened to do it right as soon as it finished. I didn't get a notification for I'll that. I'll be sure to whip it out next time. Keep it in your pants, dude. Entomology, so that's probably not it. Well. I'm trying to find the right point. I see a white gold chest over there behind the ca- He's laying down and going to bed. Oh my god. 69. Ah! No! 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 I swear I didn't mean it! I didn't mean it! I didn't mean it! I didn't mean it. Oh, well, well, we find ourselves in the bomb in this now, I guess. Oh, this is bad. I, I have all the aggro. No. <laughs> we kill the tree in order to make a brace for another tree. Does that make that first tree an organ donor? I think it kind of does. The epidermis is a an organ on humans and everything, or on anything, really. So, it makes sense. Sorry to keep you waiting. Lauren, let's hurry to help. Sure, I'll join the struggle gladly. How many times do we gotta teach you this lesson, old man? You're even weak against the element that I am. These guys are so sadly prepared. It's kind of a wonder that they were even allowed to go run away and do this in the first place. You'd think that they'd be beaten into submission from the first loss. Hey, numb nuts, listen to- Whoa! Zeke! You just got inflicted with blowdown, yo. Uh, some of the Garfon ankle biters said they saw a giant fish down at Farlane Wells. I bet every merc group is side of all the rest will be angling for that whopper. We're the ones who found it, but at this rate, some other bunch of Drongo mercs ain't gonna, is gonna get it. Go on, get off your arse. Catch that, catch that fish and do us proud for a change. That's what my dad was saying the other day. <laughs> this girl is amazing. I like it when tough guys have a nice side to them. Journeys make Tora tired. The last one is found in the Soprik Old Market in Theoswar. Hey, hey. Are you gonna give the grassy girl a million dollars? I hope so. Who, me? Yeah. Last time, we helped Florence save the trees from some really heartless assholes. I'm not gonna lie, like, I don't think even Malos is as cold-hearted as those guys were, where they're like, oh, you're not coming up some piece of paper? We're just gonna torch all the trees in this whole damn country. I don't know, it was something else. Let's get Rumble Tum Canteen. Krujal was a good friend of Harhal. Doing some good, doing same job. She probably know where Har Hall go. Thanks. Huh. Crucial's gonna be crucial to our investigation. How can I help you? <laughs> wow, feel cool about yourself. You did it. You get it. <laughs> <laughs> tell you about the rest of my plan and how I skin children alive because your sense of justice needs to be brought down. <laughs> justice never loses. Well, I guess he can't really. Did you kill him? I I can't believe it. All this happened because of me. The Limdo Flamy that we need to beat up make their home here. I'm going to gouge out your baby and feed it to small children! Give me a level one special theory. Gouging out a child gave you conviction. Oh, we got two of them over here? Or is this just two different varieties? Oh, yeah, it's two different ones. 
Join your hands together and join me in the sacred ceremony of not caring as I put my hand on my hip. Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Last time we torsed the driver. <laughs> more like worst driver. Ha 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 That was so clever. Yeah, I changed one letter of his name and I altered the meaning of it. Yeah, you see what I did? So theory. Uh, cold personality. The thing about theory that's kind of weak is that I've done this wrong twice now. Okay, doing it right this time. No! Resting when tired is the only way. You know why they call it the land of the beaten? Because it's beaten me twice now. <laughs> so the thing about theory that is not that strong. We haven't been here before. <laughs> Every time you knock on a door and they know who it is, they just say, "Come in." <laughs> Uh, it's like a weird catharsis making fun of other people's names because people made fun of mine so much growing up. I really shouldn't. I'm about to go home for dinner. You're so boring. What the? the? Wow, she actually did run off to go to dinner. <laughs> Fine. I hope it's broccoli. It was a dark and stormy night when we asked Agat to share anything about herself. Hey, everybody. It's Chugger Conroy. Welcome back to more Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Last time we... Hey, uh, pardon me, are you all right? Of course not! You're not all right! Me get treated horrible! Incidentally, what have you been doing in the ground there, guy? Me not guy, that offensive! Name is Diggy Diggy! If friends let us know, Diggy Diggy do excavation here, day and night, in search of new kind of mineral! Diggy Diggy, I don't see! Feel deep in bones and hear about the fragile stone wait to be found! Unfortunately, Donald Zard of a Clubs and Diggy Diggy get buried alive! But friends re excavate Diggy Diggy! Diggy Diggy Grateful! Not at all. It was a happy accident, really. Uh, back up a bit, though. You said you were looking for a new mineral. Indeed! This area has lots of precious stone! Not only that, but can also find crystallized remains of creatures from ancient times! Digging up bodies sounds a bit yucky if you ask me. No way, there's nothing yucky about it. When ancient creatures' bones turn to stone at crystal, they make really beautiful fossils. Is that so? Is that right, huh? I had no idea. So, Diggy Diggy, what kinds of rocks have you found so far? Friend, what to know? Well, now far be it for Diggy Diggy to toot on horn, but me discover two new kinds of mineral. Two new kinds? Yes, Diggy Diggy is one. Himahi stone is the other. Wow, those are some major minerals. Your altar? Sound awfully fu fun and cool, and but the leader said I couldn't come in the end because I'm not a nop on. All right, Vale, you're gonna have to get in the suit. I do a lot of sunsets, but these cloud sun. Pray, Tora Malthus has spoken. Get down with your funky selves. Hey, everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more Xenoblade Chronicles 2. And next, we're off toward Theoscaldia Palace to see one of my personal favorite quests. And ladies and gentlemen, I would like to introduce to you, for this one cutscene only, your executive producer and mine, as the voice of Tora, the one, the only, Tom Fox, the king of comedy, trademarked. What's up? Well, you see, the thing is, your highness, there was some unpleasantness, and I've been trying to see if there's anything that can be done, but... What do you mean, unpleasantness? Well, you know, there's been a rise in foreign visitors to Tantal since we came out of isolation. Ah, Tora get it? Marcel is big racist! <laughs> Not at all! I think it's marvelous! <laughs> I wanted this quest to be voiced so badly the first time I played it, and I was so sad that it wasn't, so I am rectifying this horrible wrong that Monolith has done to you. Well, rather, Thomas. For the most part, however, the influx has brought plenty of unscrupulous types, folk who mean tantal harm. We- This is so fun, just using Corvin, getting off that smash art. You feel so powerful whenever you got him by your side, and he's useful in pretty much all situations, being able to heal, tank, uh, he works well with Mithra, I can't say enough good about him, man! I think we found the head honcho. 
Really? I thought we found the dead poncho. That's a biggin! So guys, I missed the perfect bonus by one ether crystal on stage five. That was really hard to swallow. Could it at least be a nice part for me, please? I really could use that. Master Strike Mod! Ah! Are you kidding me? Are you f***ing with me? All right, where, 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 what, 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 what Strike Mod Four. Screw it, we're using your energy converter right fucking now. What is my luck? What is my luck? 25% more dexterity. We get more either defense, more physical defense. Cha! <laughs> I'm so giddy! Screw it! To celebrate, we're giving you an overpowered chip, too! Screw it, man. Uh, rarity, what? Okay, no, maybe I'm not quite that generous with this, though, but you still, you give 30% more either defense to Tora now. <laughs> That's one of the best things you could possibly get right now from the, 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 the popping parts! <sighs> uh, hi, yeah, sure, dumplings, whatever. Ugh. <laughs> uh. Is it hot in here, or is it just me standing in front of this open flame? Hey everybody, it's Chucka Conroy. Welcome back to more Xenoblade Chronicles 2. I'm gonna become the prettiest, coolest driver ever. And then I'm gonna find you again and make you my very own blade. You wanna be my driver. <laughs> well, I think that's great. Though, I want you to know, my driver right now is tough as an old boot. You might be waiting quite a while. Uh, Dahlia, I don't think that's what she meant. I think she was saying, I'm going to grow up and I'm going to murder that guy over there so I can take you from him. <laughs> you sure you wanted to stand there smiling? This girl's a proper go-getter. If you're not careful, she might steal me away from you someday. Oh, you did understand. That would be a pain, but don't worry, you worry yourself. Like you said, your driver's tough. I can handle the challenge. <laughs> I did say that, didn't I? I guess I can, can rest easy then. Let's make this partnership a long and fruitful one. Only to find I was never at the top. You have to make this jump! Make the jump, grab the ladder, get up to the heart to heart. There's a wall painting here. Oof! I just had a frightful dream. Ex Careful next time. What? I, I, I was getting ready to start the video and I jumped off the cliff in Tantal and it respawned me in the Argentum Trade Guild? What? You have to be near a landmark in order to use one. Why did it pick that? I was wondering why the load time was so long and I was getting worried it crashed or something. Came a pretty long way, hey? Okay, let that set the what tone for the video. Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more Xenoblade Chronicles 2. And now there's zero. Trying it again, because I just love making kings wait extra days. Hey, I'm an Aegis driver, you know, my time is valuable and I gotta be in the right mojo state of mind, otherwise, I just, you know, I might slip up, you know? I might not be fit to talk to a king, yo. Listen, darling, there's a lovely little spot nearby. Care to visit it with me? It's called the Airborne Throne. The innkeeper told me about it. It'll be so much fun if we go there, just the two of us. <laughs> Did you dream of me? Ugh. 
I slept like a baby. <laughs> Shut down! Private date and ditch the others. What? A date? <laughs> What's wrong with that? He's 15, that's what. I want to get to know you. Intimately. Just the two of us. Dining on fine food and gazing out at the sky above and talking for hours. Well, it won't cause any more suffering. And then... Uh... You only out during certain times of the day? I can play that game. I have a magic clock that I can set to any time of day I want and it really becomes that. You have no idea the amount of power I possess. That isn't even 1% of it if you look at all of my blades. This is terrible, absolute disaster! Something bothering, friend. <laughs> Someone steal top secret spec document holding details of new board game that CC was writing. CC was looking forward to people of Dental sharing fun for all families ages three and up. Master Pawn, if we've got if we get help of Blade friends, we can solve problem. Meh, Puppy is right. Friends will get spec documents back for CC. CC never hears such kind words. Okay, CC will count on friends to get document back. If possible, would like friends to retreat before info gets sold on the black market. <laughs> Your name just reminds me of CC's Pizza, which kind of went under recently because of, you know, restaurants not exactly getting a lot of business. And I'm sad because I missed that cinnamon roll pizza. Affinity Max Attack 4 is one of those things that we get there, which is quite good. And on we go to Theoscaldia Palace. I've been looking forward to this one because it means that we might just complete another whole big aspect of the game. We've been doing them kind of one after another lately and it might be time for yet another one. Forties, forties. Ah, oh, you're an old man in your forties. The king always believed in the, the driver of the Aegis and in your highness and not Dahlia. It will be a while before I really get a chance to talk about Dahlia's skills. Oh my God. This was the fault of negligence. It will not happen again. <laughs> Nia got another but level of I instant regen. It's like a fourth wall joke about respawning. The next battle will be a cinch. Nia, let's put your monkey where your mouth, money where your mouth is. Get out here. We'll use Mithra's healing to, or Mithra's evasion with your healing and try it again. Whoa! I didn't expect to be be, be meeting a, you to be meeting us personal here, Your Majesty. Tora feeling like very important nop on. Or vehicle identification number. We are honored that you would come to speak with us in person. Bop enemies in the faces, Nia. I'll always be a step ahead. Nia wanted some wood. Come Cause on, she sure ain't getting any. I never met a Just after collecting a few times between Nia Corvin and Poppy Cutie Pie, it's pretty easy to fill in. You were a salvager, your majesty. I'd had enough of the inter of the interminable drudgery of no of the nobility. I decided it was time to discover the real world. So I can't exactly fault. Like, what is going on over there? Okay, so you're dancing the Macarena, and Mithra and Bridget are over there just gossiping to each other over how silly we all look. Okay, real nice. And Morag wants nothing to do with this BS. <laughs> I hear a knop on an Argentum finally got his little wings on it. I suppose that one is less about salvaging and more bartering. Aren't you like the head of an entire country? Can't you siphon taxpayer dollars for, I don't know, furnishing the royal palace? I'm sure that looks good on official business if you word it that way. It's how what I do whenever I want to deduct Pokemon cards. And finally, the orbital sky reader is a, at a salvage point in Spirit Crucible Elpis. Uh, game, 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 uh, I think it just soft locked. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you're still accepting inputs. The system didn't hard crash. Uh, uh what do I have? Will you boot into ring fit if I do that? Yes, you will. Well, this is why you frequently save.
Wait, crap, this game doesn't accept inputs from the Pro Controller, I can't get out! <laughs> this first item is found in Battlescar Cove. I think I'll uh, go past uh, you while you're busy hissing at the air. You zombies can't murder me if I'm climbing a ladder. It's a known rule. It's a law of physics. Even zombies have principles, you know. Instead of climbing up toward Highway 8, right, premium cylinder with nine levels of salvage mastery. I am going to go down there faster than terminal velocity by shooting a laser out of my crotch! With you, Rex. And then curve the laser so that I grab it in one swift motion and then propel myself back up onto this platform! That's what this looks like! Alright! It was just so intense they couldn't display it on the Nintendo Switch, you see. Hello! They're saving it for the remake. What you to you are! THREE WHITE GOLD CHESTS! Oh man, I need to check my salvager rank when this is over. I, I didn't even know you could get three white gold chests. There it is! Wow! Look at all that money! All that moolah! All that De Niro! Something, I don't know. Jeez, that's like 15, that was like 20,000 gold in that one chest! That was easily worth it for how much that costs. And here we are, Altar of the Maul. I had no idea you were a Star Wars prequel loving guy, my dude. We actually get to see what these items look like, not frequently. This appears to be some kind of engine. It's got that hole in the back that all engines seem to have that I don't know what it actually does. Hello, Flinch! I've just got rest- I've just rested up pretty good, so I'm good to go for a while. Hang on, I did just rest up, right? You reminded me of Amnesia in Pokemon, where I always picture the Pokemon going, Oh, what was my special attack stat again? I'm sure it was pretty high. And then they psych themselves into doing something like that. Uh, anyway, hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Van Dem did the same for me on my first mission back in the day, you know. <laughs> it's our little tradition. <laughs> Allow us to assist. Really? That'd be great. You go ask Nick if there's anything he needs help with. Maybe we'll get to dig in a bit earlier than I expected. I bet you're in cahoots with the fire dragons to poison the chancellor or something. Hey, I heard you talking with the chef. Uh, the ch <laughs> I, I, my mind was on cooking. You're gonna help me out. Yeah. That's a big help. I never expected to be cooking on my first mission, let alone finding the ingredients myself. The mercenaries of Garfon are a hardened bunch, that's for sure. <laughs> I hope you don't think this is a job the Zekinator can't handle. <laughs> he even posed when he said it. We've been getting really lucky with these idols lately. In that case, could you help me find a couple of ingredients I need? Cooking, I'm actually pretty good at, but I had no idea. With Harold in tow, we'll have this Zekinated in no time. Anyway, good luck. I'm counting on you. He's not impressed. We already have all the items, don't we? Yep, we do. Nice. Here you go. Oh, hey, there you are. Thank goodness you're all right. We already had them all, man. Did you get the ingredients? Ah, oh, yes. Perfect. Thanks. And I'd like to talk to some people around here. To think the inscriptions here turned out to be the work of the ancient Nopon. I was talking with Ellie's day, and he explained long ago those murals used to be just above water level. Over the years, the place drained out, and now at the bottom of what used to be a lake, we have the whole mercenary village of Garfont. The history of Allrest holds so many mysteries to unravel. It's fascinating. I think I'm gonna set out wandering again soon. I wanna find more places like this one, brimming with mystery. This sort of reminds me of the legend that Mexico City was built on a lake and when you, they saw an eagle grabbing a snake, you'd know where to build it. <laughs> okay, aside from the unique monsters that our random blades want to kill, that is everything. Every unique monster that the story blades want to kill, every single side quest I wanted to take out, every core crystal attempted, every heart to heart, there's nothing else that can stop us from- uh Hello, it's your dad! <laughs> Speaking of weird item names, I gotta say, if Poppy is worried that she destroy the world, I guess she doesn't want to become a doomsday Poppy! Uh, bad taste. Yeah, Poppy took that very seriously. Oh, we got these here! Yeah! Familions! <laughs> These things are just living motorcycles with torsos on top of them. They're just 
No matter how into motorcycling you are, you will not beat these guys being literally born to shred it up. You get a double attack out of the deal theory, um, and a 56% critical rate. I think this is Theory's chip. It looks like it was just made to be with her. Katana of Demise. Heh, <laughs> Theory's a katana. I guess you could say she's edgy. <laughs> I actually was not waiting to make that one. It just sort of came to me in the moment. I know, I thought of a joke like that on the spot. No way. <laughs> we filled up this area with the water. It's where it all drained to. From that, we get two collection points. A red oh treasure trove. Here, fishy, fishy. Get some nice three-eyed fish from this radiation water. Eh, I swam in it, it's fine. You're all mine. That's enough core crystals. Uh, Zeke, the time has come for you to do literally anything. Oh, you're still at this equipment on because I haven't been using you lately. I can drop this turn, but I won't. It's fun. But I don't think anything's gonna top the perfect delivery of rawr, 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 dog mode. Rawr, 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 rawr. Back up by the elevator, you might not want to jump down right away like I did. There is control panel, and but this yeah. synergy at least makes her not as bad as she would be otherwise. Super. Poke him in the butt with the cattle prod! Little did the ancient Morathans know that by giving robots legs, by default, you're giving them an ass. And we're done. Avant-garde metal. That gets combat. There's some decently strong enemies near, including a level 64 unique monster. Key code terminal. It plopped out the key code as a physical item? That's the future of internet security right there. One-time passwords? No. <laughs> Giving you the password in a physical bag that you have to hold in your hands in order to sign in? You betcha. I'll take that any day over the current security Treasure systems that we acquired. got in the present day. Treasure acquired. Oh, hey, he's back. Okay. Why it dropped a rare core crystal, helping hand, and a common core crystal. For the very first time, I'm skip traveling, baby. Why go. is it when I say Welcome baby, it just sounds so wrong? I always think I'm gonna sound cool every time I say it, but I just never pull it off. Some guys don't got the swagger call button. Key code terminal, it has a slot for you to stick the bag into and then push it in. <laughs> Darn you not using the same passwords for everything. How do you expect me to hack you if you do that? Oh, no, Haywire Radcliffe! Oh, is that when he yells, EXPECTO PATRONUM! <laughs> yes, I've been waiting to say that for years! It was my immediate thought when I saw him! And you thought it too! You're just as pathetic as I am! Oh, you're not pathetic and neither am I. We love puns here! We embrace the pun culture! And I will bring you down! Cry kicking and screaming with it! Barely toppled you, yes! Give me the lights! Back attack up five. Critical up five. Damage absorb five. Ah, I see you're doing a thing there. Everything's got a five in it. Reaction nullify five. Recharge boost five. AC system reset five! For skills, we have aerial hunter five. Affinity max accuracy five. Affinity max attack five. Affinity max attack four. Affinity max attack three. Affinity max barrier, five. Affinity max evade, five. Aggro boost, five. Agility boost, one. Ruin the meme. Ag this corner's missing a polygon. You can see right through it. This is the only instance of a missing polygon in the environment that I have ever found. Come on out, Poppy, and I don't mean you. I don't mean you. I mean Poppy QT. You're the Haywire Phoebus! There it is! Hey, hey! Do you evolve into a Haywire Milotic? Ever hear that one before? I didn't think you did! Because you live a very lonely existence here atop the world tree. Alright, let's get going! That shape... It is just like a... Back on! Been there. You alright? Oh, I am fine. I like it in this helmet. Oh no! Yuck. That is the most cursed thing I've ever seen. May we never speak of it again. And yes, I did choose a bad battle. I could never uh, even break that enemy the entire fight, so I couldn't do it. Large Let jump. me do you it. You look almost friendly when yes. you're asleep, yes. Mora. Strong sword. You look almost friendly when you're asleep, Mora. Are you trying to get slapped, dude? Uh, 
Boom! Yeah. Tackle. Hey. Hey. The shield punch! He won't slap you. <laughs> oh, I'm dead. I can't revive Tora here. Am I turning this around, perhaps? Tora is laying on the ground and Morag is stepping on his face! Someone out there wishes they were him. Uh, Tora, get up, please. Tora, get up, get up, get up. Wake up, get up, get out there. We need you right now. What? How did Rex die like this? It's like as soon as I res anybody, and the other one just goes down. Tora, get aggro, please. Uh, hold on R. Rex needs to actually be on her with a golden thread, though. He's on Nia. Man, imagine being on Nia when you could be on Pyro or Mithra, am I right? Yeah. We can purge the enraged status here in the chain attack just in case it lives. Not saying it will. I just smacked you around with a scarf and you took that much damage. That's how powerful Corvin is. Ha! It slices, it dices, it's the Aegis girl! Oh, I'm sending this thing to the Shadow Realm. This is incredible. Man, and I was losing this fight. <laughs> For our belt, it's time. What did we find on this airport runway? Noted, but not cutie pie. Morag has S4 with Bridget! You probably still don't match a 709 compared to what does cutie pie have? You're doing more damage than Cutie Pie. That won't last, believe me it won't last, but we'll enjoy it while it does. It's the little things in life. Like being stronger than God herself. Wait, what did Tora do there? Did they hit him with knockback while he was jumping or something? He just waved at him. Oh, how one can feel the majesty of Morardain from all the way up here. Quite right, Lady Morag. Hold on, you two. Take a closer look. I'm pretty sure that's the Lefthyrian Islands. Morai Dane doesn't have all that greenery, does it? Ah. Oh. Uh. Ouch. Morai Dane's got it rough enough, and you're just gonna let him have it like that, Zeke? <laughs> yeah, we're the first of our people in space and everything, and we've reached our ultimate goal where we need to go to save the world. But, no, I think I'll just bring up how much your country sucks. No, no. I'll say that your country sucks so bad that I can tell how bad it sucks from space. Some music in the background cheering me on as I worked. Music's great, but it's not as good without the weight of the story. So let's get into this talking about a whole fall. bunch of lore. Do not We're going to start off by focusing in on a very interesting part of Pyra. Yeah. This text! If you can read Greek, you already knew that her name was Numa because that's what's written across here. Below that, translated from the Latin, it reads, The path of the righteous is like the morning sun, shining ever brighter till the full light of day. Under it is a gateway between multiple universes, after all. The shape of the Zohar, you could say, has been seen numerous times throughout the Xeno series and is a reference to Jesus Christ. It's the shape of the Aegis's core crystal and the guardian in Fonset Village, just for an example, foreshadowing the importance that Fonset Village really had to Adam's story. It's a me! Everything going as planned. Cassandra referencing Mario in a moment this important. That's amazing. I love you, girl. Aim true. Yeah. We make it awesome, this should be enough for you! Break. War of the Servants! Yeah. War of the Servants, yeah! There's those artifices that he summons. They are level 69. They are higher level than the ones that you'll find outside, making them decently tougher challenges. Personally though, I never had much issue with Morag just evading them whenever I needed them to. So I usually just focus on the big bad rather than them. Shulk uses the Monado, yeah! which behaves the same as a shield hammer, yeah! except better in every way. Yeah! 
It's got pretty decent damage, and he has a high critical hit rate, not focusing on the block rate all that much. But he has no sense of taste. Also, remember what I said about paying attention to what characters say, because then you'll learn their favorite items? Doesn't stop with just one game. I also thought you would like to learn about the masterpieces of All Rest. I have to learn your alphabet so I can read all about All Rest. How did you know exactly what I wanted? Well, I just happen to own a book shulk that can teach you all about that alphabet. Unfortunately, it's in my universe, so you'd have to come here to get it. Please do. I dream about it every night. I got a book from- Look, seriously, look at him right here. Doesn't seeing him like this just make you want them to remake the original game in this art style? That's exactly what I said the first time I saw this. So to all of you who are all like, Xenoblade 1 was very realistic and not at all anime at all. Who was asking for this art style change? It was I all along! Uh, but seriously, yeah. Back to not having your uh, special recharges after that's over, so that's been kind of hurting us. Let's go. Pat, get it, hold your horses. They were holding off on fighting the horse over there. Oh God, I'm dead. How am I dead? Really, how am I dead? This is not hard. We, we're fixed level 30 in this challenge. Uh, the enemies are weaker than us. I have high evasion with what I'm doing. Uh, well, I guess I'm not a max Uh, all right. Very good, you successfully completed the challenge. After you complete a challenge, you'll get a little bit of extra time to gather up those ether cubes. I was just waiting for an R sound though. It, it got clogged up, so there were a lot of them in the second text box. After that time is up, you'll automatically be transported back to the land of challenge. For Fiora. Hmm, this fish tastes good. Mmm, delicious. I know Melia would like it too. She mentioned Melia before you, Shulk, you ass! Uh. Uh, sorry, strong feelings. This probably doesn't hold a lot of weight if you have not watched, like, a hundred other videos that I've made, but whatever. <laughs> Shulk even mentioned the god dang Makanis before he mentioned Melia. Seriously?! That one can be purchased in Theosuar, and this one in Argentum. Being a warrior doesn't mean you can't take care of yourself. Sharla would love it if I brought this back. I agree. I really do like uh, skincare and stuff like that, and you know, I'm kind of a fitness enthusiast myself too. Uh, Morag, okay. Gosh, I'm just getting like cock teased here or something. Ah <laughs> uh, yes, my definition of cock tease, not allowing me to use arts in Xenoblade. <laughs> Sounds about right. <laughs> Fine, we'll talk about her skills instead. We have to talk about something. Oh! I can support you better now. Suddenly I'm Tom! You might say I crested the wave. Sublime. Your efforts have borne many fruits. The way you said that, it sounded like you were making a pun. Ichian, I now officially like one thing about you. Several quests that have opened up to us. We're gonna talk to Albin. Huh, are you Albanese, perhaps? Hey you, you're a driver, ain't ya? Looks like Theory and Praxis finally have a driver who's good, good sort. Keep up the good work. Well, it just goes to show you, people who wear eye patches are not the most evil drivers in all rest. They bring you cookies. No wonder whether I'll really be able to finish writing before my time's up. Oh, I didn't know you were a fan of Inspector Hildebrand, Gorg. I approve. You're a man of culture. The island of Cherman is in uh, near Godsford Isle in the Fonset Waters. Woo! <laughs> My controller said I don't want to live anymore after hearing me wailing like that. Take care of the. <laughs> Poppy Buster's like, don't worry, I'm keeping her very safe. She will do fine in my armpit. <laughs> Take care out there. We'll be waiting for you. I will. And of course I'll come back. Well then. I can look forward to a big you can look forward to a big plate of aqua pearl pizza when you come home. 
what are you guys even doing? <laughs> That's, yeah, she deserved to get hit on the head for that one. Don't you dare let your Auntie Corinne down now. I do believe this is a good time to squeeze a heart-to-heart -heart into a quest video! Just like old times. And by old times, I mean ten episodes ago. <laughs> Well, that's pretty reassuring, at least. Why are you so invested in the fate of these islands, anyway? Um, actually, Pandoria? That is not how you pronounce the name of the country you were born in. Didn't they know anything? It's like the people who made Pokemon the first movie didn't even know that Pikachu's Thunderbolt would um do zero damage against Donphan, meaning Ash should have lost that fight. Don't people know anything about anything? They should have hired me to fact check these things for them so I could tell them every time that they are wrong. Cause there's no place like it in Alrest. What a combination. Suck your own milk, man. I've earned this. Less enemy detection rate. I came up with a tagline. Fumble flan. It fumbled into the next word. Snipe flan. I like flan. I kind of want to eat some now. Ah, it's like my head seems to feel clearer with each bite. These are incredibly appetizing. Yeah, this will be perfect for the menu. Customers are sure to come back for more. Oh, baby! <laughs> Winds move as I wish it. Caw, that's incredible. Get it? Caw, that's incredible. Because he's a bird. Eh? Well, Rock, uh, I have made something you did ever so slightly more memorable by making people groan during it. I don't know if I did you a service or not. But you've been treating every case with so much care and attention, it's hard to think that way anymore. Men, women, and children all feel like they can rely on you. I don't think there's anyone in Allrest quite like that. Aww, you're making me blind! Vanguard has returned! Oh, Look at my grandpa's ass something. while I uh, go in uh, turn tend to my mercenaries. <laughs> the Eggle Jetty abandoned. For your... Uh, for your information. Uh, we didn't get a thing for discovering it because, uh, like I said, I ran all over the place when trying to find that last unique monster. Mermaiden Eugene! Like eh, you sound like such a dweeb with that name. No! Please leave it to I lost to a level 33! Did he just say not? That was worth every Holy second. Church. I don't care if I have to walk back yeah. there. It was worth it. I like my strong female blades and my heart-to-heart's convenient, right next to landmarks. So, we are inside Torna's Titan now, eh? The site of a Grand Malay 500 years ago, yeah? You have just thrown every single Super Smash Brothers fan in the audience into an uncontrollable conniption fit. Do you know what you've just done? Uh, yeah. Uh, first time that I've ever used her on him because she wants to kill this guy too. Everybody's just so out to beat up this poor misunderstood monkey that just loves to dance. Did we just? Not you. Never thought about using wind for this before. Uh, for pranking people and making them think that they farted or something like that? Sure. Uh, More resource to allocate. We've awakened her on Zeke. She's a very good fit for him and we'll get into her another time. I was certain that if we didn't get her, we'd get at least somebody. We got a lot of core crystals still left to awaken, and we'll get to them when we get to them. We know where they all are from the cold dead husks of the unique monsters. Aw, they're dancing in honor of the number one guy in Boogie Land who we slayed before their eyes. The dance floor will never be the same. Is this a snooze? I don't know why I came off as being excited by this news, because I'm not. It's a pretty humongous library, right? There's more than 10 million books in here, you know. Uh, you know what they say about men with large libraries. Well, I don't know much about this kind of thing, but it sounds like a lot. It's all the way over here. I had an awkward time of getting around here because of all the poison death water around there. I guess death water's already copyrighted. Uh, death Kool-Aid, there you go. There's an original joke that is not stolen from one of my co-hosts, probably. 
Yes. From selling my excess accessories, accessories, huh? Uh, I was able to get Uriah up to level five and unlock some new Merc missions. So, it seems as though we're missing a lot of things here. But of all the things that we can actually do, is talk to women. No, view her heart to heart. Sheba's dream in Argenta. Sheba's Merc group is... Henceforth, you shall be anointed the royal tease. The nobility ought to have no fewer than five feasts a day. Have fun, chaps. They don't know what I've set them off to. She wants to grind them up, dilute them into boiling water, and then drink it. Eggs, let's be, uh... Let's be conservative with this jump. Uh, pop down, pop down. Yeah, no! Hi. Will you be my new best friend? I need it right now. Oh. That wasn't it. Hang ten, bros! Or two in Tora's case, because he only has little nubs for fate. Oh, God. No, 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 no. Please, 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 no! The fact that he slid after hitting the ground was pretty funny. Up, 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 splash! Death by having a skid mark up your ass is what happened to Tora there. Here in the land of the beaten Tora, is this treasure chest that can be excavated and it'll be inside there. I'm willing to bet this is the first one I don't have. It's so... Don't, don't get distracted by graphics, man. Don't get distracted by how beautiful the art direction is. I've been there and done that. Yeah, it's just right near the old industrial district. You just turn around, hop down this ledge, and there it is behind a rock. It's in a very easy to get to, yet very easy to miss location. Gramps, what the heck did you need a loan for? Well, you see, that's... I may have been a little hard up. Uh, you took out a loan to have a house built on your ass, right? We got a big one today, so let's just get into it. Hey everybody, it's Chucka Conroy. Welcome back to more Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Last time. What is it, Rex? What is it, Rex? You're being your RPG protagonist self and not telling us what something means when you know what it is just because it's more mysterious to the audience that way. What are you doing, huh, buddy? I got a common core because Oh, no, 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 no. Gimme, 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 gimme. Oh, I mistook Tora for a pile of money. <laughs> I'm sorry, he just looks uh, so asset-y. It's easy to see the writing on the wall. This guy is a jerk. This is our new active quest as it ties into this one. I'm just glad we're not fighting him this time. So we have to go to the location written on the mural and get your hands on the treasure. Oh, my grubby little gloved hands that I wear even while watching my hands in cutscenes. That can be found just over here. Jump down. And inside this wall is a little secret hole. I like secret holes and going inside them and finding out what the secret is inside the secret hole. You climb up. So I was destined for defeat, was I? Yeah, I'll say you were. Friend is okay. Tora, don't give him the satisfaction. I thought I was pretty good, but you guys are something else. Go on, take it. My grandpa's treasure. My treasure. Mysterious Pert. I said take it, damn it. I wasn't good enough. Couldn't get all the pieces myself. Hmm? Wait a sec. Show me those pieces again, would you? Don't, no, whatever you're doing, he's gonna run off of them. If you put adenine, thionine, cytosine, guanine. What am I referring to? You, of course. Hey everybody, it's Chucka Conroy. Welcome back to more Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Cheer up, I'll buy you an ember cake. Um, oh, you, hey, no. uh, huh? Um, what? Huh? <laughs> like a, huh? 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 What? <laughs> I believe the morning sun is always gonna shine again. I promise no more singing for the rest of this video, probably. Hey, everybody, it's Chucka Conroy. Welcome back to more Xenoblade Chronicles 2. I don't know. It's, it's really weird to think about how much of her is flesh and how much of her is metal, or maybe how much is somewhere in between. I think it's kind of best not thought about, otherwise you just end up getting really creeped out at how thin her legs are and stuff. Uh, so we go over this way. Hop over that rock. 
I keep thinking that we're right on the cusp of it, though, but I really should be looking at the number at the top. Never doubt the powers of the great crazy taxi arrow in the sky, even if it's the Skyrim compass in the sky and not a crazy taxi arrow. Uh, over... Yes! This is what I was thinking of when I was saying, oh, it looks like we should be able to interact with us? We could! I call upon the power of fire! Wow, I failed a fiery mastery check? That's gotta be some kind of record. Here we go! Whoa! Oh my god, we vaporized her! It's gonna take him some time to recover. Honestly, it's kind of goofy. And it's redundant as well. Uh. My prince! Too, too blunt. It struck me right to my very heart. Hang in there! It's just a flesh wound! You're going to be just fine! Huh? Is Zeke okay? No! Remember me well, friends! What? Uh, I'm so sorry! I, I didn't mean... I just let my thoughts spill out of my mouth without thinking! <coughs> my prince! Uh, what's happening? I, uh, should I get help? Pyra, you monster! You're killing him here! Who would have known that Pyra could be so deeply cruel? That wasn't my intention at all. I I'm sorry. I just thought that the joke wasn't up to your usual standard. Ah! My prince! A mortal blow! It's going to take him some time to recover from that. What is it with every heart-to-heart -heart lately ending with Zeke defeated on the ground? He can recover from being dead, explains a lot. I like how these are two It's strange. Knowledge is a gift that keeps on giving. So's diarrhea. I forgot to check her chart after we finished her quest. The next one is found from jumping down from level two miser central deck on the lower level of the world tree. For in this row of motorbikes that you can have for the low, low price of $35,000, uh, we got this over here. Uh, wait, was that? Ah! Uh, <laughs> it looked like something cool that I we have not got. Uh. Two sixty-nine was the highest guess that I could find. I stopped checking after three hundred and ten. See you guys then. Bah! Everyone from the refugee camp descending onto the port all at once. Thankfully, I managed to get safely onto a ship. Then, right when my friend Bonono tried to get on, kabam! The whole of Indal got whacked into the world tree. And Bonono, he went flying. Clean off Indal, he went. Wow, that sucks. Whoa! Nia! Brutal! And now fell into the cloud sea, well, uh, you guys reckon you could lend a hand, do you? If you could help us out, it'd give us a little breathing space to get a handle on things. I'm sorry, I'm not using the proper dialect for this guy. We will handle this task without fail. Look at Civil War! There are three distribution centers in total! There's one, there's this one, the one I've gone to the third up, and the one I've gone to the bottom of the floor! Each has no problems, you have to do because you'll cause the church separately! First, it's Delmo here! Understood. I think. Alright, we'll do everything within our power to lend a helping hand! Alright, Rickard! Oh. I hope your last name starts with O, so you're Ricardo. Uh, things are looking brighter for us now. Are you sure about that? We've been pretty uh, busy since all these Indoline refugees showed up. Sometimes I think it'd be easier if we just sent them back. Oh, oh, we are struggling to feed our own people here. People start to get a bit edgy when they see us doling out food to these Indolines. To be honest, uh, they've caused quite a bit of trouble recently. Don't get me wrong. I've got a lot of sympathy for these refugees after what happened. They'll probably end up having to live here, so we'll have to try and calm things down as much as possible. Yeah. But thanks for all your help. I feel like we have a chance now. I hope your name is Ricardo. Also, you wish you could just send them back- Send them back where? The ocean? Dove. 
kind of. <laughs> the way it's spelled's great. Oh, we have something that I want to do here in the Lethirian Archipelago. I think, yes, it took an old minute to go in there. What you talking about, Willis? Well, this is a bit of a pickle. I'll say, you probably hear that joke on a near daily basis and you're sick of it by, the, by your age. It's like growing up with an unusual name and you get tired of correcting everybody, so you just don't. Well, there's a bit of a problem with the village's children, you see. You'll find a carpenter out back, name of Mason. He's working out what needs to be done. Could you lend him a hand? Uh, let's make this village a place where children can be proud to grow up. All those stupid schools that are in destroyed nations keeping all the tuition and not thinking of you when their country hey, falls. We're back. I hope things went well. All those colleges are all the same. We got another Merc group back! Come on back, tell us! What are you gonna tell us we've done? Huh? 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 Any skills? Come on. Give me a good skill. Give me a good skill. Give me a good skill. I've earned it with a pun that- No. Well gee, sorry you don't have any taste or humor. And I can just barely not do this great. <laughs> Armu who loved for everyone! You will all cry when you read this and I'll be there with you! Sorry, you had to see that, kid. Kirk! You're the one who needs the ore, right? Dilemma Rock! Yes. For it! This will yes. put the force in foresight! Blaze combo! This will put the force in foresight! Force. Mithra, I didn't know you had punning in you! I never took you to be the type! I had you all wrong! Sure, we'll activate the true form and do a chain attack! We gotta be overachievers and show them how a real salvager does it! <laughs> Obliterate his anus! With laser surgery! Going actually, we're going- Oh, We're gonna be playing a new blade quest! A blade that we've met rather recently, in fact! See you guys then! Burning all those copies of the armor who loved. I'm gonna rush in and save you. Now step forward if you'd like to be a forgotten page in the annals of history. However, if we perceive even the slightest hint of foul play, you know what's coming to you. Yes. Boy, I wish some girl would do that to me. I mean, what? Uh, we weren't- we not it wrong! We just do what we told! Along the trail for a while. Yes, this is the best fast travel point for it. It's kind of a shame, but it do be that way sometimes. And finally, you will one day arrive at the excavation of legend! To reclaim thine assets from the depths of hell. Show me what you got. Whoa! Nice! That was a slog. And the last one. Onward. Let us rake in the assets. Which happen to be her three field skills. Away with ye! Or something. Only 14 minutes, that ain't so bad. It ties up a storyline that I think we're all decently fond of, though. See you guys then. Let us rake in the ass. To Lefteria after the fall of Indal. Her other favorite is found in Alba Cavendish, the Copper Ephem statue. A bust of Ephem. Oh, but if we could meet the model. You know why she likes this one so much? Because anytime anybody expected anything of her, she said Ephem. <laughs> but um. Psh. Ass kicked in. Uh. Okay. Heal. Heal. Okay. I need to switch over to Crossside here for a minute. Uh. Please, I need to get back over to Shiva right away. What? Uh-oh. 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 Uh, Shiva, you get out here and you wreck his anus as you say it in the royal business. I cannot break this guy no matter what I do. Grom Rice research night and day. But recently, we've been making poor progress and have been ground to a halt. Pat, <laughs> ground to a halt. Tora doesn't like it. That's why we're on the lookout for some uh, plant experts. Driver, blade, knob on, it doesn't matter. Actually, let me meet you over by there. We can just skip travel to the Tox Bloom Spring. Roots. Roots. No guard, eh? Remedy. Roots. Sit. <laughs> Photobombed. <laughs> That's the meme where the guy hits the button that says upgrade. <laughs> Jesus. I can't. 
can't believe I said that. Find me the wraith, three wraith roots, then we'll talk. A chest has got boxer fan braces in it. Good find. Roots, roots. More like poots with what happened last time I saw you, am I right? That Tora came running for that one. Here, this is for you. Morag's just rolling her eyes during this exchange. So, what do you want? Tora can get level five speedy sword! He can get level three swooping, swooshing slash, I guess. Anything to lower the recharge of those driver combo arts, please. I can level up dented shield similarly. Shut up, smartwatch, for saying I have a regular breathing. Of course I have a regular breathing. It's Tora's driver combos getting leveled up. Why would I not? I still had overload thunder beam on. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Sure, Zeke, you can level up your terrible smash art. Hey, everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Last time, we helped out Cole so that he may finish Van Damme's play. Something that we have wanted to see for... Aegis. Oh, you're not really too receptive to those? Okay. You girls are all the same. <laughs> this time, we're bragging about Rex, the pride of our village. Seeing my little boy all grown up and with such wonderful friends. What more could a parent ask for? Aww. Your pride is very apparent. I bet she doesn't like that one either. I'm standing in this waterfall. I hope this is okay. Uh. You killed Rex! How could you? How could- Oh, 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 oh my god, I'm actually stuck! I thought I was just gonna- Okay, I jumped out. <laughs> what have you That was really good! Here, fishy, fishy. He had to shake his way out for a few seconds before he could break free. <laughs> Go up. Alright, we can climb a waterfall, which I reiterate is one of the coolest things you can do with field skills. Well, yes, maybe by a degree or two. <laughs> because she lit her fire, so it's a few degrees. <laughs> oh, what? Oh, what? That's it. Ah, oh, the cute little kitty cat wants to climb the tree. Hey, everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Last time, we finally did Cross Sets Quest. Yeah, been how long? It's probably the longest wait time any blade has had to do their quest. Oh. Almost skewered my foot right on top of your head. And now he's apprehensive that he almost caused- Oh. Uh. Wait, is he- Is he saluting Morag? Because I- If I walk away, do you- Okay, what about you? I didn't know they did that! What happens if I'm playing as Rex? I took Morag out of the party completely and he desaluted. Wow. Alright, I didn't know that that happened. Uh, okay, uh, well, um, what was I saying? Uh, this time we have a quest that involves Lady Morag and the military, uh, uh, uh think you can take me, bottom text. Uh, hmm, this job does- Don't forget to thank me. Don't forget me. You're lucky to have me. Yes, daddy. We go uh, into here, scientific development. Sounds very well suited for the type of robot that you are. Yet yeah, you can grind on rails to get down from blazes quickly. There's not really any reason for them to include this, but it's there. Hey, Ragman. I'm probably saying that wrong, but I like the name. That is very thoughtful, master. So it's a C-grade item and an A-grade item. Does that mean that this thing emits 802.11 AC? People in the future will not get that joke. Heck, people in the present probably won't. And she also likes gladiator wrestling! Analyzing data. Sentinel driver. You sound significantly less cool when you're spelling it wrong, buddy. Sorry to tell you, but you need spelling lessons in pain or something. What is worse than insulting your mother? Insulting your special inquisitor, of course. Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more Xenoblade Chronicles 2. I promised what I, I promised to get what you need, my child. Really? Thank you so much. Tora and friends handle it. I'd be so grateful if I could have it in time to make it before he goes. Farewell, good friend. Don't you mean for all good friend? I've always thought of that when doing this. I like her name, though. It's pretty cute. Uh, but now we can. View here pretty amazing. 
Uh, Tora, I had no idea you were so into genocide. Oh my god, there were two that were just burning now! Oh my god! They're all raining down on all of us! Tora! I would never have dreamed a day would come when I could gaze down upon all of all rest. Uh, you furry folks are into some weird stuff, you know. I know, I was gonna end up this overleveled for this. That guy's done. Mount driver. I don't want to mount the driver. Doesn't sound very good. Not you. Uh, oh, I can smash him. Pound him, smash him. Till such time, I trust you will take care of all menial tasks. Are we clear on that? Good. Now do not bother me with trifling issues any longer. Okay then. Dagus, you can unleash the hounds, have them bite me in the crotch, all while crushing my head underneath your boots. But when you say that the Leftherian Archipelago is not a magnificent sight, that is when you have crossed the line. Time to pillage! Joke's on you! You left all of this stuff on guard. What? That's amazing! Damn, uh, Banna's fortune did not disappoint. Boy, for a guy who hates the Empire so much, he has pictures on the walls. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Dagus could get used to a room like this. <laughs> he just lays down like he owns the place. <laughs> Dallas is pushing around his throne. <laughs> it's really funny. But yeah, for a guy who hates the Empire so much, he sure has a photo of it on his wall. Oh, who's a cute little gangster? Who's a cute little gangster? I IRC, I know that you, uh, oh, whoa, he has a sentinel? <laughs> what do you think? Impressive, no? Using technology of artificial blade, Don finished construction of ultimate weapon. Don must be grateful to, most grateful to Sonny Ponbana. Provide great technology and much cash also. Now you face true might of Don. Soon you will be staying on floor. Joke's on you, we're outside, so it would be the ground. You will pay dearly for your crimes against grammar. You ain't no good guy. You're just sounding cute so that you can get things out of humans. I know the history of your people. Ah, all right, laying down a level one special. Rex, you finish up with level two, and Morag, you're gonna have level three soon. I'm so proud of you. Okay. So where in Tantal did I decide to go after checking out my blades? Gormot! Hey everybody, it's Chugger Conroy! Welcome back to more Xenoblade Chronicles 2! Last time, we finished up the Lindworm plotline, bringing the downfall of the anti-imperialists <laughs> once and for all. Until next week when there's another group that was pulling the strings behind Lindworm and they reveal themselves. This time, we are in Gormot briefly before we make our stop in Tantal, because... We have a blade who's been wanting to view their heart to heart for a long, long ass time. Yeah, more like long chested time. Uh, maybe not. Uh, yeah, there's a blade who wants to view something for a long, who's been wanting to view something for a long time. It's the very last thing on their chart. Let's get to it. Uh, don't you think going crazy over sweet things is a bit, well, basic? Well, I M H O, they're a lot better than fishy old crab sticks. Ah uh, yes, no one will ever sneak up on us with Finch doing the lookout. Uh, and then she says to me, "Wait, I don't just have a crank in my neck. You wanted me to do something." Hey everybody, it's Chugga Con. <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you standing on there like a trophy or something? <laughs> what are you the amount. Of oh, Nia's joint. The amount of resolve in these two standing on a table is to die for. Oh, Nia. <laughs> anyway, welcome back to more Xenoblade Chronicles Two. Memoria Art does indeed have a deed. <laughs> get it. Uh, increased enemy detection range. I said before that this one did not have a deed. A lot of uh, stores that have weird situations, like this one only being out at nighttime. And I wasn't crazy. And I wasn't crazy. I knew that there was something here. Oh, Rex. I love Rex. I've heard some people say that Rex is just his I love you and all you guys was just a way of letting her down gently and telling her what she already knew, but I don't buy it. He's like 15. I wasn't thinking about that when I was 15. I was 
Wondering what was under Double D's hat on Ed Ed and Eddie. I wasn't thinking about that. I I reached the top. Oh, feels good, man. Cool, that's incredible. She said the thing. Feels good, man. So that's Nia's chart all finished up. That favorite item was the last thing she needed, and we needed five stars with Lotharia to be able to get it. He doesn't have an avant garde medal on. That's probably what's doing it. Uh, Electra. Let's go for Cyclone. And we got Thunder Gale ready. More like Thunder Gal, right? Right? Thunder Gale! Just doing highest trust first and just sending away any A rank or B rank blades that are gonna be close to finishing up. Now that we've been using the Merc group to be able to handle this, I guess now we know why they call it Merc LeBay's Mightiest, right? Celestial Bailey is. As they say in these parts, you're done. Ultra Ultimate Chainer of Spirit. No way! We were awesome! Spring. This day may yet be salvaged. Yeah. You can salvage anything. All you gotta do is press A three times. Uh. <laughs> the goat's ass is saying, Lady Morag, I've heard of this place. The water here will do wonders for your skin. Believe me. Is that so? I'm looking forward to it. To think all this time and more ordain, we've never once visited here. Yes, we have. Okay, Theory, if you see any peeping toms, you gotta end them quickly. They'll be dead before they can blink. <laughs> this is just unlucky enemy placement. They happen to be standing in this spot when the cutscene started and they won't move because we're in a cutscene. <laughs> it's all right, Kit and Sonny are happy to keep watch, aren't you guys? I don't think I've ever had a banquet in a hot spring before, uh, but I bet it'll be awesome fun. I know, right? I'm already- wait a minute, this is censored. That's why these goats are standing here, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> Funny, there's a strange prickling at the back of my I neck. get it, they're censoring this. These filthy beasts are in the <laughs> That joke went psh over my head. These filthy beasts are in the way of our admiring our beloved companions. We will not stand for this! Sup, my main poggers? I'm speaking the language of kings. Hey, everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Don't look so down, Dagus. <laughs> you need not coddle me. Instead of wasting time here, we should search for another lead. Da, da 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 What a happy ending. Thanks for nothing, dog ass. Come into your heart's content, your royalness. Man, he did all that by just looking at him and posing. That's damn impressive. Tuck. Yeah, you better tuck your head in. Nancy. It's like Nancy plus Massey. Hard to do. Come, my retainers, let us get to the bottom of this tale. Uh, literally. Never knew you were such a pun man, Dagus. This is a good place to do some salvaging, actually. You see that great big old shrubbery in the sky? That's where we're going, Cosmog. Hey, everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. The more blades enter a berserk state, the higher the risk will become. Please give the order to commence combat as soon as possible. All right, let's do this. Here goes nothing. Even the lifeless robot gets my Wazowski and it's funny! Oh my god, all this guy's a mama! It's not even a lazy abuse! Squealing about that music is just the kind of guy I am. These guys are weak to light, and I believe it's the level 2 special that has the amazing aim. In fact, I might be able to assist you in some way, uncle. Enough with the uncle thing! Can I at least be like a big brother or something? Oh, if you insist. Let's have a lovely trip together, big bro. Wow, Shellhead. I didn't know you were into that. <laughs> oh! Um, my prince, forgive me for saying so, but you're keeping me out a little. <laughs> oh, for the... Hey, what's your name? I am Cosmos. Cosmos? That's a funny sort of name. You're a blade, aren't you? Yes. 
That's a pretty unusual body you got there. Honestly, it's one of the more tame bodies that a blade's got, if I'm being perfectly real with you. It's almost like you're part machine. Are machine parts and human parts connected somehow? Do you have some kind of problem with my body? Problem? No, no problem. Hey, would you mind if I tinkered around with the bits inside? I cannot permit that. Even my, if my master were to order me directly, I could not comply. I thought you might say that. A shame. A shame. Oh well. It's going to be a pleasure traveling with you, Cosmos. I look forward to it, Estelle. Shall we leave at once, then? Come on, big bro. You lead the way. <laughs> what are you making that look for, big bro? We're leaving you behind, big bro. Will you all give it a rest already? <laughs> that was a great cutscene. But Estelle, if things look dangerous and the slightest little, the slightest little dangerous, we're taking you straight out of there. Got that? Sounds fine by me. Shall we get going then, Cosmos? Don't give the rat a cookie. He's going to want a glass of milk. Have you never heard of this? Sorry, don't give the bunnet a, a monkey wrench. He's going to want mech on parts. There, I translated it into this universe's terminology. <laughs> the theme of the day is complicated, unique monsters, because this one requires riding these containers and clearing the quest we meet Oof. again in order to be able to do so, and opening the way to the pla- Oh god, I thought I was gonna fall off right there just because I was a one second too impatient. It's a running theme into my life that I'm always one second too impatient because I always ask people, God, are you ever gonna be ready one second before they would have been ready, and then they give me an unamused look, and then things are awkward for the rest of the day. Give me the name tombstone. Slasher Buffon, more like Slasher Buffoon. I did not steal that one for myself a few seconds ago. What are you talking about? I have no idea what you mean. Looks like we've been Indoline Scheme. Oh, because he was scheming over there. He's literally an Indoline Scheme in multiple senses of the words. These guys are paper. My God. This is funny how easily we're taking them down. Crotch! You can't tell me that she's not crushing his crotch! That's what she's doing! Worthless. I could read her lines like that. Or I could make things really awkward for everyone who finds this hot. Blah. What's the plan you mentioned? Start talking or die! What will you what will you do if I tell you? I'll eradicate every last one of you! <laughs> well, in that case. The survivors of Indal are gathering in Morardain in the Chanzal Wastes. By our power combined, we will do Praetor Amalthus proud. The preparations are almost complete. Finding you lot was to be the final step. By all means, save us the trouble. Oh, you're the step, buddy. That's enough from you! Ah! We must head for more. We must head for more, Dane! Seems we must. <laughs> it's amusing to hear that from you. I act efficiently according to the best analysis of the data. You're, you act accordingly to your own reckless desires. Your treatment of those people was unwarranted. Yeah! We are simply incompatible, you and I. It is pointless trying to see eye to eye. Tora likes the silken stool that's bought in Lefteria. I personally don't like having a silken stool. Not a big fan of laxatives. This Taurus, hands off! Agate, I remembered cracking up at Le Awful's being your favorite book and noting that the other one could be found in Alba Cavendish. That's the fish and herb broth. Oh, as long as you have a bully tuna, you can make this anywhere, right? That's so wild! I mean, yeah, you can ship a tuna anywhere in the world. It doesn't really matter where you chop it up and stick it in water. But what do I know? I'm not exactly known for my cooking. Be released. Play combo, third stage. Awesome. Whoa, she sounded like she was in some real pain there. Speedy sword. Yes. Hey, I'd be in pain too if I was being beaten up by a better game. <laughs> I'm over here spitting fire. What are you going to do about it? Enjoy unsubscribing the other five people who actually bought a Wii U. <laughs> I'm along there with you. I was one of the few. <laughs> the life form that is born from that instant, that is a blade. Mm. Huh? 
Yeah! Oh, 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 oh. Hmm. Is that all you got, tell us? I was thinking, hey, it's been a while since so we started on an idle animation, so it'd be kind of nice to. Oh. No. You just don't like giving anybody the satisfaction, do you? Hey, everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Poppy knows what's up. Look at him over there. Tora and Poppy doing their ensemble dance together. Anyway, uh, that's a good accessory, giving increased critical damage. I recommend it highly. Cox! You should get together with Cox! <laughs> not a Merc mission. We're not really finding that many of these. I'm just finding interesting NPCs. I recently met a Phonics from another country the other day. If it doesn't end up sinking, I'm sneaking aboard a ship to Lotharia. I heard the Demon King is gone now, so it would be great to visit the Phonics colony. Well, you certainly got the money to do that, huh? Huh? Jack! I heard you subdued that uh, rebel faction Lindworm. You know, I'm starting to think you can do anything. Such trifling matters are no trouble at all. Yes, peasant. Uh, but Don 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 and Banna are uh, under lock and key, and Senator Stalk's finally given his testimony. Like three of those stumps, and they're worth two points each. Meanwhile, the monochrome Muscari, maybe like 10 minutes tops to get this filled up, done. Oh my god, he exploded! We fed him too much! I've been watching this art and grow since I was there, I was born. SMASH VOLCANO! I always wanted to smash a volcano! Sounds like it would make me feel like a badass! Roar! I sound like less of a badass when I behave like that, but it's how I would behave if I really was one. And so I would lose the status almost instantly! Damage heal 5. Uh, guys, you gonna topple or do I got it? Does Tora gotta do everything? Okay, um... I'm probably gonna miss the timing here. No, I'm not! How'd you go in? Going into Relentless Ardoron! This is not an Ardoron anymore, it's a Balgus! So... Oh no, Tor... No, why is it with fences in this game?! That's offensive! I need to get on the other... I can't believe Tora got knocked over the fence by doing the smash art. I was... The systems upgraded. Full admin rights granted. Rather impressive! You mean we can take off your clothes now? Okay, no, 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 not getting into that conversation. <laughs> it looks like a conga so line just coming out of the side. Ba dum bum 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 cha, ba dum bum 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 cha, ba dum bum 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 cha, ba dum bum 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 cha. He even weeps his tail on the on the cha. I didn't intend that. It just worked out really nicely. Yes. Oh, he can do that. <laughs> we won't lose again. That was your fault. Not mine. I know, Daddy. <laughs> Reflect immunity! Got it in three kills! It fell right on my little head! You impress me. You've earned your place as my foot warmer. Yes, Daddy. Uh, so you get Reflect immunity that way, and get lots of uh, core crystals and moon matter chips. Or you can play as Morag in here. What? 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 <laughs> I think the choice is clear. Oh boy, we get to hear the thing. Ah! Her, she said the thing. That was poorly judged. Again? I love how they talk back to you when you lose. It's so funny. <laughs> It'd be one thing if they were all, we're using too many items as a la Tales of Vesperia, but no, that, that's fine. Buddy beat my high score in that Tiger Tiger game. I was so shocked. My beautiful 18,310 points. But once I got over my shock, I resolved to practice even harder. I trained out for more. Okay, you get the point. Uh, blisters on fingers start to bleed until finally I achieved a new high score of 81,107 points. No one's ever gonna beat this one. I'm the top player in all of all rest. Challenge accepted. No damage! 
damage! Add him up! Add him up! And Adam Orgo, him too. I guess he was kind of important. Treasure! Stage one is my favorite for score attack. It's the only one I can really do it in. Perfect bonus! No kill! 170,130! GG. Hey kid, get good. <laughs> You're the one who beat my high score in Tiger Tiger, aren't you? Imagining Morag standing proud as someone who beat someone's high score in a video game, especially a small child. I thought no one would ever be able to beat my 81,000. I beat it by 90,000 points! I uh, can't say that around children. Uh, Master Master Initiate synchronization of spirits. I think they could use a better name, like, how about Ultimate Prismatronic Hypernova Blazebusters? <gasps> Of doom! Oh. My. Gosh! That is the coolest name I've literally ever heard. No! Of doom! X! This Where was that the first time, Shulk? What did you refuse to be in the presence of an inferior protagonist? Ah! I'm over here spitting fire about X every day! I do like X. It really deserves to be ported. I have my complaints with it, but those complaints would naturally be fixed in a port. Nintendo's good about doing that when they re-release games. A lot of Wii U ports have numerous improvements, which taken on their own don't really do much, but the totality of all of them combined makes for such enjoyable experiences. I love it. The skills I've acquired here will serve me well on Mira 2. Mira 2? You heard that? X sequel confirmed! I wish. We really do need to buy ourselves a new depth probe. He ducked down and when he came back up he had different clothes on. <laughs> it seemed pretty solid. Uh, I'm wearing different costumes for this and I want to show character debuts because stuff like that can happen. To turn a decent profit. <laughs> it's pretty good. Honestly. If he can change clothes on a dime, so can his sword! The one who wants to f*** you. The one who wants to f*** you up. And the one who got f Come on! We're 166 episodes into an anime game! All the children left a long time ago! And... And besides, this game's got a lot of swears in it, so if people are offended by that, they also dropped that a long time ago. I've been allowing myself to be a bit looser than normal because of that. Also, Nia's costume over there might be my favorite costume. How fitting. It's so cute, and you, it's the only way you can see her core crystal in her driver form. Oh, that's so good. Jin, don't tell me we're gonna have to hire some babysitters for this outing, too. Ah, uh, she hell? wants him already. You, like you can just tell. But Nia... No, I do her see your point. Is so cute. Sorry, I, I gotta. I, I would go on and on about Nia forever if I could. Specific key items that open doors are also lost, as well as a few optional ones, uh, like Ophion's data core to get that treasure chest again after you defeat him, and Ursula Stair. Yeah, it goes without saying because uh, you have, you can do all the quests again. Lucky you. <laughs> now let's start talking about all new features, at least the ones that are accessible from the beginning. If I go to this affinity chart with Rex, I can hit Y to go to Hidden Affinity. You want something to spend all that useless SP on? I'll give you something to spend SP on! Feel like you moved into the big pond yet? Look how expensive these are! Are you ready to see the coolest thing ever? That is dress uniform Morag. You live down here. <laughs> Her hair is so cool. This just back. She only hides it under a hat because she's so cool that she doesn't need those extra Makes points sense. from it. Whoa. But you, it's you can make her overkill. I just thought of a great menu idea. Look forward to that later. 
Oh, Pyra unlearns all of her cook. It's not like you were ever going to cook any of this crap anyway. <laughs> It's oh, not man. bad. This is delicious. There's a reason why this wasn't even in my notes oh. for a thing that changes. It's great that we made it this far, but how do we get over there? Any ideas? Pyra? Hey everybody, it's Chucka Conroy! Ah! Oh come on, I'm not that annoying. Oh. Welcome back to more Xenoblade Chronicles 2! Oh, I had no idea Adam was such a pothead. Me power. Thank you, thank you, you're too power kind. To the dark. I'll be power here all week. To illuminate the in world. this very theater. I am going to wound your emotions with this next part. No problem. I'm just great. Thanks for getting it done. Really? We are the severe burns. Do you know what that means? You wait, but don't expect much. Good luck! It means they're having fried chicken. Run, Finch! Let's rest a spell. Let us proceed. Easy as cutting heads. <laughs> All friends return safely! We know our orders. Just remember to have fun. I have served you well. I hope you'll agree. Thanks for getting it done. That ferocious jugger, more like jugger not. Because you're dead. I don't feel like I'll ever be as good. It's like a dream to be able to do what I love for a living, so I have to make sure my skills are up to scratch. These birds did nothing wrong. They look like they're working hard, but you never know what they might when they might up and off with something, something again. I don't care how tragic it is they lost their homes. You can't just resort to stealing. No, they're not telling. There's no telling what they might do. I've still got my eye on them. Oh, one of your eyes. There you are. We can also talk to Garum. Man, I've heard of being beside yourself, but this is ridiculous. Ha 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 ha. Time for a detour. One of... Uh, oh, Mori in the house. Oh, Marge here. Uh, she got hidden affinity. Yo. Poggers. Uh, inspiration slightly fills the party gauge when an excellent score during a special. Everyone. Huh, <laughs> Kanan, and she has a cannon. Pretty clear what everything oh, is an allegory yeah. for. I just see it as some fun world building that instead of being called God, he's called the architect. It's something that makes all rest feel more, well, all rest. Uh, the eye in the back of her head's all hairy, too, because it. Pokes out from between her. Did she have to shave the eyelid on that thing to keep make it so it's able to see? Ah. <laughs> the more I think about her, the more questions I have, and the more I don't like her because either answer to the question is worse than when I didn't have these questions. Zeke, I relate to you so hard right now. What? No, I wish I was this pretty. Toro was embarrassed by that intro and jumped to his death. No, I was saying it because I never wear a jacket. I love the cold. Hey, everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Don't let them off easy. Hey, Akos, no, stop right. hitting yourself. Stop hitting yourself. <laughs> I've been waiting to say that one. It didn't connect. Wow, we are kicking his ass. Kos. Get it? I, I thought it was kind of funny a little bit, I guess. Anyway, just if friends have this, friends can travel to World of Ulrest. That's crazy. I never knew something like that even existed. The reason the tutorials are so bad is because Rex doesn't read them, and you're seeing the world through his eyes. It's all part of the deep lore. You Look, Ma, I brought home a girl from an alternate dimension! That's nice, Rex, dear. Run off and play over there, please. Hey, everybody, it's Chugga Conroy! This will keep us safe. And speaking of learning skills, it's been a while since we've uh, done any Merc missions. I'll be an asset to this team. Oh, you'll be an asset, all right. What? What we need to do... <laughs> After this cutscene, there is about one frame of which a pause input oh. will be accepted. Have I mentioned how Got it, got it, oh, I did it one try. I don't know if that's hard to do or easy to do. I've never tried it before. 
I am now in a pause menu with Numa active. And uh, you can see Mithra's leg over there. That is early placeholder art of Mithra that is not being displayed fully on screen. Here's what it would look like. If I were to select her, I am now in a... Oh, uh, the game did not like that. Um, I can't imagine why it didn't like that. Uh, I'm in a... Huh. Okay, uh, weird. Uh, but with this, I can see Numa's stats briefly. With the 1168 auto attack, as I've told you, the 25% block rate, which really is not that at all. I might have to borrow some footage for this one. Th this is what I wanted to show. It looks super, it's super awkward. Uh, wow, Rex, uh, just walking around with that in your pants. I know her outfit's pretty. According to an interview with Takahashi on US Gamer, Let's rest the spell. Let's get going. So Jin is our enemy. And I have full control over him. I can solve this conflict so easily! Very funny. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent fourth wall joke. Close. Six out of five. It's impossible even in New Game Plus to customize Jin in any way. Oh, Ginny likes to dance and sing, do da do da. Oh, really? Yes, he really does. Oh, do da day. Kill the men all night. Kill the men all day. I hate him out this with every fiber of me. You can do silly stuff like this with Jin in the party as well, which I didn't want to break tension or make it obvious that Jin wasn't going to be in the party forever for first timers. So we can just walk straight up to Amalthus's door. Oh, oh shoot, that opens. Uh, I thought this was permanently locked now. Uh, AoE, like Mithra's level two, and he'll level up so fast. Oh shoot, uh, he's dead. Uh, you still get experience, right, Ginny, old buddy, old pal? He does. <laughs> I didn't know you could level up all dead. You probably don't want to because... Oh, that's just funny, I'm sorry. I word slash. Why not? I was just yeah. on those. Jin died by a fart. <laughs> That's how his 500 year lifespan comes to an end. <laughs> I was just going after Territorial Rothbart to get a little more experience on Jin so I could get more ether crystals out of him. There is an incessant flow of verbal nobility. Sorry if I'm not being very specific. I'm sure you'll understand if you talk to him. Sounds like you're his biggest fan. Just saying, whoever smelt it dealt it. Or something. Along those lines, uh, talk to her as Zeke, oh my god, in his underwear. And there's actually one more blade we're doing a comparison for. Through the power of naughtiness, it's sever special between Rex and Malox. But we're not, we're right. this may, when, this is, yeah. Yeah. Next time on Xenoblade Chronicles 2, we are playing the post game of New Game Plus. See you guys then! <laughs> Someday I will rest again. And on that day, I will have all the rest! Think you can take me! We have seen the conclusions to every single minor character who had an arc that we were going back and talking to every chapter. What a long title they have indeed. Uh, oh. Oh, she really into some voodoo stuff. She levitating. It's the boots, I tell ya. Uh, yeah, we've already seen all those. I went around and saw if any of them had a star over their head. None of them do. I am the champion, my friend. And his name is Crescidus! He's gonna get in the ring and put elbows to asses! You seen his ass? It's... <laughs> I was gonna be AC his elbows, but I'm like, you see his asses? Oh no. Cressidus! A blade that I think is secretly really good. Uh, 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 uh. Never thought of Uriah's dance party music, Mick. Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy! But it reminds me of a childhood story. Uh, there was one day that we were eating Red Snapper, and it was all like brown and kind of gooey like on the plate and it was the most disgusting looking thing that my parents had ever expected me to eat up to that point and I remember I went mom can I have another plate and she goes why and I go somebody pooped on mine it was like such a sick burn for me to say when I was five years old <laughs> I still think about it now I wonder if she remembers that
The Odifa Galetard is in Albacavenich, while the Felt Cushioning is in Fonset Village. I would not recommend either of these items. You really want Astrology Made Simple or the good old Narsapair Jelly. The hour of your doom is nigh, Ken! Petroka! Her first battle skill, Fury! Hey, I'm not worthless. Yes, you are! I You just had to turn around and show that to me. I'd never seen your idol animation before, and this is how you repay me? Uh, take this, Mrs. Eyeballs. Hey, everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Let's go find the Grand Marshal. Ten Hood, why the hell is he over there? I wasn't thinking he'd be more than a distance away, so I kept using this voice because I intended to only use it in the time that we took to walk over to him, which I thought would be four freaking seconds. Sir, yes, sir. Ah, you're darn tootin'. I can't keep this going. I'm running out of breath, man. Oh, he's in the control room, a spot where we've, uh, even, even you can be adorable sometimes. Adorable? Baka. What's that supposed to mean? Quit making fun of me. Spur, come to any harm. Well, um, actually, Newt, two of your arms are already separated from your body, so, like, they wouldn't have to cut them off. Just pull them away from you. I'm not helping the situation. It's so funny to me. How Isn't it weird to be obsessive like that when you're so, um, crude? <gasps> Excuse me? Hey, everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Last time. We enter... Um, I was gonna say it won't be easy to find another one of those, but uh, apparently it is because it just keeps coming back every few seconds. Uh, stop ruining the moment, Mithra, really. Okay. Now that that's over, welcome back to more Xenoblade Chronicles 2! For Fiora's next level of that skill, Grow Little Vegetables must be cleared to unlock the Merc mission... It's actually not unlocked until you've cleared this quest. I don't think I needed to talk to him again. Running out of room for improvement. I'll say. Take a picture, it'll last longer. Sublime. <laughs> Your efforts have borne many fruits. Yes, sir. <laughs> I'd love to remember this. You getting maxed out. You're so good. Some You don't get all the rewards for doing that, like the money. A new strength has awakened. I feel like I could sink a Titan battleship with my bare hands! Sublime! Your efforts have borne many fruits. Well, um... I know a girl who could give you a lot of tips on how to do that. I'm terrible. <laughs> Erasing Master's Registry Entries. Initiating Format Procedure. Did I prove of use to you? I understand. Stay cool, hon. Hmm. Such a disappointing finale. Thankfully, this isn't actually the finale of this series, otherwise I would have had words for you, Akos. Whatever. See if I care. Don't let the door hit you on the way out! So I'll travel alone. No big. Somehow I think Petroka thinks what I said was hot. With language like that, I had no choice, and I've heard people tell me that this one is something. P -p Pyra, please don't let them do this. <laughs> oh God, I am the scum that does the genocide route in Undertale, and then resets like nothing happened, and. Dick's friends with everyone as though everything's all hunky dory. I'm awful! Oh, you're all back with me again. I am so happy to see you. Even you, Ms. I, in back of head. Oh. Hey, everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more Xenoblade Chronicles. T this is the worst Zeke impression ever. Uh, welcome back to more Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Last time, an astrology made simple on Rex. 
No, what? Hmm. Somehow this is all Petroka's fault. Sometimes you just need a golden Oppon mask and an avant-garde medal to make ends meet. We need Tor to be taking that aggro at the beginning of the fight from a lot of enemies because their damage adds up quite an awful lot. So I was saying that I remember I got scolded by a teacher in fifth grade for using the word funner, saying that it wasn't a real word, and come on, it's a wonder that you're, you know, it's no wonder that you aren't really doing all that well in English. And I'm like, I, I didn't really think that it was not a real word, so I decided that in preparation for this when I thought to use that word, I would look it up, and sure enough, it is a real word. It is. I found it online. Whether or not I can do well at this game, I don't access code 2. Okay. That one specifically had it. No, you don't, sir! With all due respect! F you. Or I guess X you in this case. Bomb! Of course, Shulk and Fiora meeting Rex is not canonical, you jackass! Oh, but it's fun they included them. <laughs> and I have no proof of that, really. I'm just having fun. <laughs> A punk panda look for him. Best girl fan, Tora. It's canonical with official science! Pyra is best girl. Also possibly making fun of us. <laughs> Which way's the norm in this universe, huh? Either way, it's a <laughs> knee covering her ears. Which way's normal in this universe, huh? Is Rex normal and no one in the world has nipples except for Zeke? Or is Zeke normal and Rex was just born without nipples? Whichever way it is, it's equally fucked oh. up! <laughs> You're welcome. I realized this while doing research, and I have to live with this fact every single day of my life! And now you do as well! I cannot bear this weight alone! <laughs> pro Swimmer Pyra. Hey look, she's the pro controller! Stole that one from Luxon. I dub Pyra the character with the least disappointments in her costume. Also, why do blades have belly buttons at all if they aren't born from a womb? Uh, well, probably the same reason that they have- Also, Pyrus Kimono costume, Obsidian Dromark. No pajamas, Dromark? What is this heresy? No swimsuit either? I don't know, man. Dromark really got short -changed. Why can we not wear him in his pajamas? That was the funniest thing Dromark did in the whole story. And as a guy who just doesn't get to do much in the story after the very beginning, uh, I wish he got his dang pajamas. <laughs> It'd be so cute. I'd use him in Battle More. Give him a good ox core effect. I don't give him outdoor attack up six or something so that uh, people will want to use his ox core. Enemy is dangerous, enemy. Oh, such excitement. Such excitement, much danger, quite poggers. This has to be one of the most beautiful places on all rest. Mm, you got that right, shulky boy. Sorry, Monado boy. I thought I would take everyone here, show them my favorite place on all rest that I didn't even know existed until this journey. In this game, you can check previous tutorials for the menu! Whoa! The notification just now was to tell you that new options have been added into the menu! If you run into something you're unsure of while playing, go to main menu, system, tips, to see if it's been explained there! It's all I ever wanted! Ah. Yes, we have a tutorial menu and can review things anytime we want! It's so good! Why did they never patch this into the base game? It would not have been hard, it's just text! It wouldn't have been so confusing if I could just review stuff, and if the tutorials were actually, you know, accurate, but... Aren't we intrepid? Stuff also spawns way quicker, too. So this is Porton Village. Porton Jin. <laughs> by equipping that, we can increase... Max HP by two, I already had a better one. Okay. All right, well, I'll take a max HP buff over nothing. And let's no get into fighting this Arlo Capiba as we go over Laura. She uses a new weapon class, the Braid. This whip has good AOE on it and she's- You knew I'd like this, didn't you? Yeah, I did. I looked at a walkthrough.
it. I know you from another life, Jin. It sounds crazy, but this is going to be a surprisingly con common concept in your life going forward, trust me. There's no need to hunt for those Arlo Capibas because they are everywhere along the road on the way. As long as you're checking affinity charts regularly, it shouldn't be that hard actually to keep on top of things. You can see a big old flap of the Titan right above us. Shoot you can! I feel so bad just uppercutting this guy. Oh, level two key affinity reward. Jin's already ready to start learning some new skills. And he gets 69 auto attack. It's almost like they planned it that way, knowing that you'd probably be at rank D. A uh, friendship ring and a red chest. That'll be good. Generally they are. That gives a rigid vest. I already had one of those, didn't I? It's worse than what I already had? Why was I so keen on getting this? Why did I write down that I want this? Did I think it'd be funny to prank myself or something? Jin's weapon being called the Nodachi, usually the case. The blade usually sits in the back and is not targetable. Back in them days, we killed blades like it was nothing. They were tough back then. The kids nowadays don't have an appreciation for the finer things in life, like violence. Uh, gonna build up my special here. At ver in various inhabitants of all rest. Speak to a person and you'll learn their name, job, and location. You can always check this information by going to the community menu found in the main menu. Talk to everyone you can and expand your community. Resolve an issue that a person listed in the community menu is struggling with and they'll give you a token of their support for you. Collect a lot and your community will grow stronger. Raising the community levels will cause more quests to become available. Spreading the community spirit lets Laura, Jin, and their allies make their mark on the world. Doing good for the benefit of all rest is its own reward. Oh, and one more thing. The menu is automatically opened every time someone's info is added to the community screen. But that can be disabled by turning on skip community registration in main menu. This option is recommended for people who want to build community quickly. Looks like they want to join the party. In that case, why don't we give them a warm welcome? Oh man, I'm gonna get to play as Volf! He's a character I've been wanting to be a party member since the first game! I'm sure someone out in the world has had that wish at some point or another. There's a lot of weird people out there, and I'm one of them! Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy! Welcome back to more Xenoblade Chronicles 2, Torn of the Golden Country! Last time, we got going on the community aspect of the game, going around the Lazari region, meeting lots of new people, and getting lots of stuff. Over here. I think I'll go for Roly Poly first. Roly Poly, keep on rolling! Oh, friends, loot will be all yours in the final re re enter in circulation. On the off chance you do manage to get the treasure, let me know. I'm sure it'll be an exciting tale you'll have to tell me. Until then, I suppose. Barney Tale of Barney! Oh, and one more thing. Take care of it if you you know she can't do credits! <laughs> It entered my mind as I was making this character for her. <laughs> okay, well, we Fang Ship is what we already have on, yep, all three of them. And then the Wing Ship is a factually superior, um, is a factually superior Fang Ship. Fangually superior Fang Ship? Uh -huh. uh now that we've arrived at a new Titan and unlocked a new section of the community, uh, I want to show the world map. Takahashi has said that he thinks that for the next game he might make an M-rated game so he can, quote, do whatever the hell he wants. Oh my god. With language like that, you just know he's a loose cannon ready to blow. And I'm living for it. <laughs> okay, we're almost up to level three. If I can just get my golden thread going. Yes! Okay. Uh, Rinker X. More like Stinker X, am I right? I'm not making a joke about the game, but uh, if you want to interpret it that way, I guess it works. Uh, Land Meadow. It's a thing that I have to deal with on a regular basis because I. Look at how far away that is! Jeez. It's right over back where we started. Awesome. <laughs> okay, all right, bird, you win. You win. No, you don't! No, 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 don't, no, no, no! Okay, thank God. I really thought it was going to take flight and I wasn't going to be able to hit it in time. God, that would have been so bad. Cutest design. Can't stay mad at you. Lots of skill building done. Lots of community building done. Sorry I didn't say it that way last time. I had something stuck in my throat. I think that's how that works. I think I'll sit this particular venture out. Yeah, I'm out too. Oh, no, you don't. Wait a minute. Is that her? Yes, 
This is Mithra, one of the Aegises. <sighs> Your account would be valuable as well, Laura. Everything I've seen or heard, Jin will know as well. Uh, uh yes, that's true. Please, would you go instead of me, please? Of course. I will do as you wish. Thank you kindly. Well then, shall we? Yeah, Mithra. Put those things away. There's children here. Oh, you only have one artifice. Oh, sorry. I thought you had more than one. Change of pace. All right. Remind me why we're here again? The dominal flammies are found up your abdomen. No, not really. Uh, they are a good place for us to exchange information. It's currently moored at Lashem Cove. Then to Lashem Cove we go! That's why they call him Adam Origo! Power unimaginable complete. So the word Aegis, I wanna talk about that a bit. Mission it is not called the Aegis in Japanese. It's a Japanese word that we don't have in English uh, equivalent for that means the Holy Grail of Heaven. In that scene, Tor uh, Malos crushes the Holy Grail here and declares himself the Aegis. It's a small oh, detail that makes more sense in Japanese. But regardless of the language, it teaches us where the name Aegis comes from. Oh my god, look at that, yeah. He's no pushover. Might need to, oh god, I do wanna go for the level two. I kinda want to, there we go. Ha, death by bad pun. I have to. Think you can run. Again, girly. Next, the and unforgettable talisman. Don't forget it. I've made it with love. Uh, You're coming with me, treasure. The suspense is killing 669. Me. All right, give me that. They deliver quickly. Partner sure to flip lid. Mene, travelers, please listen to Dudon's woes. Oh, sorry, I wasn't using the proper accent for this guy. Every five hours, how have you not given up already? That is one determined blob of flesh. Hey guys, check it out. I'm Adam Driver. Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Last time we got going on the quests here in Lasham Cove. And now, we've got quite a few more to do. We're gonna wrap things up here today and move before we move on. My favorite. Oh, uh, well, uh, this thing was a little too well wrapped up, so I wasn't able to get it. This airship is actually the same air- A taste of home. Let's I tried licking my house when I was five. Here. It, uh, was high in iron. I've considered turning this off, but I keep deciding against it just because, you know, it gives you an illustration of how things are going to be. Uh, Mithra, run like a coward, uh, evade fighting like Young you guy? always do. Oh, wh what? Pay attention. What? We must not let this that pass. is cheap! We'll need to take a different approach this time. I mean, my weapon wasn't drawn. You take more damage when you're running away, but yikes. I wanted to make this Bridget's... Critical roots really aren't part of the test, so I won't grade you on that. Basically, I don't my, I, I don't really mind what blade combos you pull off as long as you reach the third stage. As before, you can pick the place, time, and target. My ether abilities let me track your movements. There's no trouble in that regard. Looking forward to the results. He's watching you while you sleep. 
He knows what you do at all hours of the day. The He's Santa Claus! I always thought that was kind of scary as a kid, that like Santa could like see me at any given time and I never had any privacy. I don't know. Thing that I thought as a kid that I don't know if a lot of kids thought that deeply into. So, wait. This time, we talked to Ged. You again, eh? It's nice to have regulars. Meat of what this place is like. Kalina. I've heard the deeper, sorry. I've heard the deeper, with the dinner they're doing battle. And you can the bonus and then you can the blade straight. I've also heard that you basically closer to one another, but I'm closer to the blonde. I'm not a driver, though, so I don't know what I'm going to hear. That's nice, though. <laughs> Having someone that you can communicate with so well, I have to say, I'm envious. Adam would know nothing about that whatsoever. Wow. Way to ostracize your, what, 12th in line for the throne? Give me that. Open one. Oh, we dropped two of them. Even better. That's what I thought of when I saw something of your general shape going up to the top of a giant rock like this. Bridget wants to take on a Dorime Brog. Oh, it's Dormine that doesn't really... No, it does. It does. <laughs> it actually does. Man, I hear I was getting all self-conscious about it, though, but no, I was really honest. Like, uh... <laughs> okay, uh, gonna do this again. Give me your backside! I must stick things in it! Give me! Laura, come on out! Killed one. It came at the cost of Hayes' life, but, uh, semantics. You know, it's fine. Uh, give me that. I'll take aggro up. Uh, no! You don't want to not have your feet planted in. You want to be attacking. Some awkward vibes between you and Jin, Laura. Is it complicated? What? What's that supposed to? There's nothing going on between us at all. Don't worry, Lady Laura. I'm still your number one fan. Mm, something going on. I don't buy it for a second. Uh, it would be insufferable for me to have a crush on you. Uh, okay, so. Uh... In the process of all that hunting, look out, everyone! He's got three level two skills now. My sword is sharper with each day. Sorry, four. I wish only to use this in the service of His Majesty. Didn't mean to sell you short, buddy. I hope I didn't make too many of you upset by walking past that so many times. Right over by where we first met him, the Tellarik, you spoony bard. He wants Indeed. to take these out. Let us band together. We talk to Pun Pun. I don't like you. Cause you give me competition. Oh, that nasty article, not nice. How do you like it? And a Jin. Jin's like you, only frozen. Cause he's like ice element. And he's also a chef. Yeah, he likes this. You knew I'd like this, didn't you? May it grant me the strength of a hundred blades. It has the strength to slay a hundred blades while pulling an 18-wheeler or something. I, I'm not, I'm not a good Billy Mays, I'm sorry. I wish I was. I respect him so much. Yes, up and around the tree. Took me an hour to find on my first playthrough. I was livid at how hard this thing was for me to find. And it's needed for whatever level four skills, so it's one of the last things that you ever gotta hunt for something like that. I think they knew. Adam, you're just gonna transcend it up into the air. I'll have to show this off for Lady Laura. The last workonable skill is selling 20,000 G worth of items. Why, hello, you adorable little pawn shop. As per usual, here, this is for you. Hey, look this way. Who's carrying one of those in each arm? <laughs> I guess that's why they call them Armus. 
Right, so, if you need anything, I can just grab it from the vault, sir. Ah, indeed. Laura, is there anything you need? What? We've only come this far thanks to you. Speak, and your wish will be granted. You're putting me on the spot. Tableware! Go for the tableware! How about a recipe for some royally delicious meal that's been handed down in your family? It, despite what a great leader everyone says he is, Adam is a terrible, terrible leader. Why? He literally has drugs in his You're backyard! You're coming with me. Not just that, he has drug trafficking in his backyard. These barrels are being left around for drug dealing. You're coming with me, treasure. You're and there's more too. Treasure. Booster. All I need is a fancy seam for that. They're found at various machines around Torna. Oh look, a various machine around Torna. Success. Increased running speed. There's probably another enemy after this, so I just wasted my time. Oh yeah, there is, and it's as is huge and made of crystal. Oh, there's two of them. Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to appreciate only one of your asses. I know how sensitive you are about such things. Burnout? Now? And it screws up every once in a while. Oh no, I, I guess it still went off, because I don't have it anymore. At least I remember to do it, so whether I did it or not, it's not my fault. <laughs> It's brilliant! Blame the game for everything and you never have to answer for your responsibility! All the kids are doing it. You're done? Oh, it's been ages since I saw Drivers and Blades. Has it been ages since you've seen the ages? Ah, ah, ah. Uh, it's only got two houses in an end. It used to be way bigger, but people really don't come by anymore. Clothes changed. I guess that's why they call it exposure. Perhaps a record time of getting I someone to join our community. Asks of me. We only need three more for a level up. Is head down that? Whoa! We've been found. I mean, yes, the enemy attacking us, but wait, she. Oh my God! They vaporized her. No, let's go up to her. Uh, come on, Adam! Please transcend, transcend, transcend! Yes! Ah! Oh my god! Our ass I actually won! And it gave me the items too! Unfortunately, fire-related beauty treatment hasn't really caught on. I can't imagine why. Burn away all those dead skin cells like the ingrates that they are for making you all crusty. Man! I can't believe I Can won that! Oh, that was fun! Okay, sorry, just... Battle system really good. I At this time of day, in this time of year, in this part of the country, localized entirely within a desert. It doesn't make a lick of sense, but wow! Oh, that's such a good view. Also, sunlight eye for that. And a new member of the community. Oh, I just need to jump a hundred times. It's a Thursday night, I don't got a date, I have nowhere to be, we're doing it! Actually, Mithra, time to build character! Out of stock, it seems. She wore out the charm doing that. Mithra's thighs are now beefy enough to obliterate the miasma! I can't focus only on attacking. Gotta do leg day, Mithra. You can't skip it. I understand. Oh! That gives us a nice collection point, giving us uh, lots of wood after we uh, toned her thighs. Uh, let's uh, let's get going. Uh, let's just go onward. Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more. This is not even an remotely an impression of Hugo. Welcome back to more Xenoblade Chronicles 2: Turn of the Golden Country. Let Makes up half of the community menu. Yeah, it's quite big. There's gonna be a lot going on here. And this is the median gate. Does that mean the last one is the mode gate? I have still hit a wall where without community, level two, we cannot progress with the story. Doesn't matter how diligent you are. I'd love to try it. 
called getting a facial, buddy. You just sit in a dark room with relaxing ambiance, people rub goop all over your face for two hours, and then they come at you with sharp instruments that really freaking hurt. It's great! I love it! Residential Ward... Uh, oh, and one, and the last one was in uh, Orem Storage Ward. If you could per if you could nip it if you could nip round I'm talking about my nipples boy uh, it'd be a huge help for me and the, for the people because I can attest to what you've heard being the truth do you whoa he's like breathing down Hugo's neck what do you think don't all these fish look happy and healthy feisty critters I tell ya they got it good I'm even selling fish to the palace now. Considering who my customer is, I really want to provide the best I can. Hey, what do you mean my fish don't look good enough to sell to the palace? See how many big, glossy fish are swimming in the moat? Every one of them started out in these pails. I was actually clutching my chest while I was doing that and squirming all over the place. <laughs> See those fish in the pond? They really did all start from somewhere, just like we heard. I wish I had a great big inspirational speech to give in a moment like this, but I just want to say, if you've made it this far, watching every single episode, thanks so much for your time. Our adventure's coming to a close soon but we still made it to this landmark before it did. It'll be a while before this record's broken. Eagles 2, Torn of the Golden Country! Last time, we got started on filling out the community in Oresco, as we need to level up the community in order to progress with the story. Now, be long dead if it had to go past all these things. Leave me alone with your style and jazz, you spider. Someone up there's got a video of bugs dancing to the song and it's weirdly fitting, I'm pretty sure. Uh... Oh, come on, stop crying! I'm... I'm not crying! You're crying! You... you... you don't! Thanks. We gotta level up for the community. The next level up is 15 more people joining it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Meh, no customers, nothing to do. Uh, maybe you should put your feet up and play on your Nintendo Switch OLED model. Or play Animal Crossing New Leaf on your Nintendo 3DS. <laughs> oh, friends, not customers? Because of closelessness in buff. Is very rude of Deku Deku to Closelessness is a fantastic word. I'm going to use that in everyday life when referring to nudity. Maybe rude, but only stating facts. Have general idea bound pat. Blimey, that was fast. Sorry, boy me that was fast. Must be really good at her craft, despite being naked. <laughs> because I already had them all. That very impressive feat. Yeah, should be more than enough. It's time to roll up sleeves and get wings flapping. What sleeves? Your closelessness. Last time, we were able to level up our community and uh, get it up to level two. Out of them all, the pureed sculpin parfait sounds the most expendable as it's just point one art recharge, and that's... It was once the best pouch item, now it's just kind of sad compared to other recharge effects we have. Probably. Besides, this way is funnier. She can have all the dessert she wants, but Mithra made it all! It's a monkey's paw! Man, man, now stuffed to bursting! I'm still exasperated. <laughs> I know it'll be the like XL a Magma Sate X. It's it kind of underwhelming nicely. given the name. I want to go back to the Aletta region as new stuff has opened up in several places, specifically in Hyper Village. A nice of Sometimes on the old uh, community I'm tab, the there will be somebody with a gold smiley face above their head. Before she can take out the Maramal Piranax which there are three of right next to camp. I'll just be a moment while I level that up one more time. Master. For some reason, these guys drop Grady Beast Meat. They don't look like no Grady I ever saw. This one is perfectly timed. Could not have synced this up better if I tried. Eh, but I did try because I have notes written on this and I had a feeling that I was gonna unlock these skills right around now. Leave me alone! Up on top of this! Okay. Better catch up to Azerta then. 
You can gain community from people with yellow icons above their head by just talking to them. You don't have to complete a quest. If you see the same icon as someone's face on the community menu, you can select them and press Y to add their location to the compass. Along with a big You're green barrel. Me, treasure. Hidden just out of sight. We're smarter than a drug dealer! So Oresco is looking pretty packed poggers with lots of stuff to do, yo. But no, we're at it's necessary to pass through the hoary well. Uh, wash your mouth up with soap. A dangerous place. We assume something happened to the envoy there. Yeet, indeed, yo. Okay, I'll stop. I've done that enough for one day. I've done that enough for one lifetime. I've done that enough for eight lifetimes. Let's be real. Okay. Uh oh boy, ultimate Aurora from his crotch. I could believe he shoots an Aurora out of that thing. I mean, have you seen how sexy he is? Oh! Man, uh, death by awkward commentary. So we want to walk, say, two peds up from camp to get noticed by a Balufa. Two! The Tufo? On a fall distance, I don't think. I think it has to be all at once. There you go. Drop by drop is the pot filled. So why did command water level up from us falling? Because we dropped ourselves. Checking the machine over by the Hori Weld camp. Sleep. A chain of many hues. I think it turned out rather well. Ow! I recently went on a first date with a girl like right before this video is recorded and on our first outing together, without knowing anything of my memes or anything like that, or even knowing that I was a YouTuber, she just goes, Yeah, all of my friends told me that Paper Mario the Origami King was amazing in their game of the year, but I played it in the gameplay, it completely sucked ass compared to the original trilogy, and I'm just like, oh! I'm just like, Dim, you know what's up and know the way into my heart. I was gonna make a joke about how this rubble didn't apparently fall from anything because the building is still intact, and then I looked up and I see that looking back at me. I saw you up there. Yeah, I see you up there. You're taunting me. Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Adam got really chummy with Marcus. It's been a great way to develop the characters. God, what have I become? I'm starting to praise the community aspect. Jump later. Even on familiar. That's why they call me Laura, the badass. Whoa, she just shoved Jin like 10 feet there and his shoes skidded on the ground. <laughs> You're coming with me. Good timing for that to happen, too. So cool. Cool, Mimi. That was the extended version. What is the short version, Ryukacha Yoku Ko? We head to next. The map sold you out. Can boil Kacha Kacha in pot, roast and skewer. Kacha Kacha not complain. Never do anything like that. Adam is coming between this conversation. He's like, no, I've always wanted to know what they taste like. We did we just want you to apologize for what you did. You could Adam, stop. Oh my god, what are you doing? Are they doing the dosi -si dough? -do? What the hell's going up? This is never going to end, is it? Minoth, I never took you for the square dancing type. I guess you are kind of a cowboy though. For about four whole days. I was not trying to get the view that I am getting right now. I was just trying to make a cool looking camera angle. Promise. Goodness, so you whippersnappers were behind the littering, were you? I had such a lovely time talking to you all back when I ran the shop. See guys, there was never any need for you to run away. She wasn't gonna grow fangs and gobble you up or anything. Yeah, she's not the lady on the Hogwarts Express card. These guys should be no problem. Laura, she punches beehives! Yeah. You read my mind. Time and wins! She punched the beehive so hard, all the bees inside oh, instantly me. died. You say to me, Emil, it's been three weeks. Why are you still playing around in Oresco? The community! The community! Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy! This is awful. <laughs> Man, it's almost like toy money! Um. No, Momimi money is sure to catch on. And to save on O's and I's, um, can just call it mmm, like yummy treat. 
According to Reckoning of Momimi, we'd like to start setting value of 1 mm at 200 G. That means once friends bring in 100,000 G of real money, which equal 500 mm, can sell off in bulk. Not to worry, Momimi famous even for Guild of Uncanny Knack of Valuation. Is all understood, yes? Wishing friends to be bringer of good fortune. So, we are pump and dumping cryptocurrency no so that she can then turn around and take that money and throw it into a Ponzi scheme. Topical. Uh, 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 uh. You put your right foot in, you put your right foot out. I'm not moving my left foot so I don't shake it all about. <laughs> Next, we're going to the main gates. Gogles? Oh boy, this is bad. Carnelian, go get enforce reinforcements. But what about you? We'll be fine if there's one thing we're good at, it's stuff like this. That's all, folks. Well, uh, it looks like we're more alike than I thought. Well, the tank if you just get the aggro unexpectedly. It's just a really fun team. It's a jack of all trades. You got something for every situation. Didn't mean to not bring you up, Hayes. We've just been talking about your capability so much today. Now, um, I gotta say, Oresco. I want to recommend it to you as a study song. Just put on a nice hour-long loop of it. I'm sure someone on YouTube has uploaded one or another. Uh, Nintendo sure hasn't. It would be one thing if they made their music available to you and then wanted to take down uploads of it, though, but because they don't make their music available to you, that's the only way people are going to listen to it. If you wanted to put your stuff up on music streaming services, I'm sure we would all support it. Just saying. Oh, no, 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 no. The great overlords at Nintendo are uh, not taking kindly to me telling them ways to get more money. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Okay, so I'll go ahead and uh, grab that. Oh, uh, I, can I, can I, can I, can I, okay, good, I can target it, okay, good. Playing as Hugo for this one. Interceptor Grace, your grace. I hope you don't intercept me. That's got a lot of helpful items for crafting. Keep that in mind. Oh, whoa, 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 am I, Mario getting his bump? Why is it always lockpicking level three? I'm just, I've been one treasure trove short. I can't find one anywhere. Every time I find one, it's always, no, you gotta have lockpicking level three first, but I can't get lockpicking level three until I open one more treasure trove. <laughs> uh. Lowe's Blant. Is that why they call, is, is they call you that because you're low leveled? That's what I think. Go for the topple. Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more Xenoblade Chronicles 2, Torn of the Golden Country. There's a reason why I was not cast to play as Jin. Well, Hubby Takes a Hike sounds like a satirical children's book about why your dad never came home with the milk. As we've established, Fish G in specialty, meaning he's gonna be tackling this because no one else can. I just want him to feel like he's helping, guys. And I can't do without him, so you'll have to make do with my thanks. No. If you think you can do better elsewhere, you absolutely should. If you're not getting what you need, you gotta leave, I am okay? Honored. Talk it out, things don't get better, you've given them chances. It's time to move on, lady. Might be on my high horse just a little bit. Hubby takes a hike is already done. Time. Quite. Let's clean up the wreckage from the re sorry. Let's clean up the wreckage from the residential district and shopping wards, and let's be quick about it. <laughs> oh my! Oh my! Oh my! Trail of destruction. Uh oh! Stacked wooden boxes. Stacked wooden boxes. Kiosh, I'm getting excited over this. Push those away in a very specific way, and will serve. it's mine! Lock picking level three, where have you been all of my life? Ever view on the compass. 1844, 1845, if I can just get on that rock. Now in that mid jump, 1845, I think is about the highest you can go. Oh no, 1847. I'm such a nerd. Who cares? I do. Uh, Adam. Up and Adam. Bridget's got the prioritizer. And you too, Jin. I'm working as hard as I can to help you defeat the Aegis. Let me know if there's anything I can do. Does that mean we've gotten the community level up? Indeed. 
Congratulations! You have officially done the minimum number of quests that allow you to fight the final boss! Does that mean that we're fighting the final boss now? No! We uh, only have like eight quests until we have 100% completion, and I think that doing every quest first actually does tell the story better, so it's, it's still gonna be a little bit. I mean, we could hang out, I mean, without all this business stuff. Uh, yeah, well, you know, not like I like you or anything, Paka. I Crafting from reaching community level four, it's preparing for the worst. Pretty solid if I say so myself. And Hugo, it's all your fault. Bridget, ready with the fire. We're at the waypoint. Have we found Oh, light <laughs> Saw that one coming. She's not here. A newbie driver? <laughs> uh, we're actually too high level for them to even challenge us right now, which I didn't see coming. light Yes! Hey guys, what are you doing here? Here to explore the Titan's neck too? Or not? You two were totally making out, weren't you? <laughs> Live with this hair long enough and you stop even seeing that strand over your eye. It's amazing what the human mind is capable of. Hey everybody, it's Chucker Conroy! Welcome back to more Xenoblade Chronicles 2, Tour to the Golden Country! Last time! We built a shelter and an evacuation ship for the people of Torna, and the only people we had to fight to do it were old men who disagreed with us politically. This time, I'm back in Lazaria Woodland, as there's several things in the world that we can do now that we've leveled up our field skills. So, obligatory trip around the world before the final boss. Down we go. Down we Hugo. Perhaps I'll have another. Oh man, he dropped this dinner. Excitement. This contains engine ships and block right up threes. I don't believe that we've actually seen an engine ship yet. That wow. <laughs> also, lol, I was gonna go and give him the laundry night ship a little later in the last video and be like, yeah, guys, I didn't forget, and then I actually forgot. <laughs> I'm not even trying to make a genius jokes and they just come out. Haze would be a good choice for this. It's a legendary collection point of wood. Isn't this fun? That's an impressive wood you got there, Melnath. Gravity three. Not gonna be able to launch him, but it's A-OK -okay with me. He's gonna fart all over us in a confined space. Just like hanging out with Tim. I've gotten that experience a lot this last week. Oh, launch! Oh cool! Transcend! Oh cool! Smash! <laughs> Prince Adam! Emperor Hugo! Sorry. We are so thankful to have you delivered in your troll! I assure you don't have it again! Don't stand on ceremony so much, Kalina! Anyhow, the damage doesn't seem to be great. Right, Hugo? So, I didn't know what the word AWOL, AWOL meant for a long time. I didn't know what the want. terminology meant, so I thought it was like a sexual term. And I brought that up to somebody and they're like, what the heck would it be a sexual term for? What would it even stand for? And I was like, I don't know, ass wipe of love. <laughs> and then they just rolled their eyes and said, only you, Emil. <laughs> Well, hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more Xenoblade Chronicles 2, Torn of the Golden Country. Last time, Hey dudes, so I couldn't shake the image of you being all cool in the capital, bro. So here I am, poggers. Thank you for choosing the militia. I had a good feeling about you from the start, friend. Aw, oh, the courtship dis- That thing's anus was in my face! Jeez. Get this over here. That's promising. Hello, you pests. Have you met the Pestrona? Oh. Oh, uh, I have to use this on myself, don't I? I thought I just went up there and then there'd be a cutscene and they'd be like, Hey, guys, how do you like the smell of this? And then they're like, oh no, please go away! And then we would just, you know, get the da 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 da, -da and the quest would be over. Now that's a scent to raise a spirit. Hey, if we're in the water, how can her hair be on? Hey, everybody, it's Chugga Conroy! Well Aww. Two for the price That's of so one, sweet. Grandma and Grandpa! 
from completing that one, we have another rather important Aren't item, the Tiger Winged that. Helmet, as well as two outdoor attack ups and two Garnet Chips. Man, Aegean, the Garnet Chip is stronger than you. Time to roll up the Tiger Winged street. Helmet increases battle experience gains. Behold, my master. And you always think to yourself, what if I did this one quest sooner and had it just that little bit longer? It's okay. It'll bother both of us for the rest of the day. Change. I'm inside a grandma. Oh, whoa! Apparently that turns around. Oh my god. <laughs> I thought I would never see him again, so it's nice to meet him once more. Like, it's, this. it's almost a miracle. Life works in strange ways sometimes. I'm glad I live long enough to see the day my headphones just fell off. The days when I clung to the teachings of Indol to escape the pain of losing to him. you feel like it is a memory now. Perhaps this is the salvation of the teaching spoke of. <sighs> is meeting every character from the community list. There's 88 characters to befriend. We have met 83 of them. So it's finally time for the big cook-off. Come on, smash, smash, smash! Yeah! What's up? Rhyme time and other such profanities. Oh boy! Oh, jeez! That was bad. We have we're down a party member. I was just thinking about interrupting him, being the elemental or prioritizer, or just you know laying down a water orb like I said was so good to do when you don't have access to that. It is what we should have been doing. Not by a long shot. Well, yeah, he was at short range when he shot him. Obstinate. Her poofy pants are so cute. Hey, everybody, it's Chugga Conroy watching Mithra want those pants real bad. Uh, and we can just skip travel down to the womb. No need to do any walking. Finally. Please. Nobody walks then. anymore. And for those of you that are telling me that they are indeed walking there and that it's just skipping out the walking that we would have done, then why doesn't the time change, huh? I, I know, it's doesn't make any sense. I know that you're right. I'm just being silly. Oh, it's a quest. Like, it makes sense when you really think about it, because he did know Adam in the past. He is genuinely an ally of ours that is not a party member, so it makes sense for him to be in the community list. I like this. I think it's a neat thing to do with- And then we'll knock you up! Not in that way, please! Okay, we'll do that. Plus one. Or, plus three. Plus three. The sphere chip is good on Mithra, if you know what I mean. No, it's actually not. I don't know why you're thanking me. I'm a knight now, remember? And you know what else? I'm really starting to like this, but so much rock! You, you get to see so many different walks of life here. It's a real melting pot. The rest of the day, that's the worst. I. Had to walk on that way to school a lot of the time whenever it rained because there was no sidewalk on the side of the road. Actually, that launches me into a story. Uh, yeah, I had to walk to school with no sidewalk like two miles. I was barely within range that they would not give us a school bus. And they were trying to like get the school to give us one because there was no sidewalk and I was having to walk through like swampland and stuff like that. And it was only when a bunch of parents threatened a class action lawsuit for child abuse that they finally gave us a freaking school bus, yeah. Thank you, school system. Calm your fear, if you know what. Dumb shit. Plum into one of my usual talismans. So you've got something to work off, alright? That might work. Thank you, Hayes. You're the best. Just leave it to me. Boy, with all the slacking off and sewing, I hope Malice doesn't come and sue us. <laughs> Golden Land Talisman. Coming with me, treasure. Ah, level one skill checks. A clear sign that the Chugga Conroy has not been here to desecrate the land yet. I'll open up, or we can go generic route too if Hugo just really wants to hog the spotlight. Mithra, are you coming out? Now I'll show you, I heard her. I can never help but think of Sonic whenever I hear those words, just now I'll show you. I think John kind of ruined that for me because of an old Smash Brothers Brawl video. Those of you Let's Play veterans know exactly what I'm talking about. Please let this be the final phase. This has been going on for quite a while. 
Not quite my prediction of an outcome, but close enough already. Plus three to the community. Thank you. I had to sneer there a little bit somewhere. Hey. Uh, was there another one over here? Yes, Mana. Like go into the sauna. Okay, uh, there is now one more quest right over here. Right behind where they were standing. Aw, look at how cute she's like, um, I have something I wanna tell you. Thank you so much. We got that nice community spirit inside us! Let's see what we have here. It's someone who would not have evacuated to evacuate. And they evacuate to Uriah too. Meaning they actually live? Just, can we talk about how many quests have the basic story outline of I'm living a perfectly happy life in Gorma where nothing is gonna go wrong ever. And then we assholes come along and are like, hey, we think you should move to Torna. And they're like, that's a great idea. I bet nothing bad will happen to me there. It's so, you just, you doom so many people to oblivion in this game. And like, the story was completely intended to be played after you knew Torna was a fallen nation with where it slotted into the original plan for the story. So whoever was writing this knew that you would feel that way. Uh, I just... Now, just, let me see. It's weird. Galaxy Charm is Laura's ultimate item that she can craft. It gives okay art recharge, good party gauge gain, increased damage by special. Chronicles 2. To say that it's been a mammoth of an undertaking getting this far would be the understatement of the millennium. Which I suppose isn't really all that impressive given that we're what, like 2% done with this millennium so far? Um, I guess a let's play isn't really that much in the grand scheme of things, so uh, maybe I am actually speaking accurately. Are we here to take on Ophelia at long last and finally get my victory against her? Hell no, I want a battle I can actually win, which is why I'm going after Malos. Uh, can I? No, I cannot. <laughs> it saw me out of the corner of its, uh, Orifice in place of an eye, an Iophis? I don't know what Mother Nature's sense of humor was, or I guess the architect in this case, but it's utterly disgusting. Get out of here. Whoa, it looked like a G and smashed him down, but he didn't actually. I shouldn't like this so much, but I do. Sequester lewd. Ooh, we're getting lewd up in here. We're getting so lewd that it's sequestered. I am disgusted. Dang, and I know it. Ah. Well, uh, oh, launch. Uh, Mithra? Yes! It's not just that. Hell, if that were the case, I'd be some kind of street preacher by now. When you put it that way, I can't help feeling just the slightest twinge of pity for our dear Quester. I'm sorry, but I must sympathize with Minoth. I couldn't imagine having to be the blade of such a horrid man. Slow moving train <laughs> Eventually, some line breaks me in these cutscenes. But because this is the game that never ends, we have more to do. There are many people that I'd like to thank, but I'll be saving that for the end of the whole thing. There are some unique monsters in the land of Torna that we never took out. There are some incredibly challenging battles that we have yet to do. There is some lore that we can now talk about because we have the full context of the story, and I'll be happy to go over that with you. And there is also a post-game to Torna itself. So I'll see you back here next time for all of that. And after that's done, and I've had sufficient time to rest, I'll see you back here for a new place in a world we have been to before. See you guys then. Oh my god, it's over. It's really over. Today, we're going to be going over some Torn in Lore. Nah, Torn in Lorna. And then we're going to be moving on to the post game of Torn of the Golden Country, which really shouldn't be long. It's pretty small. Your rewards for clearing things are New Game Plus, which is nowhere near as exciting as it sounds. I'm gonna go over this one at a later time. Ha 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 ha, get rexed. There is but one other reward, and it's in the base game? Uh-huh. 
Which, yes, Malos does like things besides scalding puppies alive. His light types would have been dessert and art, good choices if I may say so, and his favorite items would have been grilled anchor tail and Argentum noodle soup. Again, both obtainable in Argentum, he just can't be customized. Laura. Oh god, if there is a ship of her in Gord, it'd be called Gora. <laughs> Aegean, your additional lore is your lot in life. You get nothing! Good day, sir! <laughs> He's unamused at me! I could not have timed that better if I tried! There is a tiny bit more lore, but I would prefer to save those topics for the very last things we talk about. Next, we move on to the community. There is one member of the community who is glitched. You can see I'm rolling over him right now and he ain't got a thing on his face. I skip travel to Gormot, he's got a thing on his face. He is the only member of the community that is like this. Troll causes. With our objective clear, I'm gonna give you the most violent ripping down of Christmas lights you have ever seen! Ugh! By controlling Team Hugo, I can... We'll need to take a different approach this time. Shut up, Apple Watch. I do not need help relaxing. Remember our destination, don't you? Yes, Aegean. I remember from a long time ago. In the lasagna region, flying right over by the harbor, Ionospheric Mitchell. We've always seen this in the background, but never really done anything about it. With a long enough lure, I said with a... LONG ENOUGH LURE! She sounds so sad while she's dying! Careful now, team. That's what Jen heard while she went we down. Build <laughs> I've been game. making such morbid jokes in this Let's Play, but can you blame me? They freaking bait it out of me. Dude, did you see the thing that Hugo said in trusting his life to Adam when we were in the capital? On second playthrough, that hits really freaking different. Get over here, man. And that's about it. And last up, oh boy, it's the Turquoise Plateau! Pleasant stroll. You remember our destination, don't you? Oh, hey! Oh, uh, wow, wasn't expecting to find you here, but Otto boy. Uh, Flying Fortress Desmore. Maybe Hayes can heal us or something in the process. Hey, what do you call it when Adam launches an enemy? Up and Adam! Oh, baby! We'll handle the little, we'll handle the small fries first, then move on to the little ones. This should not be difficult. I say as I am getting almost killed. Hugo, tether. Ravine Bonnet! Help, I'm stuck in the ravine! Give me level three out of, uh, Minoff if Adam could ever get his butt over here. That one special did that much. I should be ashamed I ever lost on this thing. If it ever gets enraged, we'll just chain attack. We probably didn't even, oh, it has elemental awakening. That's probably why I lost to it in the first place. I should not. People with big mouths should not throw stones or something. There's the topple. There's the launch. I'm going to transcend it over and over again until one of you jokers smashes it. There it is. And chain attack time. Nice and easy. <laughs> I've handled bigger buns than you. Magnificent. 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 I saw in the accessories, we got, man, what a bunch of chokers. Goddess chokers giving 25% more. I finally have everything I need to complete my comprehensive guide to the unique monsters of all rest. I'm sure this will become a valuable resource a few centuries down the line. Thank you all so much. You've made an old woman's dream come true. Laura clapped for you. Well, this is awkward. Because she's gonna die tomorrow and she just achieved her life stream today. Sora gets for 100 percenting her chart. Mm, I'm gonna say it. Your worst girl. Of course I mean in this one aspect alone and in no other. Ultimate weaponry, however, I will take. Member of the bunch who had not gotten 100%. I'm pretty sure we can get this by running around Lazaria Woodland, smacking 30 weak enemies to finish them off, and in the process, he'll get his 50 critical hits easy. It looks like we've got a riddle going. Well, that was one-sided. 
You kept your power. Whatever you do, yes. don't get Nicely cocky. Done. In any case, it's time to be cautious. Life has been bustling lately. We've become like one big family. You never have the time to feel lonely anymore. Stop trying to make this weird for me. <laughs> I humbly apologize. Nothing beats two bros having a heartwarming moment all alone out in the woods. Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy! Welcome back to more Xenoblade Chronicles 2, Torn of the Golden Country! Oh man, alright, uh, Jin, uh, be confused by this, know not what to do with yourself while Laura's leaping around in plays. It's all we can do in the face of great challenge. Let's talk to the Nop on Half Sage. What do you think you're doing breaking my lovely seal? I was so happy stuck in this room! Just me and all the bright eyes was treasure, but nobody interfered! For all eternity! Perhaps this was my fault for including a release mechanism. One can hardly blame adventurers for their curiosity. The only problem is, now I need to procure great volumes of cash to create a new seal. Perhaps I can put the curiosity of these hapless adventurers to good use. Tell me, my friends, have you heard of the legendary Golden Monsters? They are of a special breed of monster. Very proud, terribly fierce, unspeakably strong. For a not so small payment, I might be willing to tell you where these legendary beasts can be found. Nop on Half Sage is a gray spot on the chart. You already have 100% completion without exactly one member of the community. This is the hardest objective. Finally I claim all of our level ups getting up to level 70. More power? Don't mind if I do. I thought that was Adam talking for a second. I was like, whoa, what the hell happened to you, puberty? <laughs> There's another way to gain levels, and I'm sure at least some of you are a little confused as to why I don't seem to be taking it. I think it broke. Shut up, Laura. You didn't break my concentration. Maybe you did. What would you get for playing it? Honestly, not much. That's why I'm skipping it. First of all, community does not carry over. No getting out of playing every side quest again, mister. Or miss. Because you're Laura. Uh, the Elemental Awakening is a little scary, but I think for at least right now, it's a little magical. Jump the chill stroke. Oh, not on the side. Uh, what? I don't know, man. You ain't got no orifices on you. I don't know which side I'm facing. You expect me to know that? The HUD doesn't tell me. This ain't Xenoblade X. Oh, boy. He's. Harry Bloom Nodachi, oddly fitting to him. He's got a little bit of pink on him. You don't think of Jin as pink, but he's got quite a lot in that portrait. Mithra's better when she's horny. Gibson's location. Gibson's such a cute name. I've known a lot of cute girls with the last name Gibson in my life. Herculean Gibson can be found in Rackham Moor Torna, just right outside. Oh, whoa, 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 okay. Transcend, 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 transcend. Okay, I can't do any more. Um, and off. Just to be safe. Oh, he shot the- <laughs> He shot the armor behind him without even looking. <laughs> oh, that's so sad, but also kind of funny. Oh, cuteness never looks so badass. I want to be strong enough to protect all of you. I feel the same, Laura. Let us strive toward this goal together. Thank you, Aegeon. I'm glad to have you with us. Hmm. Look at that, Aegean. Someone's glad to have you with us. <laughs> Better ruin the moment, horsey. You know what? Just for that one. Wow, I didn't one-shot it. Wow, I staggered the other one. I am really bad at this whole instant revenge. Uh, 78 attack right there for a slight hit to her crits. Aegean can take the shaft chip. Why? Because you always get the shaft chip. I'm too easy! Resist! Got another resist! Got another resist! Got another resist! Ah, I missed that time! Don't! 
Adam's rearguard arts don't have any sort of buffing. He's the only one without any sort of support. He just attacks. Uh. Wait! <laughs> Wait, there... Uh... <laughs> what is... What? Did... Oh, no, that's not Adam, that's Jin. I was gonna say, what, did Adam have his own personal airplane? It was like, men off, race you to the bottom! Wow! And then they just went down the slopes. That <laughs> was Jin. What? Why did our blades spawn down there? Uh, sure. <laughs> I just went to bed and got a good night's sleep so I could attempt these other ones with a fresh brain. Uh, okay. Be able to chain attack and quit. Life plan. Oh god, no, not life plan, not life plan, not life plan, no, 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 look at him, I did there. There was a sentence somewhere in there. Bridget's dead. Not often I get to do this route. Just chain attack right away. Three orbs. Three orbs, if you will. On one of those attempts. And just in time for our pouch items to run out. Good. Looking at our new stats. Jin is at 1669. Auto attack. It says no effect. This thing is break immune. Laura is useless. We can take them on. But I am tenacious enough to pluck the plunder. Take in, oh, why this became a desert as the deity of rain was not present. Level 97, can you handle me? The answer may surprise you. It's probably. Next round, punch it. Mithra. We're gonna bridge the damage on this orb. And then we'll go... Jin's level 2 special? Wait, it only called one bird? What? Uh, I thought it always... Oh no, there's a second one. Just took it a second to load in, I guess. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It happens. I understand. Your son is going through a phase and he isn't sure if he exists. I still can't believe that one of the regular attacks with a blow down there is what ended up killing me. Blowing me down. Don't blow me down! How have I gone this entire let's play without making a pirate joke whenever I got blown down? Avatar of Greed! other point. See you guys then. Wait, on your mark, man. This way. Uh -huh. <sighs> guys, show them a thing or three. I'm gonna miss them. Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy, and welcome to the bonus video of Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Hey lady, you're awfully cute. I like your green eyes. And you want to be a part of this intro too? Okay, you're cute enough to walk away. Uh, anyway, likely taken from character design sheets while the art was still being made. I mean, Noteworthy among these is brown-haired Poppy, which can be seen in a lot of concept art, and Sever and Cressidus have entirely different designs. <laughs> Early common blades. They were. If you're looking to buy one art book, buy the Japanese version. It has all sorts of exclusive content, like this dropped blade design, who I love and will marry. Um, the reason why I recommend it over the English version, you... And did you notice the typo on the pause menu? Change character. The encyclopedia was a menu section that was cut from the final and was on the minus menu. We saw this icon in the E3 demo, but they never clicked on it to show us what it looked like or what it did. There is no data of it in the final build. It's been scrubbed entirely. Those ingrates not contributing to video game history by pressing A on something their boss explicitly told them not to press A on. 
A null defense ox cores gave a chance to stop guard annulling attacks. Kind of a confusing effect. I annul your guard. Oh no you don't. I annul you annulling my guard. Salted Brog Saute was- I've just got one question for you. Are you ready to piss yourself when I show you Zeke's face? This is what he looks like with the eye patch removed. He- If you want to listen to every post-battle conversation right in a row, in the description I've linked an article on Xenoblade Wiki that has every single one. The most hotly requested one by far is this acknowledgement of Rex and Nia. Hey, Nia. About that thing you said that one time, I, uh, well... Huh? Oh, right! <laughs> You're asking now? Now's not the time, we can talk later. <laughs> Smiles you can hear, that is a perfect delivery. Rex eventually figured it out, doesn't make it any less tragic, however. By the way, Rex and Pyra aren't confirmed as canon, and you know what happens with Rex and Nia. Would you call those shipwrecks? Way, hey? I was asked by several people to idle in water with Zenobia and Zeke. Lucky for you, we can do both at the same time because of me awakening every blade on Zeke. Uh, what? He's doing the Russian kick dance to stay afloat and... Zenobi is just kind of floating there. Um, <laughs> look at him go! This man could be a hula dancer with how strong his leg and hip muscles would have to be. But he's even folding his arm. He doesn't care. <laughs> I'm not sure why people wanted to see Zenobi. And she's not nearly as funny. This is, this is, this is fantastic. <laughs> his legs are so jiggly. <laughs> Beating them to death for the title of Heropod. It's uh, quite gruesome, yeah. Uh, this is an AoE attack, so let's just shoot them all. Boom! <laughs> that was funny looking. It's rare that you ever get the chance to fight other Nopon. Uh, you get the opportunity with Don Don Don. There was Banna and Mui Mui piloting a robot, but you didn't really get to see them while you were fighting them. There's one time that you fight a Nopon in the original Xenoblade. The point is, it's a rare thing that only tends to happen once or twice per game. So here, beating up a whole mob of Nopon, uh, Mobpon? It's, it stands out, it's unusual, it's weird, it's the kind of thing that I live for. Nopapon, Napapon, and Nippopon. Nippopon? These are Nopon sages from Xenoblade Chronicles X that have come to make one final appearance. They are legendary Nopon that are kind of spirits within- ah, I don't really need to explain the exact lore behind it. Point is, they're from Xenoblade Chronicles X, and they're one of the few things that you might not understand without playing that game first. It's otherwise pretty unrelated. Gosh, the most plot relevancy that X gets to have to a main game is a bunch of names of Nopon. <laughs> Poor game. You deserve better, X. You really do. Beam. Oh, more? More? You want more? Okay! I will stain these steps with the multicolors of your Skittles blood! <laughs> or wasted it all for that matter. Soloing stuff as Tatsu is pretty fun. Uh, you might have been used to doing this when hunting the unique monsters and trying to get- Uh, hey. I'll help. No worries. None. Nice to see everyone's feeling so... community-spirited. I'm impressed. Malice's artifices are a real pain in the core crystal. <laughs> uh, well, that's one way of saying it, Mithra. For some quick stats, my final playtime was about 39 hours in Torn of the Golden Country, and 281 and a half hours in base game. This game provided me with 320 hours of enjoyment. Well, probably more like 300 hours of enjoyment and 20 hours of Ursula's Quest, but you know. And thank you for watching. It's been a long road, and I really hope that you enjoyed the show. See you guys next time.